this time we're gonna have Viper versus Mr. Yo. And uh, this is the Civ draft happening behind us, of course. 40 maps. I move my camera out of the way. 40 maps, and it's gonna be uh, you know, two maps chosen from each category. This is the last set of TTL. <clears throat> Mic is low. Hold on. That might be a little bit better. Okay. Uh, this is the last set of TCI. So the tournament. Uh, sorry, the Champions Invitational. Uh, not TTL, sorry. <laughs> TCI. And uh, yeah, it's going to be Viper versus Mr. Yo. So kind of a banger set. And the best part about this is that the winner gets second place and the loser, if Viper loses, he gets, I think, fourth place. I had it somewhere. Hold on. If Viper loses, he gets fourth place. If Yo loses by a lot, he gets fourth place. If Yo loses by one or two games, he gets third place. So that's the situation. Uh, it's actually very neck and neck, believe it or not. And uh, we are here to witness it all. My co-caster today will be Doubt. So uh, if hamburgers can just set up the exclamation mark co-caster command in the title, set it up to doubt, that would be lovely. It would be perfect because he's going to be joining us very soon. What the hell? Viper using Portuguese in Arabia? Damn. All right. Well, we'll just comment it until doubt shows up. But doubt should be around. Uh, we're going to have to reset this as well. Reset. Best of 21. Perfect. All right. He's ready. We'll call him. Congrats on the TCI win. Thanks for setting Hello. up an awesome tournament. You must be so happy to have so many great yeah, sets here. and no blowouts. Yeah, one second. <laughs> one second. It's long for us, Okay, now it should be better. My bad. <laughs> okay, hello, hello. Well, how's it going, Mr. Dow? Uh, it's going amazing, man. I'm got my new job now. I'm, I'm caster. I saw you casting one set, like day two of one set, and then after that you casted everything. So I was like, okay, I guess you liked it. Uh, the feedback was positive, but uh, yeah, I, I cannot do like I do first day and second day. I'm done. Okay. I, I cannot do it again. Okay, okay. You're gonna have to build up the stamina, though. Trust me, it's it's the. Point. I I know, man. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm not sure how you how you are doing it. Uh, I I think it's fun actually. I, I like it. I mean, it's a lot of games. This is, this tournament is like a ton of games, but I think in general casting is nice. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but anyways, we have Hindustani versus Portuguese here. Game one between Viper and Yo. Uh, I mean, first of all, Doubt, how do you think of the matchup between Viper and Yo in general here? Uh, usually it goes even, right? I would give an edge to the Viper because he's my teammate. Okay. And if he wins, uh, Tatu gets a better spot as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite even. It's quite even. Actually, Viper has to win exactly 11-7 or more uh, for Tatu to get third. Otherwise, Tatu... Let's go, Viper. Third. Yeah, so if, if anything else besides 11-7 or, or more of a victory for Viper, then Yo gets uh, third place and Tatu gets fourth. So, yeah, Viper's playing for himself and, and Tatu right now. So, so yeah. on the way. And it's weird, like that doesn't deserve to be forged. Like in this event, you show such a high level. Such I know level. I, the event is really close, actually. Like we have um, it's like three or four sets going to 11 10, which, if you think about it, that's one game of 20 out of 21 that made the yeah. difference. Insane. Making best 21 and then one game decides everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I had people saying, What's the point of wasting time on the other 20? Just play one game and that's it. But that's exactly. the way it goes. Yeah. I mean, it just shows how close the level is. Um, also, in this matchup, we've got Portuguese versus Hindustani. It's interesting to see Portuguese being used game one in Arabia. Most players use their weak sieves, but I guess not, not much else to use Portuguese on. Uh, I didn't check the draft. Obviously, it's too long to predict anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Portuguese, I know, Viper loves them. Like, that's maybe the best team in the game. Yeah. On every single map, they don't have any weakness, right? I have a better sieve, actually. I think Malay. I think Malay are, like, really, really insane as well. On Arabia? Well, I think overall, because like um, on any hybrid map, Malay, like I feel like they balance M Malay and Arabia, giving them the free infantry armor. So now they're like maybe top 10 on Arabia. And then on every other map, they feel insane on hybrid maps, for example. Yeah, and maybe most important, like Mazo Thieves dominate land maps. Yeah. And Malay are really good against them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just feels like that Civ got so overbuffed a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, it's nice to have something change, uh, change in the meta. Ooh, Viper taking a, a sheep <laughs> here. <laughs> Oh, no, no. That's yes, he got trick. it. Yeah. Do you know how to do that, Doubt? <laughs> I didn't know how, what he did, actually. I cannot <laughs> even... 
analyst right now as a caster. Man. Yeah, that cheap trick is really cool. Um, but anyways, he's got the Drush coming in. I think Yo knows about this. He's gonna put all the bills on one side and just bring a spear. Spear is a really good answer to this, I think. Yeah, yeah. You always need to run your scout, and then militia is not enough to do do any damage to economy. Yeah, yeah. Usually the harmony of the militia hitting the bill, scout blocking is the correct uh, way to do it. But now with the spear, people realize that you can easily deal with this rush. Maybe we have to bring back the third militia like in the old days. And this is like a Cito, like French specialty opening, right? Yes. Two militia on the way to feudal and going range. Yeah. I hate it. I don't like it at all. Wait, do you hate it because you think it's bad or do you hate playing against it? I play. I hate playing with that. Against that, I don't feel like I receive a lot of damage. Okay. But it's so annoying. Like, if you don't do anything like Viper didn't do now, it feels like such a I, I agree with you because I think the whole point of the Archer build is to get a faster castle and just set up your base. But if you make two militia, you're slower. <laughs> and make three TCs, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three TCs. You play for castleage. Like, that's the way I see the Archer play. But if you make the two militia, it's like you just slow yourself behind. And now Viper has no food. Like, he's. He's basically, he can't afford fletching, he's struggling to set up the farms first, uh, instead of like walling up, for example. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It, in the trade, he did damage scouts a little bit, right? They're, yeah, they're missing <laughs> some HP. But is it worth it? Mm, don't think so. Yeah. You also don't get like to stay in Dark Age, like with a conventional Drush, which usually gets you more resources. Um, but that being said, you know, Yosa has pretty weak scouts. He's set to do two spears, three archers now, so... I think Yon needs a range, and he's getting one on the bottom, but it's a little late, maybe. Yeah, and actually those two militia, maybe the biggest deal of them is preventing the walling, right? So true. I just get the access to the economy. True, true, true. Yeah, buys himself some time, prevents the counterattack from the scout, picks up the free spear now, and now we'll see what Viper can do. I think the barriers will be the main targets, but uh, Yo should have some, some skirms by, by the time you know he needs them. And Viper at home is completely walled. He is playing like you, man. One range, full wall at home. I would add the market and go up faster. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> of course I would. I want my timing, man. But uh, Skew will just go solid play with the fast castle age. But wh why would you want the timing when you have, like, the perfect map to add Townsend or something? You say that for any map. <laughs> you say no, that no. For any map. <laughs> no, not you. I mark it sometimes. Doubt, you mark it every game. I mark it sometimes. Like, sometimes it's good. But I think on this map, you're more than happy to add the DCs. Eventually, you will make market right in the game. Better get it sooner than later. Okay, eventually, we're gonna want to get Paladin <laughs> if we're going for a night, but we don't rush Paladin as soon as you get up to Imperial Age. Hey, I got my way, man. It's working for me. It's still <laughs> working for me. I cannot compete with the dancing archers and such. You need to be up a minute earlier, and then <laughs> there's no dancing to happen. <laughs> then, when he dances, I go home and do ballistic. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. A little bit of a trade here. Uh, and I think Viper got a pretty solid uh, value from the archers and spears. He killed the scouts, and Yo now has the skirms, and he'll push everything back. Yeah, and the skirms will not be a threat. Like, if they enter to Viper, he doesn't care. He can always fall behind. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, overall, good, good opening. Next question is, could we pass it to the castle agent? Viper already a decent food bank. Yeah, and obviously the Portuguese getting, he just finished the berries, getting the extra wood for the berries. It lets you also seed farms at the same time, which is really cool. I feel like a lot of times uh, you kind of run out of wood in this build, especially on one lumber camp. The Portuguese completely solves this problem. And now we see him actually go for a stable. And uh, I mean, that's interesting considering he's fully walled. I'm not sure if I agree with that decision. Well, that's kind of typical Viper play. Like, I, I love to have market always. Viper likes to have stable. Okay. It kind of blocks aggression from scrims. It's a good uh, to have stable on castle just for a few nights in the mid shield. It's just a safety measure, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. It, it adds, uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Also scares the opponent a little bit because it, you can never push out if you know your opponent has a stable with the skirm. So uh, kind of but by showing it, by Viper putting it on the front, he's going to kind of scare Yo with that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. and Yo kind of made a mistake, like moving out with like three skirms in the middle of map, but your economy is not protected and Viper will punish that. Yeah, Viper's got the five archer counterattack here, and he only has a couple of skirms, no armor on these, so he's gonna have to bring his skirms all the way back. And this is maybe the time for Viper to add a scout, and indeed he's doing that, because now Viper's got a good chance for aggression. I mean, in general, Yo's trying to wall his map, like, very far out, and if he gets that, it's amazing, but if he gets denied, it's, it's gonna leave him in a rough spot. Give Yo any map, he will find a way to fully wall. Of course. <laughs> this was very expensive walls, like... This yeah. is not even worth it. I agree, I agree. I mean, I think the map is bad, but I think the map is bad because he took the, the back wood line. If he took the front wood line, 
His map would be a lot easier to protect, but that's okay. Well, just short walls, right? But yeah. he, you know, yo, he likes to be fully protected so he can have map control and raid. Yeah, yeah. But uh, skirmishes will not be our best raiding unit, right? That's why he loves those cavalry teams. Yeah, and if you, th if, I know you didn't check the draft a lot, but yo, like Britons and Ethiopians were like last five picks for Viper. Like yo yeah. doesn't take them even at the end. He hates archers. He only picks the capsules. I played against him in KOTD. He even picked Slavs over, over Britons. <laughs> yeah, over Britons. Like, <laughs> it's insane. Against me, he was taking like Burgundian second pick. I was like, okay, you can have them. Burgundians <laughs> pull Slavs. That's his. I know. And the only reason he takes Mesosibs is to have the Eagles with them as well. It's so funny. He's got. He's playing his own meta, I swear. And that's good. That's actually really good. Like, everybody else is playing more or less similar. Like, yeah. you Viper Tato, but Yo is a bit of different. And he makes it work quite a lot. Uh, quick wall. Uh, I was really close. Oh, he gets it. We'll it is up. Build, it is up. Yeah. Absolutely worth it. Like clean up the arches, so Viper will not have that dead ball of the crossbow. Then again, his number number of crossbow is uh, quite impressive. He lost two group of the crossbow. He's only one change, and <laughs> there's still nine alive. Yeah, uh, it's the power of constant production. He just never idles this range. This is what I tell people when I coach them as well. If you just keep production, you don't need the second range. You just have enough with the with the first one. Obviously, you could add the second range eventually. In this case, Viper decided just stable is enough, and he'll add town centers. Uh, but yeah, good amount of crossbows to push. Now and... imagine if he was market. <laughs> he would be one minute faster castle age game over, man. Your map is so bad walled, he can break in anytime. I actually agree with that, yeah. I, I think the market in this case would just if you had like two stable knights behind it, it would end the game on the spot for sure. Yeah. You're onto something though. Uh, I, I'm not sure why I'm sharing that. <laughs> like, if people start using market against me no, just to kill the prices, I'm dead, man. <laughs> they just sell the stone and buy it back <laughs> later. Like, I will treat this people, but first I like, kill your price. Alright, <laughs> uh, now we see the crossbow tech come in for Viper. Remember, the tech's coming faster for Portuguese. Uh, he can't really break in too fast because of the house, but the knight is coming. And we're gonna see crossbow, uh, sorry, Bodicanero Elite Sturm now for Mysterio to defend. Uh, crossbow camels are really good comp to counter, you know, the crossbow, crossbow knight. I think it's fine. Yeah, but the problem with skirmishes, you need all the targets to be efficient yeah. against crossbow, and that's. That's sacrificing a lot of economy. Viper should be yeah on the second EC. Way, way faster. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue with Skirms. They're really solid, but it feels like if you're on defense with them and you're just getting all the upgrades, then you don't get damage. You don't really clean up army. Because now Viper can just back up and then it's these three TC versus one. And he spent yeah, all the time. And you kind of give the full map control. Like only MBL can make Skirms work so well any single game. Yeah. Like you give the map control back, but the MBL is like fight easy booming. Ah, I will be, win the game later on with economy. Yeah, absolutely. And it's uh yeah, it's a situation here like Yo's on 2TC. He's got a decent army, but he can't really move out. Uh not yet at least. He needs maybe a few more camels. And we'll see what he can do once he does get out. And problem is like Monastery will kick him probably for Viper, he will pick up the relics and he will grind the game for Imperial Age. And I prefer Portuguese there, especially with map control. Yeah, Viper's also starting to take some stone as well. Uh, the cool thing about when you put the 30C on stone is that you get to make a castle defensively if you get pushed. And if you don't get pushed, you can then make the uh, castle offensively. It leaves you really flexible. I like that. Yeah, and you can always make the cast in the face and end the game one way or another. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Either you win or <laughs> or you're losing. But the game if is you over. You just want a fast game. That's it. Like. <laughs> the the Dallas guy for a fast game. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Torgan guns these days? Uh, I haven't seen too much of them. I've seen Viper and Tata use them the most, actually, from what I've been seeing. But um, I've heard they're really good against units. Not so much against siege and buildings, but great against units. So that's kind of how I, I see them. And you? Like, when I play them, they feel now really bad in Castle Age, but in Imperial Age with full upgrades, they feel unstoppable. Okay. They are melting paladins and everything. Wow. Okay. I think because, like, Ballistic is now helping way more to them. Uh, they, they just shared everything in full steam. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it definitely went from like that all-in castage unit to just like a power unit in the back now. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. how it should be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, unique units is... We, we, we'd like it to be more of like a, a DPS main unit than like an all-in push, if, if possible. But it's a support unit. 
almost like Bohemians one man, that unit will never be good. No, no, that unit needs a, <laughs> a complete rework to, to be useful. <laughs> I see the skirms and camos pushing in now from Yo. And Viper, this is a typical mistake he does. He's floating 800 gold. He, he almost always floats gold in this situation. I think it's definitely his weakest part of the game. Market. <laughs> market fix <laughs> everything. <laughs> he drops the market. He actually buys some stone instead of food and makes a castle on the right hand side. This is really smart because he makes the castle on the hill where Yo's army isn't right now. So he gets to basically get a free castle, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. And he is confident he will clean it up with one diagonal there. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's the problem with the um, counter units. Going skirmishers and camels, you count units, but you're not damage dealer, right? Yeah. You cannot kill the villagers, you don't cause so much threat. Easily ignored. Yeah, exactly. And then. All that happened between like these two players basically is Viper has got a ten build lead. Like that's the difference. They both have similar yeah. armies. But look at the food count. Like you will be faster to the Imperial Age. Like ten more farmers. Like, I'm surprised that his economy is looking so much better. Well, I mean, it's just, he just didn't float the gold. Like he didn't float the gold. He didn't mine stone. So Viper has got no food, but he's got a castle, and he had to use the market a lot. It, de it definitely hurts his economy. If you take a look at the resources gathered, we see that Viper actually should have more. Yeah, Viper's got 1,200 more. <laughs> I just did that as well, yeah. 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 I guess he just distribute that bad. Oh, also, maybe the stats are back because when you use the market, it says that you'll actually gather the resources. Ah, true, true, true. Yeah, a bit bugged. Um, that's true. But but nonetheless, I'm sure Viper gathered more, or just that it, he kind of lost it through market and just making a castle. Yeah. It's not a loss, but it's yeah. just not going towards the Imperial Age. And Yo is about to click, actually, if he wants to. And there is also one big difference, like, Yo doesn't have a castle, so yeah. Viper, how a good part of that economy leads the event to the castle. And now Viper's actually planning to go for a bit of an all-in castle, I think. Getting the uh, armor for the calves, adding three ranges, or two more ranges, and another stable. So he wants to play a mix of crossbows and knights in this late castle age. And Mr. Yo wants to just go imp, but the problem is, what does Yo do in imp? He's got no castle and very little army. Mm -hmm. That's where the... when you go faster imp, you need Arbalesty, right? Yeah. Then you can do a damage dealer. Like, you just need the tech and your units are strong. If you need to invest into expensive units, your imp means nothing. I agree. Yeah. And I think Yo obviously just clicked up. And I think this is a good situation if Viper was also doing fast stamp. Because then you can go skirms to counter his fast stamp Arbalest. And then Yo is completely fine with Bomber Cannon and everything. But in this case, Viper's going to go like a mix of cavalry and uh, crossbows. And that's really, really good against the fast stamp with just skirms. And also, you did collect two relics, but he made monastery on a questionable spot, right? Very far forward. <laughs> uh, it would be easier for Viper to just let him collect all the relics and take the monastery down. Yeah, yeah, later on. I, th I think that's something that's been happening a lot more recently, actually. Like, people realize that if you just take the enemy's relics, it's a win condition in and of itself. You don't have to push too far in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the style you always play is typical Byzantine style. Mm -hmm. And it always works for Byzantines, for Hindustanis, I, I'm not convinced. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, like, Viper's playing rather passive right now, don't you find? Like, he's got a lot of army, he will clean up the, the army on the left, but Viper's staying in castle, and he's not really doing a whole lot. Mr. Yo could get away with this, in my opinion. Uh, uh, this is a typical Viper style, right? He likes to have more units, you like to do that sometimes as well. Invest a bit more in castle age, get the map present, and then get Imperial age slower, but full map control back. And just yeah. cleaning those skirms, like you will get Imperial Age with what? Six camels? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if they're heavy camel or not, still six camels. And I'm, I'm actually curious, like, what is Yo planning? Because he has a lot of resources, he's just not really spending them. It's very strange. Ooh, maybe it's Ken Ken on Nears. That would be actually Ooh, quite good. I don't range mind is that. insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just a few camels to defend the knights? That could be really solid, but it is something that takes time, right? He needs chemistry. Uh, he doesn't even have a university. Oh, he does have it. Okay, chemistry first, then surely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, chemistry. That's a good plan. Like, yeah, camels will buy time against knights. Crossbow cannot dive in against skirms. I can see that working, but yeah. this trigger Viper to just go in, right? Yeah, yeah. Viper sees Imperial Age, and obviously, most players would back up. Uh, most inexperienced players. But Viper realizes that, you know what? Just imp with no army. He just dives in, gets a really good trade, and now Yo is just trying to defend, basically. Well, it's a simple match, right? The game was super even so far. If enemy can afford 2k resources to go in, well, that means my army is stronger. Let's yeah. go in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good way to explain it. And Viper cast at the back, uh, playing very safe. But I don't know if that's what you need when you're uh, up against a faster imp. Maybe more pressure could have been nice. 
But nonetheless, he's securing his map quite nicely. And Yo now gets a castle himself and makes the ranges. So he wants to go hand near with a unique attack, giving them extra two range. Yeah, this is what I like to see. Like, not a typical unit composition, and this is a strength of Hindustan. Extra armor, plus two range. Those, those are trained arbalists, I believe. Yep, they do, by one. And it's uh, they have they really solid attack versus anything infantry. Uh, they're great against organ guns. It's a, it's a fantastic choice. Like, really, really good play from Yo here. And maybe most important, when you have such a strong hand cannoneer, the bomber cannon is not a threat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You snap it so easily. And he's got the Magnetic Clip, the organs. You know what? A Viper has the map control, but Yo, even down 15 bills here, has a very solid push cooking up right now. He's got Conscription, Unique Tech coming in right now, and already starting the hand cannon production. And he just needs to fix his economy now. Like, it's the back of his base is a little bit of a mess. So fixing his economy in this next two minutes will be huge, and then playing a, a late game from there. You are too nice, man, saying that's a little bit too honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster, man. That's tragic. Okay, okay. He's going for normal lumber, lumber camp now. Well, all his woodlands are forward and he's the only safe one. But now he's getting some map control back and yeah. he's fixing that. Yeah, exactly. And now Viper, typical fashion, cast on the left-hand side. Always gets castles on hills. He's just... The game won't let him oh, place it castle. if it's on the flat ground. <laughs> yeah, it's a 45-minute castle. <laughs> The game will automatically crash if there is no healing the map. <laughs> like, what is that castle? <laughs> it's on a hill, man. It's, it's good. Uh, that's how Viper thinks. Lord. That's how Viper <laughs> thinks. And I, I think okay. it's actually a good style as well. Like, I think it's really solid. I guess Yo probably, because Yo likes to raid a lot, yeah. do multiple attacks, and having all those farmers safe, he made 2 mil all farms. It is nice, but man, it's thinking like, what will happen in 35 minutes? Yeah, exactly. I want it now, bro. <laughs> You want your opponent to know you're making a castle? <laughs> like now, I don't Thanks care like what the cap in the like, Maybe game will crash. <laughs> and now we see the hand cannon here actually doing a really good job. Viper's maybe fighting a little too early. He's forcing the fight, but he's got castle Imperialage coming in in 30 seconds now. Uh, I don't know Those if that's a good idea. Thank you, fire armor man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really thank you. This is not an easy fight. And also, like as Viper runs away, you're gonna get hit a little bit. Just gonna continue moving forward. Yeah, already killing a few on the way back. It's so so sick, so sick. Nine range hand cannon near man. Now when I think about that, like, Viper is kind of. <laughs> what is his solution? Like feels like he he cannot stop this this composition. Well, like Ar Arbalest and Skirmix should be good against the hand cannons. I don't think it's too bad, but it, Yo's push is coming right now, and and I think like Viper needs a couple minutes to to get his army composition going. And Yo's not gonna give him that time. I think Viper will always trade inefficiently, slightly, so he needs a better economy, more map control, more goal control, and okay. he's not establishing that yet. Yeah, kind of like, staying too much on his map. Anyway. Yeah. This has the outpost, extra gold and extra stone on the bottom, and Viper is trying that. He's getting a stable on the, on the bottom, so he's kind of playing towards that. Might need a second cast on this area, though, because Yo's just claiming this hill. There's a bigger hill, bigger hill to the right, though. We'll see Viper going on it soon. Okay, so we'll go up. This cannot be good fight for Viper. I think he'll just take the trap and run. Maybe the hand. Oh, he's gonna go for it? No, he's gonna go for the bomber cannon. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he realized he can't, he can't fight that. It's uh, still expensive yeah. bomber cannon sniper. Yeah, yeah. He lost the call mid shield. Yeah, and I think, you know, although the bomber cannon is the most expensive unit in the game, you could just make another one right now. It's like you don't really lose the momentum, whereas the light cav, it can take a while to replenish them. And food is like most important now. Like. In like five minutes, gold will be more important. But now, yeah, you're spending all your food income on the upgrades and such. So replacing food unit is not an easy task. Yeah, very true, very true. Viper is getting the masonry upgrade for the extra HP on the castles. I don't see a lot of players doing that. Viper really enjoys that, and I think it's a good choice here. Uh, Yo, does it as well <laughs> right now? No, oh, going for it right now. Yeah, recognizing it's a play. And look at the hand cannon doing so much damage to the light cap here. Amazing. Yo, man, good job. Is, like, I didn't see this coming, man. I like when, when I get surprised a lot, man. When I cast <laughs> a game that I know from start to finish, it's not that fun, but this, this, this is a really, really good opening. Yeah, yeah. I recognize that against Portuguese on spot, probably. I don't think we ever saw such opening. Really good play. Uh, I, even when we saw the Imperialist coming in, we didn't click the hand cannons until way later. You obviously came up with it uh, when you saw that nothing else was happening. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Yo seemed to like prepare this for a while now. He was setting this up from the start. That being said, though, the castle goes down. Maybe Yo's a little too far forward now. You gotta be careful. 
Oh, that bomber cannon snipe, but kill that bomber cannon. Uh, one of the bomber cannons from Yo. And now it's a little bit of dodgeball as they shoot and run, shoot and run. One trap goes down. But this is where the Pian Kuniers break this meta. Like, they are way better in sniping bomber cannons on Arbalest. Especially with the uh, Kindle Yeah. Absolutely. Siege Engineers is a very important upgrade for both both players, by the way. I'm surprised Viper's not getting it. I think he, he can afford it. He should get it. Yeah, it's not easy to afford. Also, Ballistic for the Bomber Cannon. Can be I good. I think it's that good. Oh, you, you don't like it? You still need to... I, I, I obviously like it. Because <laughs> I don't know any other way. But, like, you still need to target fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with Ballistics, you can still dodge it if you're the enemy. I think, you know what? I think Yo is actually a little too far forward. I would prefer to see him back up a little bit. He's a clone, we're just not there, right? Viper is working with way more villagers, and he got yeah, always yeah. the Mitchell. Like, he's wasting those light here, but they are tanking the shot. Yeah, exactly. And every time sniping some cannons. But Yo is still fine. He just needs to go back. It sucks that the relics are on the front, but if he just goes back, and maybe prefers Skirms or Hussar, he can be in a solid position. But look at Viper. Meanwhile, it's always happening. Four Arbalest raiding the Woodlands, and Yo's at 107 bills. Mm -mm, the Hassar switch, yeah. Yo went too greedy on that here. He wanted to win the game right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he just wait for the mid shield, he would get kind of unstoppable composition. Yeah, I think his late game was looking really solid. The hand cannons, the Hassar, maybe some skirms. Because he can, he can afford to play skirms. Viper, not really, if there's a shot on the field. Um, it was... Yeah, it feels like, those light camps are just melting, but they are still doing the work, right? Yeah. And they melt, Arbalest snipe one or two, one or two. Yeah, it's always a one for one. Viper's at 156 bills now. I think that was the correct choice. I think Yo stopped making bills too early. He wanted to just end the game. And it was not the right choice. Mm, yeah, opening was amazing. But he wanted to win with one push and he absolutely didn't know to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't even close. I think he needed the economy, he needed the tech switch. And now Viper, this is exactly the situation he likes to be in. He's gonna kill the monastery, take the relics, and then there's nothing they can stop. Portuguese with five relics are completely unstoppable, I think, in late game. The gold units are just... And it's here with five relics, is just like... Most of them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Impossible to play against. Mm, yeah, a bit, a bit surprised how Yo played that one out. Amazing opening, but then he... Like, he was pushing down hill. If it was a flat ground, he would probably break out, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pushing the hill is so, so damn hard. Also, you're forcing the push into a castle that's already established. It's not, like, exactly the easiest thing. It, it was ambitious, to say the least. It didn't pay off in this particular game. Yeah, that's something we never do. Like, imagine if you all made the castle on the left side of the map and start pushing from there, like, ignore the middle. Yeah, yeah. It's so unnatural thing to do, but sometimes... Sometimes it can be a better option. Yeah, I thought of that a long time ago, actually. The, the fact that, like, one guy makes a cast in the middle and the other guy has to push it. Like, it's not, it doesn't have to be like right? that. It's in the middle. Like, it's, so, it's like it's like the king of the kill. Like, we need to control yeah. the middle. Yeah, yeah. And it makes sense because the middle, it's natural to, to want the middle because, you know, you can raid from the sides. You kind of control, like, yeah. the center. You, you control the map. But if the guy has it, the guy has it. Leave him alone and let him have it for a little bit. Yeah. Especially when that hill in the middle was kind of far away from your base, so it was not an uh, instant threat to you. Absolutely, yeah. And now we see the light cavalry come in, Siege Engineer is coming out, and uh, Viper is looking at the relics, and look at this. Now Yo goes to the left side castle. Could have done that from the start and just controlled yeah, the hill, yeah. and just let Viper have that one hill, and now Herbert Medicine is coming in. Viper's getting all the lake in text, and Yo, unprotected at home, now rushing down the castle, but it's too little too late at this point. Yeah, he's a... Population is still fine, but at this play point, you're kind of playing the losing game, right? Mm -hmm. You know it's over, <laughs> you will be chasing Viper forever. If you have like at least three relics at home, you'll be playing for that advantage, but now without relics as well. Yeah. Like, what is your hope? Yeah, exactly. You have no win condition at this point, it's just waiting to die. But Yo likes to wait to wait, wait to die for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. He well. enjoys it. <laughs> I don't he know about you, fighting. but when I'm losing, I want to get out as fast as possible. Like, <laughs> like. I know, as a player, when casters are like, come on, doubt, resign. I was like, I play my game, I resign, and I won't. Yeah. You're not boss of me, you just leave. But now, as a caster, I'm like, come on, resign. <laughs> I think it's a good resign. mix. Like, the player has, like, sometimes he wants to try to the end. But Yo tries to 10 minutes after the end, usually. <laughs> but it's fine. He, he has won a couple games like that. So, you know, if you well, win one out of yeah. 20, then go for it. It's still worth it, right? Especially yeah. in uh, important matches. Exactly, exactly.
Now we see the cast on the left it's just going down way too fast. There's way too much siege. Siege engineers also get some more damage, which is just huge, underrated. And now Viper's got ballistics on the cannons, by the way, so even doing really good work on the light cap. Let's see if they get the shot on those cannoneers. Bam bam. Ballistic is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> ballistic is actually fake. The problem is just how it works. Like it's so easy to, to dodge the ballistics. Honestly, I think it's a placebo effect. Like you get ballistic and you think you're not hitting, and you feel better. <laughs> the cannons. I mean, it's just. Uh, see, look, look at Yo is winning with one cannon versus four ballistic cannons. <laughs> it's just a lie. <laughs> yeah, I think when people figured out you can micro ballistics, the the tech lost a lot of its value. Damn you, Leary. Yeah, Leary's the first to come up with that, actually. He's mm -hmm. dancing, the, the cross is back and forth. Everyone's just watching him. Now you have the 2K2s on the ladder doing it. It's expected of you. It, it, it's quick follow as well as Viper, like. Yeah. Now, even I play like 2.2 player, I cannot like send scouts whenever I want in his base. I know I'll get trapped. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to be careful all the time. Everyone knows how to quick wall. If you don't quick wall, it's a mistake. Before it was a great play, you know? <laughs> the game just became so much different right now. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, why didn't he quick wall? <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's capable of doing that. Like, maybe he can. Why. <laughs> maybe he can. And we see crop rotation coming in for Viper. Like that's a Yo upgrade. If, he, if Viper's getting it, you know it's looking bad for Yo. <laughs> Beautiful way to wrap up TCI. Yeah, that upgrade. I think Neely did the math for Empire Wars. It's never to get it. Yeah, yeah. It's like you need like an hour into the game to for it to pay off. Although Neely told me recently that maybe his math was wrong, so I don't know. Well, knowing how Nilly plays, I would not uh, charge that map. <laughs> Whatever Nilly tells us, we just do the opposite, and that's that's our map. Then you're good. <laughs> yeah, Viper's diving. This is very unlike Viper to dive a castle like that, and you know it's very far over when he's doing that. If the game even had a small chance to lose, Viper would be on the hill with the Arblast protecting the traps. I mean, Yo doesn't exist on the map. Like, <laughs> He's just getting destroyed. But the single point of the map is like, looking good. Yeah, a great first game though. GG's called, finally here. Viper takes game one. And that was a really solid opening. We were talking about how Yo was doing something different. He had a really really good chance to, to make that work, by the way. We weren't just hyping up his position. He had a really good chance to make it work. But instead of making Vils, he kind of stopped build production around 110, 120. And then just went for the one push. Didn't care to transition, didn't care to expand. And he thought it would be enough, but of course, pushing on that one castle didn't work out. Viper pushes back, and Viper continued making vills, got to 150 vills, 200 pop, and it was game over from there. All right, next game is starting. We have actually Yucatan, which is uh, an interesting map. I actually, I started out, I used to hate this map. This tournament made me love this map, to be honest. Why? This is like one of the coolest maps, man. Really? You actually like it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> think something like this map should be designed more like because there is so much extra natural food on the map yeah you can use it obviously to boom like you but <laughs> it also <laughs> can be used for aggression right yeah for example viper got berries and this forward if you rush that he pushed that away from him take that away from him it's a mm -hmm. huge huge impact right yeah so you're not only fighting for the like natural position of the map for the gold and such but you're now fighting right away to like a basic food <laughs> basic food of the beginning so you're not having that, and you're having that, it's a huge deal. And Viper's especially. already laming, by the way, with the Mongol scouts. So like, Use first of all, Mongol is one of the best tips on this map. Of course, there's so much hunt, so just getting the extra hunt in is super solid with Mongols. But then also laming on top of it, that's very solid for Viper here. Last day TCI. Mm -hmm. And the matchup as it is, I, I, like, Burgundians are a bit questionable here, I must say. I, I know Yo loves them, but he would predict that Viper would use the Mongols here. Yeah, and Burgundians don't feel the best against... Uh, Mongols, and we see Viper actually taking the two boars from the center of the map. There was four boars there, those are neutral boars, and Viper's taking Ooh. two to start. That's insane. Rage Forest practice paying off. Yeah, look at that. Even though it's had a quick wall. There's two more as well. Yep. I think he's going to go back for the other two afterwards as well. He seems like the type of guy. And this yeah. is obviously fantastic, because he gets, he gets to take the neutral boars, leave his deer for later, and no problem. Dude, that, that's insane. But Yo is right there. Oh, can see a trap? <sighs> Ooh, not quite, not quite. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine playing Mongols with 10 boars. That yeah. doesn't sound fair at all. <laughs> this is going to be a very satisfying opening for Viper. 
Yeah, and the problem is Burgundians also have a good economy, but their economy is more or less just a map, like on a map like Arena, where like they have the time to set up, it's cool. But on a map like Yucatan, where Mongols can get such a fast castle now, like Viper's already going to gold. I think he's going to be clicking up very soon, actually. Yeah, well, Viper can choose how he opens, right? He mm -hmm. can open Feudal and still not slow down his castle. He can open fast castle, a few units, like Lancers, mm -hmm. still boom behind. He can even go Mango, they like. The boost he will get from food, <laughs> even insane. if he was not Mongols, is insane, right? Yeah, yeah. Boar being one of the fastest resources to gather from. Yeah, it's it's very solid here. Now he's going back for the last two boars. Uh, Yo's already out of boar himself, taking some deer, taking some sheep, so you can see how he's in a different situation. And Viper's going fast feudal. I think this could be a fast castle, though, honestly. This this looks more like a fast sure. castle to me, yeah. <laughs> Look at that gate. Like, he played Alcatraz. You can tell, man. He is blocking those with the gate first. <laughs> Yeah, uh, those freaking quick wall scenarios and the black forest, <laughs> these guys are another level right now with the quick walls. He he up without Tulum even, because he was trading the scout HP, so he knew he was safe in that regard. Yeah. But <laughs> still luring two boars without scout kelp, without Loom on the middle of the map. A brave guy. And it pays off. The bravery pays off. And now <laughs> we see Viper's definitely going for the fast castle. He's kind of taking some uh, some wood now. With the bills under the TC, kills first boar, kills the second. Oh, this is, feels great. He's got three boars under the TC. And he's going to go for the barracks. He wants to go barracks and then probably... I think he'll go for the step lancer FC. I think that sounds like uh, his plan. <laughs> I just cannot stop laughing looking at you what he's doing with his walls. Like, that's such a yo, man. <laughs> like, what is that, man? And the, the best part about this is Yo's going to spend the first 10 minutes walling. <laughs> and Viper's going to break in two seconds with step lancer siege if he goes for that. The Viper will finish 5 TC boom until Yo gets castled at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yo is not even up. Those palaces in the dark ages are nothing. So Viper hits Feudal. Yo hasn't clicked. Yo is just about to finish walling. And that's just the difference between Mongols and Burgundians here. Yeah, that's what I think. Like it, Burgundians' unique unit is insane, right? It's so cost efficient. It's easy to micro. It's easy to keep them alive. Heal them up because you want monastery as well for mm -hmm. the relics. But... Not on this map against Mongols. <laughs> Mongol lead is too big. Yeah, ab absolutely. It's it's definitely more of a slower pace of, compared to the fastest of in the game. Now we see the stable. And honestly, props to Viper for balancing the economy so well. Like, this is no way he practiced this. But nonetheless, mm -hmm. he, he gets a really fast time. 23 pop here is sick. Yeah, perfect amount of food. Like, usually you would want to eat those boards right away. And now you would have, like, floating 600 food for nothing. And no building to click up. So, yeah, perfect, perfect execution of the build. Yeah. Now he gets double bid axe. Keep in mind though, and it, it is worth mentioning, if for whatever reason Viper doesn't do anything with this push, like he makes the units, doesn't really get value, then going up this fast actually kind of hurts his economy because Yo will have more resources gathered over time because he's up with more bills right now. So Viper kind of has to either make town centers to get more bills or he's got to do something with the push. Uh, but of course, he has a really good window to do something with the push, of course. And his scouting is like, he knows where he can attack. Like, those walls are so far away. So sending villagers to repair that, especially against Lancers. Yeah. The game can end right away. And by presenting stable, second stable. Yeah. Second and attack, so. Uh, I is... think he will break in somewhere. <laughs> this is looking very solid for Viper. And actually, there's been a build. The FC Step Lancer build. Um, it's It's been very popular recently. It's like a Huangwash with, with Mongols. I'm sure you know about it. And... Yeah, yeah, did it a few times. Yeah, it's possible on Arabia, and it's even more possible on Yucatan with extra four boards. So, like now we're seeing like the best version of the strategy, basically. Yeah, usually it's one stable only, right? And Viper mm -hmm. can easily go double stable. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really yeah. insane. Okay, let's check stats, like economy-wise difference. Not that heavy, like only two hundred more. Yeah, yeah, it, it's Viper doesn't have more resources. He just invested all the resources into this fast push. So like. That's what I said, if Yo somehow buys time, like if Viper just AFKs five minutes, then Yo is actually in a completely <laughs> fine position. But the problem is this ooh, timing window, it's two minutes of castleage and it's Siege and Step Lancer. Like this, I think there's zero chance for Yo to stop this. Uh, those are just destroying the walls. Um, yeah. I really don't see how. Yo is an amazing in those spots, but how? <laughs> how? Yeah. Will Viper show the Lancer right away? Yeah, he's not hiding anything. Yeah. I that could be a mistake, arguably. Because I think if you wait till 6, you break in one shot, but... Yeah, or wait for Mangodon at least, so he cannot fall behind. Yeah, yeah. So now maybe Yo gets some time. But the Mangodon is coming. 30% on that one. Um... He's just that confident that it won't matter if you react. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's break somewhere else. Forcing the house walls. Yo, we'll get the house walls everywhere here, though. I think I buy him another maybe 30 seconds, which is not too bad. But okay, Yo gets Castledge. What is his plan? He's not on stone. He doesn't have even the barrack, right? He can yeah. only make monastery. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's looking rough. I, I guess you can go double monastery right away and just hope. And it, it's Mr. Yo, so it could, it could work. Hope for conversions. <laughs> Man, the house is melting. That house is gone. Yeah, uh, that, that hurts. He's trying to wall behind. He knows he needs to buy himself some time. Viper also looking for another area to open with the two lances up top. Lances are coming in here. The Magnus behind. Mm, there's still a hole. And, okay, I mean, the Lancers don't even care. They'll break a hole anywhere, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, even kill the villager oh, behind. That's so good. Yeah, that's so brutal. This unit is so strong, man. Yeah, we'll have to talk a little bit with the Step Lancer after this game as well. But for now, we'll just witness the carnage. Look at that second bill going down. Monastery and TC, that's the only thing Yo can do. But yeah. even like that, even if he stops the push at this point, he's so far behind. Yeah. He's so far behind. Monastery gets denied. I think you just go for a second one at, the, at home. Just go for a second one behind your base. Yeah, he is going for that, but Viper's running in. And it's one-shotting all the bills now. It's, yeah, it's just nothing you can do. Also, both base are denied. There is not single farming yet. It, it, also, the TC going, <laughs> going down. <laughs> oh my god, the stuff are eating everything. And yo, he's seen enough. Wow, I mean, wow. That's insane. Well... First game, your strategy was really good. This game, team choice was wrong and strategy... Inexistent. Well, like, he, he, he didn't even get to use the strategy, which is just a boom, like... I, I don't, don't think there's anything he do. What is a good, yeah, what is yeah. a good strategy here for to stop the monk with, like, extra four balls? Yeah, it's impossible. I, I think this, this game, like, Viper wins 10 out of 10. There's nothing Vale can do. I, I think I still think Burgundian is the wrong choice. I think if, you're, if you know you're up against Mongols and Yucatan, you should just pick your absolute worst sip. Like, Burgundian was first row for him. So, well, yeah, like Viper deers were exposed. Also, the boss in the middle. If like usually against Mongols, you want to open some fast rush, build just forward, like kill that hand, knife in the boss, and then the game is different. But just going boom and letting all that hand, well, you give him the full strength of his save, and your strength <laughs> will not yeah. come in time. And also, you have zero chance to force mistakes, right? Like if you at least attack him, Hi, maybe hero, the Mongol player messes up. But here, like Viper is completely fine. <laughs> and he is a very strong Nomad player. Definitely a proper Yomab. But a uh, weird option for him to go Berber is not really a typical Nomad team, I would say. Not at all, but it is 9 for start, and your builds do move faster. So you could get up to a really, really strong opening with them. Uh, also, maybe mm. he wants to counter Spanish because... Oh no, Yo had Spanish, so you don't even want to counter Spanish. Uh, interesting choice then, for the Berbers. I know Tatur realized like Koreans are the best maybe on a village start nomad because of the line of sight you see the whole map. Yeah. It's such a good boost. Yeah, absolutely. Now we see Yo pulling in the boar. Actually, that's a little early. Uh, he's not allowed to lure boar before TC's up, but... Ooh. Uh, Adam Rister? I don't know. It's <laughs> not going to matter too much, so I might just let it slide. I don't know. With corruption. I, I'm the host. I'm the winner. I'm the commentator. I'm the, I'm the admin. It's too much. <laughs> C corruption everywhere. Nearly got nothing on you, man. <laughs> it's corruption everywhere. I, I think if it mattered, uh, I would definitely restart, but that's. I think that should be fine. Um, Doc on well, the right Well, now TC not being a cheap right away from Alliance, making their opening, well, still decent, but not as powerful, not as dominant. I, I don't think it interests me anymore. I don't think Mal Malance is a good Nomad sub anymore. Because the whole point before <laughs> was that the TC is cheaper, so you save the wood, and you get the fish right away. So that's a big advantage. That's a double advantage. Now, without that, yeah, it's a pretty mediocre sub. You don't need villagers on food, right? You just get fish yeah. ship and everything on wood, and you have an amazing opening. And But now they got the gold bonus, right? So did they get something in uh, return? That is true, yeah. I just feel like they might be better used on other maps here. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, um, we see Yo actually is already starting to wall the map on the left-hand side. And they're pretty, <laughs> yeah, as he likes Freaking to do. Yo. <laughs> as he likes to do, look at the houses. I mean, you know what? I think it's the only reason he's able to survive the archer players. Because if you think about it, like, archer players would just destroy you if you're open every time. Because the crosses come in, you don't have time to get knights or skirms. But with the walls, he buys himself some time. I agree, but in my logic of the walls, he's always doing late when you have more villagers. Like, when you have 10 villagers and using one villagers to wall, you waste 10% of your economy. Yeah, yeah. When you have like 25 villagers, then it's like uh, uh, um, yeah. 3.5. So 
something like that. Math on stream. Let's do the math on stream. Yeah. Yeah, but no, still, I see what then you it mean. doesn't matter much. Yeah, yeah. It's negligible afterwards, but now it's a really, really heavy take. I mean, I, I think Yo just likes to get them nice and early here, but he's doing it some Boris looking to get a good start. Both players doing the same thing here. And I mean, we could talk about the matchup. Malians versus Berbers. As the game goes on, I feel like the Berbers are actually maybe a better sieve, but Malians should have the stronger economy throughout most of the game. Berbers are highly underrated. Like, I realized that in my matchup against Nico, like, Castle Age, Camel Archers, like, destroy everything. They're super solid. They, they eh? might, yeah, it might be the best unit in game right now. Really? Wow. They, I actually think they're best in, like, what's their weakness? Um,. I think the weakness of going for them is that you don't have an eco bonus. That's the only weakness. Like if Berbers goes for castle, sometimes they get out boom. That's the that's the weakness I can see. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like Mongol Smangodai, but Berbers feels easier to do that. Like it feels like camera just are producing fast, you also get the unique tech. It mm. just feels smoother and your transition to the possible stables is obviously easier as well. Okay, interesting. I mean I still think the Magida should be a better unit overall, but I don't, I don't know if I can join you on the best unit in the game, but I, <laughs> I can definitely see how they're very solid. I mean, we did see, um, what was it? It was a game, I think, Tato versus Viper, where Tato went for the Camel Rushers on Gold Rush. I don't know if you watched that game. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they yeah. looked I really guess. good. Yeah, six, yeah. Like, he yeah. actually won with that. Yeah. He was so far behind, right? He screwed up opening, but Camel yeah. Arches transition that we probably didn't plan, but reacted. It yeah. was a really good play. Yeah, and they just got so much value. Very hard to stop. And it, it scales really well because you can go Camel Archer and then naturally with the Berbers going straight into Hussar, straight into Light Cav, it's, everything just flows perfectly if you get to that. But if you open stable, it's really hard to transition into Camel Archer. So it's like kind of like how it goes. It, it's more like the 10% movement speed of the Villager. I, I don't feel it at all. Like, that should affect the quality, but I don't feel it at all. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it, I, th I think it does play a role actually in the farmers, but it's not noticeable, unfortunately. And look like at Yo, Roman's how is Yo walling? <laughs> look at Yo's walls. What the hell? He's walling the whole map. Well, worked on Yucatan. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope Viper doesn't have Lancers this time. Maybe you can survive a little bit longer. And he's just like, going same same kind of style here. The Nomad you play by scouting enemy dock, right? And then you decide if you need fast builder or not. Yeah. Viper noticed go, uh, the dock of Yo. He made a close dock, so fast builder will demolish the fish boom. And then he will take the economy lead, right? Yeah. While Yo, I'm not sure what's his plan <laughs> to wall. And now we see Viper going for two dock galleys. I'm looking to completely snipe all of Yo's fish. I don't think Yo can stop that. Um, it's not like fires where you can just run away, galleys will chase you down, so he was going to lose all his fish guaranteed. But he's going to use that fish to wall the whole map, and I think maybe he will get onto camel archers, or he'll get onto night siege, we'll see. And look how Viper, after uh, finishing the galley, instant efficient ship, he knows he will take the water, he wants oh, to boost his economy lead even further. Okay? Very smart, yeah. A lot of people would make another round of galleys, or just nothing, but the two fish is perfect right now. No, not sure, like obviously you will have fast castle age with a deadlier unit, but Viper just need to hold for a little longer. Yeah, and his economy will be very solid. I mean, let's see, Viper's not adding a barracks. Um, he will get the castle age maybe a few minutes after Yo. So it's all a matter of how Yo plays those few minutes out. He's gonna go barracks, he's gonna play stable and not for camel archers here. Uh, it's gonna go blacksmith. But very important thing to notice. Yo saved the fishing ships. He sent the villager down on the corner on the south side and he'll make the dock and have the fish boom. Interesting. But the Viper is in the chase. <laughs> Viper knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. But I mean, if Yo can get a dock and get a couple fires, he can buy himself some time maybe. But then again, yeah, Burba's fires move faster, so he can chase that way easily. But if you FC and then start spending all your res on the fires, then like, are you really getting value from the FC <laughs> though? That's the problem. Yeah, you're having all your fish ships idle as well, so you're getting, well, let's see the stats. I love seeing the stats, man. <laughs> yeah, the stats are really interesting. I think that's something that's pushing the game very far forward, by the way. Yeah, 200 more, not as much as I was thinking. Well, it's just a castle. It's like right now, they're about even, but Yo will start to fall behind in the stats at this point. So that's kind of how it goes. Now I but he will keep his fish safe. Yeah, he will keep his like one galley is not enough to snipe. Yeah, probably not a single fishing ship. Uh, he'll get one for sure, but uh, yeah, nothing else after that. Uh, however, Do fishing ships move faster as well. Yeah, everything. Yeah, fish moves faster. Oh, and we see the repairs come down. 
Yeah, looks like we're gonna save all of the fish here. Also, a really important thing, but the, the galleys do 10 damage exactly to fishing ships without fletching, and that's so important. It's the reason why galleys are so strong, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If they made that 9 damage, yeah. you would need an extra shot, and that's huge. And God to love that Viper add one more fire galley, just to be able to be a mid shield for the galleys. Yeah, galleys. He doesn't want to overcommit on the water, he just wants to have exactly enough to clean the fishing ship. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the best way to put it. Yeah. And now Yo's waiting for the next one, but of course the fish has to run. And, and now it's exactly what I was worried about. Like, Yo, uh, he's going castle, but he's spending all his time worrying about the water. And Viper is castle only 40 seconds after, by the way. So that's a few minutes earlier. It was just 40 seconds. Very uh, did you not see the school scouts of your... It looks like Viper did. Around the... Quick wall, them all. <laughs> quick wall, yeah, yeah. Freaking quick walls. That should not be allowed, man. Yeah, that's so good. That should be illegal. <laughs> like... I invested in the units, you have exposed villagers, let me kill them, man. <laughs> yeah, and Viper didn't bring the spears and archers now. Uh, I still think Yo's resources are doing pretty fine. Like, he can he can add a second town center if he wants to. He can also push. And it looks like he's going to go for the push approach, going for Monastery first, then maybe Siege Workshop. I'm sure he'll he'll go for a pretty heavy castle play here. Yeah, yeah, calling for Yo is not that bad, considering he was uh, moving his fishing ship, he was walling a lot. But in the end, it's only 300 difference, right? You snipe a few galleys and then we're equal. Yeah. And Yo kept four fishing ships alive. So he lost three, but obviously keep, keeping four alive is solid. And now we see the first knight come out, sniping the spears, and Yo gets some pretty good value here. I'm actually surprised Viper lost those archers. I think that's kind of a mistake. I'm surprised he went archers at all. <laughs> like, Fair. They were too late in this type of game to make any damage, and yeah. you don't want to invest into crossbow. Like stable, few camels, few monastery would be better. Yeah, I guess not wanting to play stable into Berbers is an, uh, is an idea as well, but I think uh, just going for a few camels is not exactly playing heavy, uh, heavy you know, stable units. Yeah, obviously his camels are cheaper, but you get gold income better, so that's kind of equaling, equaling things out. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I and like forward that. Forward Siege Shop as well. <laughs> I think that makes sense. He's punishing the Viper who didn't go stable. Viper now goes for the water upgrade, by the way. And so he's going to be able to control the water, which is nice. You got, you got a lot of fish, but the problem with water on Nomad is that it gets you resources, but if you lose all your space, the resources don't actually matter too much, I feel. So Yo's going to go for like denying resources, squeezing Viper out of space, preventing him from taking gold, and that's way better than the, than the fishing ship. Yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing. Like he sees that uh, Viper is cornered, only gold is front, and he will push that easy with Siege Workshop. Yeah. That's a very good play. Viper need to recognize that fast and do like another monastery redemption. I That's kind of the only way to stop it. The problem for me when I see with Yo is I think he's spreading himself too thin. He gets the water upgrade. He's adding three TCs and now trying to siege first. <laughs> like I think that's a little too thin for me. Um, he cannot afford the magma, right? So. Yeah. Well, one and that's it. And now a lot of his town centers will remain idle. So I think... Staying on two TCs for Yo would be way better here. And that's something that's, again, uh, talk about strengths and weaknesses. I feel like that's something Yo is weak at. And it's, sometimes the strategy is perfect, but the execution is lacking a little. Like, even now, he got one minute of idle TC. So yeah. even now, he cannot produce, let alone 30 TC. Mm -hmm. And that's 275 wood that you can just use for something else, like more farms. Or a wood upgrade. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, he's got nothing. <laughs> That's huge. Viper yeah. got both targets, and that's that's absolutely huge. That's so massive. Yeah, three TC can produce from nothing. It's not looking good. But let's see. I mean, the Magnus coming in now. Viper's not gonna spot it. Bam. Ooh. Okay, he kills one. Okay, that's not too bad. Why? I feel like you you you're cheering for your dude. Well, he's down to zero, so you gotta cheer. <laughs> a gotta cheer a little bit. <laughs> I'm not cheering for you. I'm cheering for content. Yeah, exactly, of course. And like, look at Viper going for a lot of stone. So he wants to go castle and Giberos, and Giberos are actually really insane, by the way. Underrated, I must say, yeah. Yeah. Everything's underrated for you, though, so I, I don't know how much to trust, <laughs> trust your word. <laughs> it's a good, good good thing to say when you're casting, right? Yeah, yeah. Underrated. Everyone in the chat's like, oh, really? Okay, I'll try them out. Maybe good to try it. No, uh, he wants to get the siege workshop just to push that away to get the safe castle. He will not send the call economy to micro. Yeah. Question is, can Viper make a hill a uh, castle on fat ground? That's the issue. Like he doesn't see a hill, so I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> is there a hill actually? Right? Yeah. That's, that's too far away. Knowing Viper, he'll go <laughs> for it, man. 
if he cleans the onager, not impossible. Now we see the monk and the mangano. Okay, question from the chat. Are Urumi swordsmen underrated, though? Uh, no, they suck. That's what I'm saying, bro. Viper made a reaction video saying that they're good when I said they suck. They suck. No, no, no. They, I always make them because they look cool, but uh, would rather just go champion. They are so bad. I agree. I agree. Nice. I agree on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, Viper sacrificed all the army just to get some uh, time for the castle. And yo, he sees the castle, but you know, decides it's not worth trying to go for that. Well, that castle is not that good because he doesn't keep his gold safe, so... I guess he will kill your battles to push away and a good micro. Yeah, one for zero. Nice attack round there. Uh, by the way, on the water, it looks like Yo actually won the water overall. Uh, it doesn't really matter because he didn't have much fish. Correction. So. Both lost the water. <laughs> yeah, both it lost the water. Both lost the water. <laughs> they have some ships, but no fish uh, at all. So the water just completely neutralized. Such a huge investment, right? Yeah. That's how it is, right? You, you, you cannot give it for free, then if he makes an extra galley, I make an extra galley, and then we both end up being stupid. But that's how it is. <laughs> Fighting over nothing. But it's still like a good way to neutralize it, for sure. And uh, yeah, now it's going to be Kiberos and Maginos for Viper to push this back. It's, it gets Horse Collar, which is nice as well. And Yo is heavy on Sonya. He will switch to the best unit in the game soon. The Camel Archers. <laughs> yeah. Well, they'll be better than Kiberos. Yeah, absolutely. Kibetos running in, and Kibetos, it's they got buffed recently. They got 40 HP now instead of 35, I believe, in Castle. And they do work against the Magnals. They're actually really strong. And they don't need Ballistic. Gebero might be the best rating unit in the game on low numbers, by the way. Mm. They, are, they are insane. With Forging, you get four of them, you one-shot those, and they shoot very fast, always very accurate. I wanted to say they shoot very slow, but okay. Really, I, I think if you're mic rank, hit and run on villagers, it's really, really effective. But with that damage right, it's absolutely huge. Yeah. There is no question about that. But like they, they are similar to the lancers. They are good at a certain time of the game, at a certain number, but they don't scale so well to be your main unit. Exactly, yeah, good way to put it. And now we see redemption from Viper as well. So maybe you're planning a, a little bit of a monk push, or at least just to convert the siege. Double bit axe finally for Yo as he's floating <laughs> 800 gold as well. Most people don't know about the market, but the economy is still neck to neck, right? 500 more is nothing at this point. Mm -hmm. Yo's up six bills. I don't TC for both seven minutes. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm like, come on. Seven. Just delay the two TCs and just get upgrades first, and then you have zero out of time with better resources. Well, that's why they're fight fighting for second place, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would, I would have zero out of TC time here. Now we see the castle comes out for Yo, and he's going to be going for, yeah, of course, the best end of the game, Camel Archers. And he's up 8 fills, so it's looking pretty good for him overall here, I'd say. Mm, yeah, the late economy upgrades kind of kill his economy. Would have been way more equal if he had that, but yeah, overall, he will get to the best unit in the game. And Viper is kind of cornered in his whole map. Like he's... But that was so sick but from Viper. Miss... Yeah, he converted the table, then switched to the Knight, and also sniped a couple units to the Gavero, so he got a really good trade there. Are you not trying to be a hype caster? Does that knight that change the game at all? No, it, I think it does actually. <laughs> I think it really does. Because now Viper has got like an extra unit for his push that can snipe siege, can be annoying. I think it's important actually. I will follow that knight for the rest of the game. That knight okay. will run into TC and die. Okay, let's see, let's see. I, I think it really matters. Keep in mind, that's one less unit for Yo as well. So let's see how much value it gets. Yo doesn't care about his leftover knight. Like both of those knights. Like we can check Yo knight and Viper knight. Those two knights will be useless. Okay, that's it. Yo... <laughs> that's it. So first of all, Viper is about to kill a house that night. <laughs> Twenty-five <laughs> wood. <laughs> Plus working time. Exactly. Plus, ah, uh, you've been watching the streams exactly. Twenty-five wood. Plus villager build. That's thirty wood. Nice, nice. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, some value, some value. And now we see the Magna push from Viper with the Gibetos and the Monks. It's not a strong push if Yo can, uh, you know, have the army for it. No, the Knight has to move. The Knight wait, has to wait. move. Wait, wait. Oh, it killed. It killed. It killed the house. The house. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and it's the, the Camel Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's 10% of how much the Camel Archer costs? <laughs> uh, not if Yo makes the unique tech and kill it up. And then, okay, Yo oh, Knight made some value. Yo Knight gets the value, damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yo, Yo's starting to stabilize here a little bit more. Viper's push is still annoying though. He's killing a couple of bills, he's idling Yo's economy a bit. 
Oh, and Viper's committing to Kibito's long term. He's actually getting the armor on them. I, that's a questionable decision. Well, you know enemies on Camel Archer. It's like... No, <laughs> you just go here for him by Camels and use uh, Castles for those steps, right? It would be ideal, but we're really far from throwing by Camel at the, at the same time as well. So I, I'm not sure if that would actually be a good choice either. I feel like it's a good bad. choice, tournament winner. Um, I wouldn't really know from this position, but I, I think just Gibero for now is fine for a second castle. Maybe faster him can be can be interesting. Yeah. Mm, I would like to see that because it's like something unique, something fun. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to see and be prone wrong there. <laughs> Man, you're such a casual, something unique. If I don't, if I see it every game, <laughs> it's not fun anymore. It's like for too long. Yes, exactly. No, it's still fun. I can see the same game, same matchup every every day in Arabia, and it's the one okay. small thing difference. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. That's that's incredible. Oh, oh okay, here we talk again in 20 years. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I think you're probably right on this one. <laughs> I'll, tr I'll trust your longevity for sure. <laughs> Something unique. Don't start playing the campaigns, man. Those are unique. <laughs> I never played them. How did you get into the yeah, game the if, you if you never played the campaigns? Uh, I played the first one. I played the first one, and after that, I played uh, with my friends in the local LAN. Okay, okay. I was best. <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell. <laughs> None of them are around still, so. <laughs> You still call them every every couple of years just to let them know you're still the best. <laughs> <laughs> We started on the same place, but now I'm way better than you guys. <laughs> uh, one's a doctor, one's an engineer, and, and you're the best Age of Empires 2 player, which is nice. Doesn't matter. Luke is Doesn't laughing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Yo is housed, by the way, and that was that one night that Viper uh, converted, now causing Yo to be housed. A little <laughs> bit of additional damage. Mm -hmm. And Viper is going to imp while well, Yo, poof, he needs to find gold. Okay, 90% of players make the castle in the front. Viper went on the hill on the right. Okay, he switched it to, to go to the front. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> yeah. knows he's fast enough. Yeah. And not on the hill, I'm sure it's painful for him, beast. but it's nice still turning. a very solid I castle don't. here. And also, I guess he knows he needs to get the castle down from the from the Berbers. There is no other way to stop the Camel Archer, best yeah. unit in the game. I think what Viper's doing is actually perfect though. Like this is exactly uh, you know what he was building up to, and I think it's a what very solid. What is that outpost? He's playing AV4 or what? Like... <laughs> he wants to see man. Anything can deny his <laughs> castle. Outposts are underrated, but not in front of the castle. That's good for AV4 to get the vision, but here castle would do the trick. I honestly don't remember what an outpost looks like in AV4. I'm not gonna lie. Did they have outposts? <clears throat> well, it was a tower. Mm. Okay. Yeah, before, man. How can you mention that? It's a good game. Yeah, it's a good game if you want to be depressed in your free time and not have any fun. <laughs> I think it's a really good game, especially <laughs> now. But yeah, I, I, I like... I would even play it here and there, but when they introduce new tips, I have no energy to, to learn, lear yeah. relearn it. Yeah. yeah I, stopped, I stopped reading units after like the last expansion of AoE. Now I just see what see how they're looking like and then go from there. As soon as they cancel the cancel elimination, you were gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was playing on the most broken patch. Yeah, it's gonna be. Will Viper snipe those camel archers? It's a big moment. I, I don't think he needs to force this actually. If you think about it, Viper's win condition is just to sit under his castle and trap. So with that in mind, I think he should actually just stop chasing the army and just go for like that kind of approach. Um, no, no reason to lose any Gabettos here. He's got a lot of resources. Just play for the traps and maybe even play for another castle forward. I think it's Yo that's actually in a really bad position here. Well, Yo does have only one castle. <laughs> How is that even possible? But maybe he can switch the cavalry. Like he he can have he has one. He castle, has right? to. Yeah, he, ha he, he has, has to, to at this point. <laughs> but he's not preparing it. And I think the cam archers are enough to kill the Gibettos. You have you have like maybe 15, 20 of them, and then just switch to cav. Maybe switch to Hisora, and you should be completely fine. But Viper reading the game is actually adding his own stables here, so he might want to switch to camels himself. Mm, and Gibettos against camels should be good. Yeah. 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 I think the Gibetto Camel composition is very good. I think that, that counters Underrated? most things. Underrated for sure. <laughs> that counters most things. And it's like we talked about, like you said, like Gibetto is a really good unit, but they don't scale, so Viper uses them for when they're good. And then in late game just finds a different uh, a different tool. So I think he played it really, really smart here. 
Yeah, yeah. He, I with them not to like have a good scaling on it, but well to keep the map control. Mm -hmm. Those camel archers would be a huge problem. Yeah, and they're really good against the camel archers for the time being. Now we see Hussar coming in for Yo. Late on the stables though, again, like just if he just went a little bit quicker, he had the resources. Could have been in a better position. And now some camel archers on the left hand side as well. Probably has to just group them with the with the bottom uh, army as well. Just get one group of but, 15 camel uh... archers. You as an Akasar expert, isn't this too early for Hassar, right? You would uh, rather have Cam, right? You, you you don't need a trash unit, you need a deadly unit right now. Yeah, yeah, especially on Nomad, there's a lot of gold and stone as well, and like map control is so important, so I, I think Hassar is not bad, but I just like Cav is enough, and then switch to power unit mainly. So maybe I'd say like Cav, Camel can be an interesting choice, or even the Cavalier. Well, ideally he would want Hassar plus Camel Archers, but he is soon out of the castle. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that his camel archers are just nowhere to be seen. Like, he needs to keep the camel archers alive. They are the answer to Cabedos, and they are the power unit in the back. Even if you're not upgrading them, I mean, they still have chemistry, they still have vodka, and it's still a good unit. Do purpose have Arbalest? No, no, it's crossbows. They have thumb ring, fully upgraded crossbows, though, so it's not terrible, but it's not really an option. I didn't even know that. No one ever goes crossbow, like... Think of it this way, Arbalest is just plus one damage, plus five HP, but no one ever goes crossbow with chemistry as their main option. I don't know why, I think it's actually a decent unit. You don't need Arbalest to go crossbows. Yeah, it's like, if you don't kill Hassar, you will still go light Exactly, care, but... exactly. But for Arbalest, it's like, no one even thinks about it, if you don't have the upgrade. It, it, it feels like you're not in pillage, then. Huh? Yeah. Even like, simply like, for example, Turks. In, in, in Castle you can just go crossbows and you can just stay on it, but no one, like, as soon as Imperialist kicks, everyone just stops making it. It's really funny. Well, maybe because your cavalry actually got, like, 2,000 HP, but... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true as well. <laughs> and now the Hussar is raiding, finding some value, but obviously just getting killed up by the camels, and, and then what? Like, now, he wasted a lot of time getting Hussar, now he realizes camel is the right choice going for that, but maybe too little too late here. We'll see. Yo, still has a good population. Trying to push on the left hand side, but Viper's got a castle on a hill, believe it or not. And you as well. You got a really interesting castle too. Yeah. Controlling the water, of course. Yeah, thank God well, you won the water. Crabs. Well, yeah, actually, maybe some water action. I know you're trolling, but <laughs> like some cannon galleons there to snipe things around yeah. the map. Would be unique. Would be unique. Would be unique. Would be hype. <laughs> Would be for fun. Me at least. <laughs> Looking casual. <laughs> Would be so fun killing. <laughs> I'm having a great time playing some cannon galleons. <laughs> and this is not even a fight here, the, the Hussar yeah. will get melted. And there are Gebetas from right to left. No, he, he lost the Gebetas on the left, but uh, yeah, he's he's on full camo right now. He doesn't really care. For him, but rim, but done. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's 7 plus 7 on these camos. Such, such a strong upgrade. Like, if you didn't invest so much into Hussar with them making light here, he would match the numbers, but. Yeah. That tech was weird. Also, like, if you think about it, most people think his, like Firm is only plus three, but in this case, it's actually plus six over Yo, because Yo is missing attack upgrades. Like, that's the, the strength of Firm is the fact that it's one upgrade gets you the plus five right away. It's really, really solid. <laughs> the strength of Firmba is enemy for getting the upgrades. It, well, it's like, it takes longer <laughs> to get the other upgrades than Firmba, but Firmba comes in one shot, you know? <laughs> And the, the, the plus four armor is not only plus four, if enemy doesn't do it. <laughs> it's plus, yeah, exactly. You, you understand that. <laughs> okay, okay, I see the logic. And now finally. Let's see how you've been determined. Viper's getting a castle on the right hand side. He's been waiting for that the entire, <laughs> the entire game. He, way to clean the building just to build it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it goes for the castle and it's looking like 3 0 Viper here. The score is so close, but I don't really see Yo's win condition, and it's kind of weird. Like, Ooh, that's true. I, I didn't even why check not. the score. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do we think Viper's so far ahead? I mean, it's just like the position of the map is much better. Like, Viper's got 60, 70 percent of the map, and he got take 8k more resources collected. So, yeah. That's probably the water gives the score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water definitely plays a big role here. I mean, Vi like, Viper could lose. Yo has maybe one one last chance. Uh, oh, a trap got trapped though, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Yo has one last chance, just bring all the siege, continue massing camels, and then just take one fight. Hope, you know, hope to win, but has to play perfectly here and already lost the cannons, so it's not looking great. The number of camels, 38 against 21. He really needs to go for a good fight and better altitude. Yeah, yeah. And there's some Hussar mixed in there. It's 
Yeah, it's looking hard. And even like if Viper doesn't have to take the fight, just he can camp the castle, but he knows it's over. And oh my god, sniping the cannons as well. <laughs> Viper got everything. <laughs> oh my god. Well, will you call it? We'll continue trying. Yeah. E even for yo, this is too much. GG's. <laughs> well played to Viper. That was a really good game though. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sad we didn't see bomber cannons, cannon galleons, cannon I mean, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was uh, was an interesting game with Gibetos working out. We yeah, I think, nothing to make them. I think Gibetos were actually the kind of um, it solved the problem for Viper because the problem if, if he goes camels right away, the camel archers can just kite them. He has to deal with that unit all castle. He has no map control, but the Gibetos gave him the map control to make that forward castle, and then he switched to the power unit, and that was like a perfect way to to transition there into the late game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Also, he would need the barracks, stables, and everything, right? Need to upgrade them, bloodlines and such. Gibetos, a really good unit because they require like no upgrades. Yeah, they have plus ten attack. They're fast, and that's it. They're already good to go. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like the... mm, yeah, yeah. We did open with like a very fast archers with French rush being popular, and then in the end, scouts was the way. Yeah, absolutely. Take a look at this matchup on Golden Swamp. This is actually giving me a little bit of PTSD because I played the same matchup against Viper. I was Vikings. He was Koreans. Doubt did you see that game? That was a very good game. Uh, I remember Tato playing. Not sure against school. Maybe yo, yo. And... Oh yeah, yeah. I saw that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was uh, that was quite the game. I had the center control. I had everything going my way. Viper no. pushed on the outside, and even with infinite gold, I just couldn't couldn't manage to win it. You hit everything. You didn't hit your base, man. <laughs> well, I had like, <laughs> like when you think of gold in the center maps, you think okay, whoever controls the middle is insane. Like he's completely fine. But I had the middle. I had nothing else for it. Although to be <laughs> fair, I, I took the middle too late. That's why, because Viper was towering it and everything. The yeah. Koreans are amazing on this map. There's Absolutely. no question about that. Yeah, it's such a positional and the towers, even like turtle ships, can be can be tricky because you it's instant. It's a huge like you get one unit that works like four or five units. Yeah, it can be a very very nice rush, and it's really good against galleys that have to bunch up. Like I feel like turtles aren't great against fire galleys and demos, but against the uh, or fire ships and demos, but against galleys. In low numbers, they're insane. Obviously, when the guy gets ballistics and a bunch of uh, war galleys, you get destroyed. But early yeah, games, that, that, that's solid. their power. It seemed like clients or stingy battles. Like yeah. they have their strength, but not the unit you want to mass. And in such a tricky map where you need to play land as well, squeezing few turtles can be a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Unless you play against Mister Monks, yeah, then there's nothing you can do about them. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a free donation, like expensive. <laughs> <laughs> then you need to find the counter to the, the turtles yourself. <laughs> you make them and you have to capture them. Because <laughs> he's got a monk. And Korea don't give them away. Really. I hope you see that actually. Fast wheel from both players. It looks like it's going to be a Grush. As you can see, Yo is going over to the wood. And I think uh, Viper is probably going to go something similar as well. Staying a bit more on food, but overall he does want to go heavy on wood. And play from there. Yeah, similar approach to the ship, similar time. Only question is, will it be fire galleys or galleys? I think it has to be galleys. I don't think fires are good on this map. I think if you go fires, you have to go forward dock, and I don't think Viper is uh, planning that right now. Mm -mm, and Vikings cannot really do that, right? Yeah. But you're just doing forward dock? <laughs> mm, interesting. Okay, but he's going to just do it on his side, I hope, right? And surely we're not going <laughs> forward with this one. Like Vikings do not want to do forward dock. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's good. Uh, it's not the best dock because there's no fish near it, so it's not insane, but I mean, you're just going to have to get it down for the Grush. And what's interesting That's is that you have to kind of play water early, even though there's not a lot of fish to fight for, because the water, it's really hard to get back on it if you lose it initially. That's how I, that's how I see it. Yeah, it's again about controlling the middle, not only as a map control, but obviously the gold. Mm -hmm. And it's like a natural meta opening. Again, you will not have a huge lead. If there is some counterattack, it can work. But the most natural thing is, well, fighting for the middle. Yeah, That's how we are made. And Turdok as well. Yeah, exactly. Just going for the, the most consistent approach here. Now we see the third dock from Vikings. Looking to play a very heavy Grush. Remembers this build upgrade this time around. So going to be in a pretty healthy economy, especially with Wheelbarrow as well already kicking in. And, okay, uh, what's the difference between the prices of the Viking galley and Korean galley? Uh, Korean galley saves more wood early, but Viking saves a bit of gold. In feudal, it's even in castleage and onwards, uh, Vikings is winning. So that's kind of how, how it goes. I wanted numbers. 
twenty uh, percent for Viper <laughs> and fifteen for 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 Yo. <laughs> but the so lot is better. In, in, I told you, in, in Feudal, the Koreans is better slightly, and in Castle onwards, Vikings. Okay, okay, okay. The, the but th then again, combine that with the tree for dog, Vikings can can be uh, a trick, bit trick better. Trick question. Ah, well. uh, but combine <laughs> it. With, combine it with the with villager line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> and work is faster on the stall. Damn, I can never win. <laughs> yeah, I, I think overall the Viking Rush is better, but Koreans is one of the only civs that can kind of keep up with them. But as you can see, Viper's only two docks, so he's playing a bit more economy based, and Yo's playing a bit more army based here. But will we see anything from Feudal, like some aggression, or just two dock fast castle, and maybe some Tar Rush or Siege Workshop forward? Um, I, I think. In this kind of matchup, there's not a whole lot of aggression that could be placed, at least from Vikings. I think Koreans could, though. Viper could try to, like, fast the castle, sneak on the side, some tower or siege push can be interesting. I just feel like if you try to do it too fast, sometimes you don't have the good economy to support um, to support a follow-up. So, yes, you get the push, but then the guy with the water can defend, and then he just has the middle, and it's hard. But, like, what's Viper mindset? He, he did scout three dogs, he knows he's two dogs against three dogs. If you continue like that, well, you will lose the water eventually. So why do you keep producing galleys? There must be some plan behind it. Well, I, I think he wants to fight right now and rely on his better micro to actually win the initial early game fights. I think that's the idea. <laughs> well, I cannot copy that, but I guess that works. Yeah. Well, it's Numbers like... Numbers are equal. <clears throat> I think it, it's just to get the faster castage time. You still get to fight a little, you get faster castage time, and then you can play from there. You have a lot of options again. But you rely heavily on like holding and even winning fights with less galleys. Of course, yeah. But I mean, as you can see, like the numbers are pretty even right now. The third dock only gets you plus one or plus two, right? It's not like you're getting a really big advantage. Mm, yeah, yeah, you need like a few more minutes. Yeah. After you have three extra galleys, then you can push in. Yeah, and, and even then you need to micro. <laughs> And, and uh, take a look at the timings here. Like Viper's already got 300 on food uh, or 300 food. So, you know, as Yo is now starting to get the the critical mass of galleys, Viper's just going to be up the castage. It's like Yo just finished mill, while Viper is already, ha already having uh, five farmers. That's huge. Yeah, big difference. Yeah, that's huge. And that's of course part of the strategy. You, you, what Yo has to do is recognize. That Viper's greeting out and going for the faster castle. So with the extra two galleys, he has the extra three galleys. He has to fight. Like he has to force the issue right now. Uh, I wonder if he was going to think of that. Here's a little thing. Like when I'm casting, I can notice things. Not as a player. Like Yo knows he got a few more galleys. And in direct fight, he will well get out micro. Then it's risky. What about split two three galleys and go out the side at least nine fishing ships? Mm, I think it's okay. Then on the main fight, we have same. And I'm forcing you to react to that. Small push, so you decide. If you split your army, I can push in the middle. If not, it's my fishing ships. I think it's okay. I think it's good. Because if you think about it, killing the fish is really what the water control is about right now. So I think it's a good idea. I would force 100% because I rely on the micro. But if you can't micro for sure, then going for that kind of macro approach is definitely interesting. Yeah. We can, he has such a different approach to the game, right? Yeah. Mm. You write that down, Dalt. Keep it for next time. Look at, look at <laughs> your walls. I will. I'm sad I kind of shared it with you, like. <laughs> No, it's good. Like I'm not going to use mm -hmm. that approach anyways. I share it, you get the opinion, and then boom, you can use it for yourself. Good. And then you use it, then, then you wait every the galleys next to push ships. <laughs> like, bam, 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 triple slide. <laughs> All of a sudden, I have more, and then I'm micro-ing, that's my approach. <laughs> <laughs> and now Yo, like, Yo has more. Viper's got faster castle. This is the timing for Yo. But, like, Viper actually made a really big mistake there. He went too far forward, and Yo was punishing. But Yo just has to commit to this 100%. Don't no, hit the fish, hit the armor. Yeah, no, it's really, really far ahead. <clears throat> like, for you, he's just saving fishing ships right now. And yeah, he recognized that he's moving. And he should stop galley production immediately. Yeah. And this is exactly the position that Viper got against me as well. Where he loses the water, but he buys himself so much time. The faster castage time, what, what, what's going to get him? It's going to get him faster TCs. It's going to get him turtle ships. And potentially guard tower if he wants to make use of that as well. But it's still three hand cards, right? Vikings can still compete with economy. 100%, yeah. Two minute faster castle. I think I prefer this for Viper than try to gamble and try to go three dock and win. Like, I think this gives Viper more chance to win the game. Yeah, I agree. That would be somewhat my approach. Just I would probably push the issue and use the market as well. <laughs> Always at least the market. <laughs>
But what, wait, hold on. Why would you want the market if your plan is to add CCs though? Because the market. My plan would be to press push, right? Oh, okay. Siege push, okay. Yeah, siege push then back away with the, something like Tato did against Yo, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that working out as well. And uh, look, you can see Yo. He's expecting that. He's actually walling up. He he can't scout. I, I think he lost his scout some, at some point. So he can't actually scout to see if Viper's pushing him. So instead, he's just walling up. Like, this is what Yo see, sees. So even though we see the home map, we see there's no push. Yo has no idea. And now the turtles will catch him off guard. And let's see the reaction here. Get the monks out. Ooh, let's go. No monks yet. <laughs> One minute Viper's to go. <laughs> they jump so slow. But they look so sick, man. And they're so unique. And look at one turtle flanking. So, this is a good game. <laughs> Dad is happy about this one. <laughs> turtle on the left is flanking. And they do splash Stable damage. Oh, that's a big shot. That's a big shot. You cannot fight this. You cannot fight this. And behind that, 3 TC boom. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly the strategy he used against me. And he's doing the same thing again here with Yo. And it, Yo's falling in the same trap. Like, he wins the water, then his galleys get completely cleaned up by the turtles. Doing a good job sp uh, keeping them in spread formation, though. I like that. Well, I guess plan should be like 2-dog against 2-dog. You rely on hand card, and then on cast rage, you don't even upgrade to war galley, you get You just go long boots. I agree. I think that's absolutely correct. You match the castle time a bit more. Because there's no reason you can't match the castle time. If you make the farms earlier with Vikings, and especially, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because if you farm earlier with Vikings, the wheelbarrow farms are really good, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Coaching team, 500 per hour. You, you're still charging 500. For you, even more, but okay. That, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Monastery is up. <laughs> oh, hold on. Up. Now the game changes. Now the game changes. Wait, now, how much do you actually charge for coaching? Uh, I, I, uh, 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 100. 100? It's on GL website. But okay. I, honestly, I am kind of against coaching unless you're a top player. Unless you're 2K, coaching should not be that beneficial. Interesting. Okay. I say it's beneficial if you want to learn the game faster, if you value your time and you have extra money, of course, or if you have a lot of bad habits and you have no idea how to like, like where you're going wrong. But it's like, I did my pair of coaching and like looking 1.2 guy and saying to him, your villager on woodline are stuck, your TC is idle. And then next game the same, next game the same. Mm, you're still yeah, not yeah. coaching. It takes time, yeah, it takes time for sure. Uh, yo, by the way, good job with the demos. Actually clears up the water very comfortably, but Viper doesn't care. He used the water control with the turtles to get to the center. And that's what he wanted. The guard tower's in the center now. Yeah, yeah. maybe he just overcommit to the turtles. Like, two were enough, but that's like being picky at this point. Yeah, yeah. He made an extra round. It was not really needed. And now we see Viper. Seven fills up. Feeling pretty comfortable. Some gates and some monks kills the knight. <laughs> Yeah, I think Yo made a stable just to actually scout the map, by the way, just to make sure there's no push coming. And now yeah, he confirms it. No, yeah, the third uh, third he sees it here as well. Yo is always missing the second uh, wood upgrade, by the way, for some reason. At least he got a hand card. Exactly. At least. And those two towers, you cannot clean them until, well, Cannon Galleon, the best unit in the game. <laughs> Cannon Galleon comes out. There was actually a really important change that happened recently where you don't need an upgrade for Cannon Galleon anymore. That made them a much better unit. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was supposed to break the pass in that, right? Mm -hmm. You couldn't kill opponent until, well, chemistry is done and the, the upgrade and <laughs> all that. Now it's way, way faster and it's a good, good way of change, but water maps are still quite boring. I actually like water maps these days. I, th I think they're... Mm, I think as long as there is a connection, there's no... I think the worst uh, maps are island maps. And yeah, the only yeah, good one is Northern land. Isles because they give you a transport. So you yeah, have yeah. to have land and water mix. The rest is terrible. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That, like This is not a typical water map. This is yeah. this is playable, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If the water if the water unit is the only unit worth making whole game, well, that's a disaster. All right, Yo has a good score lead, but Viper's up 15 villagers. He also has the center. So although maybe Yo has slightly more efficient, uh, you know, villagers, I, I still think Viper's economy and position is slightly better here. Could you think connected more resources by now? Mm, I think if I had to guess, I'd probably say Viper. Yo by 500. Oh, interesting. The handcar, man. Yeah. The power of the handcar. <laughs> Damn, handcar. Yeah. 
but Focus also catching up in the cap for now. He though. invested that 500 resources into the water, which, to be fair, is kind of giving value. He's killing some houses. He's getting a good amount of map control. He can kill the monastery later, so it's not like these galleys are useless here. Yeah, yeah. Monastery will also be in danger, and there are two relics, so like a lot of reaction needs to be done. Like, it's something. It's something. Mm -hmm. But still, like at this point, Yo sees the tower. He sees the TC in the middle, and he is like, his mindset is all about that right now. I have, I have an interesting idea. So, you see how like most players just go like three TC boom and that's it. What if we went three TC boom, but instead of gathering like to go imp, what if Yo just gathered stone right away and then cast on center right now, like perfect timing before Viper has time to get his own setup. Mm. Like two minutes ago, even cast in the middle. Right now, it's too late, right? Yeah, yeah. Viper's up to him when he can get cast himself. I see what you mean, but you would probably need to go one TC only. Really, one TC? Okay, interesting. Yeah, for that time yeah. to hit him. Yeah, and I think that was actually a very powerful play against Viper. Yeah, yeah. that would counter this style. Like, imagine Castle being up now, pushing all those towers and everything off. But I think but... that's kind of like the future of AoE in a, in a way, because right now a lot of the play is like the Castle is super passive, but Castle doesn't have to be passive. If people want to play explosive, they can. If, if a forward Castle comes up, we all know how powerful it is. But you don't need Imp to go for the forward castle. I think going for the castle right away in Castleage can be a very interesting meta break. And I think it's something that I'll be kind of trying to work on a little bit. I think the problem is the siege units in Castleage are too expensive for what they're doing. Rams especially. Mm. Like if you had cap champs or something like... A oh, huge push, tool, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see what you mean. You just cannot push through. Like it's so expensive, so much time needed, and then like Magna goes poof poof, and that's. <laughs> I mean, I've been saying for a long time, cap tram and castle H would make a lot of sense. It doesn't have to just be for humans. Give human C jam and castle. Who cares? I, I said the same thing. Yeah, I would even make it cheaper to have you. Uh, no, I think um, okay, maybe, but I think C jam is fairly priced. But C jam should get a buff as well. Like you buff C jam a little, like maybe extra thirty HP or something like that. Or maybe make it move a little faster, and then you give Cap Ram a castle. And I think that would make the Ram meta a lot better, and that would give yep. a lot more options instead of just traps and cannons, which is what we see right now. Uh, exactly that. Like, Cap Champs should be an option. Like, even if it's like 100 food, it's still <laughs> a huge investment to get Seed Workshop, get 4 or 5 Rams, upgrade them. It takes so much time. And if you fail, it's like, over usually. So it's like, it, it's an exciting moment for the game, like 100%. And in Feudal Age, there is nothing to push walls as well, so those are the problems that give us the passive game. Like, TC is economy building and very strong defensive building. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think removing the Villager bonus damage to Rams is also really good. I think that would help a lot. Like, right now, Villager counters Rams. Like, how? <laughs> <laughs> how is that a thing? It's not the right direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's so natural. Like you make a castle, the guy's trying to ram it down. You have the castle up, and the bills are ready to counter the rams. <laughs> it's like let's play more defensive. But they did buff the rams, right? You can put yeah. six villagers, six units inside. Yeah. So it's something. Then it's not a good you, start. It's not enough, but it's a good start. <laughs> oh, speaking of cap rams, you see Yo going for cap rams right now. So Viper, this is what Viper's doing. <clears throat> He's gonna be pushing with the traps in the center. But not really like pushing. He's more or less just holding the position. Look at the towers, the castle. He just wants to stay in the middle. He's got a TC there. He can take gold forever. And gold equals stone if you just use the market. But Yo has the water control. So in theory, Yo controls the outer middle. But Viper controls the inner middle with the gold. And it's a very interesting position. Right now, Yo is building up ramps. And will most likely use Seed Ram to break this. But I don't like that he's showing the cap ram. I think that's a mistake. Yeah, he just wants to save the castle by pushing the... The trap with the ram, that could work five years ago now. Like, a few walls, villagers, the but villagers. body block with the villagers, yeah. yeah. That's uh, not gonna work with today micro level. But I like the idea of going siege jump. Just mass like 10 rams, siege jump, and then you can kind of break everything in the center. Like, the rams are a really good option here, to be honest. I agree, but yeah. he just chose to use food now for the mana tower and... He wants to. Have, he wants everything. He wants everything as, right now. As always, man. As always, like, <laughs> Yo is always doing too many things at the same time. That's definitely his biggest weakness when it comes to like strategy. Because other than that, like strategy is perfect. He has all the right options. Either you infantry push the sides, or you ram push the center. Both great options. Just pick one, and it would be perfect. And uh, now he is completely tied with those two siege workshops. He's kind of denied and give up that idea. 
and he lost the momentum, right? Viper will soon have uh, Onager attack, but yeah, he's doing Onager attack, oh, so man, yeah. Rams is gone. <laughs> Just by showing it, yeah, there you go. But, hold on. Yo's got a castle on top, and he's still out. Uh, a good amount of infantry already cooked up. Already has already basically like 10 infantry. And it's many times. Here it's many times. I know. It's but... fewer than H push. <laughs> one, one many times. But with the cap frame, it's not it's not terrible. I think it's a decent start. It's just that Viper has a lot of time to set up and a lot of time with uh, basically infinite gold here. It's fewer than H units, man. That's enough, man. He's pushing. Log source now with the castle is push with the cap frames. <laughs> yeah, he can put them in. <laughs> now that's unique. <laughs> that's unique. Six. Right? Yeah, six. Yeah, six units. Uh, very unique. I was thinking kept down with seven, maybe. <laughs> Better than the siege round. <laughs> and now the onager comes in. The problem with the onager is that it counters the infantry and the siege. That's like today's. <laughs> that's not the problem. Today's meta. Well, that's. That's problem for the pushing guy. Like. Oh, he's and diving. There's no in. minimum range as well. Oh, that's a disaster. I think the push is already dead. Yeah, push is dead. The Vils, the biggest counter to Rams are on the field. Gambison's coming in. Why did why did Yo show that? Why did he go with the men arms? Why not just wait? It's very strange. Well, I think the the men at push on the side, he was uh, too greedy and he decided to go for the top one. If you just wait for like three Rams, get siege upgrade, and then on the way toward more Continue to push for your traps. Could be deadly. Yeah. Now trying something on the right-hand side as well. But meanwhile, he's defending towers and cannons in the center. So yeah, he's got water, but Viper just sneaking up the towers. Yeah, and he just gets the, sends the bill, gets it up, and that's it. And it's a disaster. And disaster is my game that flows as well. Yeah. And Yo is on a big timer right now. Is game still running? Oh yeah, oh, oh sorry, your game crashed? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, that sucks, it's still running. You might have to restart. I'm not restarting that game. Yeah, you, you can just watch on my... You can go get like a coffee or something. I can, <laughs> I can take over here. I'm not restarting that one. <laughs> well, you can watch my stream for a little bit maybe. I don't know if that will help, but uh, nonetheless, I'll continue casting, I guess. Okay, I, I I think my PC is not working good today. Well, either way, take it away. I'll be muted now. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we lost out. Um, it's okay. I didn't really think it was a good caster anyway, so it's fine. And we have Viper pushing in with some cannons looking to attack Yo's castle. Yo only has one castle to defend, of course. Now taking it to Skirm, but as you can see, it's a bit desperation hour right now. Because we have, you know, Viking Skirms, champions. It's not the most solid composition ever. Uh, but he is trying to make something work. He's got limited gold, limited stone. And the issue for Yo is that he needs to be the guy pushing, but he's just the guy holding on the top. So the, the, the role is kind of flipped. <clears throat> Vikings do get Cannon Galleon, but Cannon Galleon isn't good against the towers necessarily. <clears throat> it's not bad, but you need the elite upgrade. Because once the Koreans get the unique uh, attack, then they're completely fine. I think that's restarted his PC because that's the Discord sound. <laughs> that's so funny, man. More docks in the front for Viper, just continuing to fortify. And guys, we might have on our hands a 4-0, which is absolutely wild. Like, these two guys are very evenly matched in theory. But Viper's showing up here today and he is ready to play. Cannon shot misses, trap shot misses, and now the hand cannons are just pushing in, cleaning up this entire side. Uh, and Viper's controlling the bottom pretty well as well. <clears throat> Yo's got some ranges in the corner. And Doubt is raiding. Okay, Doubt is completely this disaster. Everything is broken for Doubt. Uh, thank you for the raid, Doubt. I hope you had a good stream. I hope to see you back. Doubt will rejoin in a bit. Okay, thank you guys. And welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying the cast, me and Doubt. It was actually the cast I was mainly looking forward to myself. Like, this was my most interesting cast, and I'm having a great time with it. I hope you guys are having a good time with the cast and enjoying listening to us as well. Sea Gem now finally coming in for Yo. So his plan to get Sea Gem was always correct, but I just feel like he showed it too early with the cap round.
No, the solo cast is still the best. Solo cast, I get to talk to chat. That's really, really fun for me. Now we see the hand cannon here, especially on the left hand side. And I just feel like Yo's completely done right now. Like, Viper's just in such a good position. Viper's even going meta arms. That's so bad. He's. He's going champions as Koreans versus Vikings. Like, that is so BM. But of course, in this situation, he's up against Skirm Ram, so, like, you might as well go for it. And at this point, Joe's got literally nothing. I mean, look at the KD here. It's just 99.45. It's miles ahead for Viper. Why do we extend the suffering? Yo extends the suffering so hard. I don't know why he does that. Good trap shot there. Hera trap in the chat. Gets a 2 for 0. Uh, 2 out of 2, rather. But yeah, Yo extends the suffering so bad. Like, it's just pain. It's just pain right now. Look at this. Bomber cannons, cannon galleons, gambits and champions. It's e everything that Viper wants he can have. Yo loves losing. I mean, he's doing a good job so far if he loves losing. So down 0-4. I mean, the sad thing is, like, Yo has decent population, right? But it's just so far gone. The game is so out of his hands right now. Oh, he misses. Because Viper's just taking infinite gold. And Viper's got full map. It's like infinite gold plus full map control plus better late game sip. Koreans are, in general, better than Vikings in late game. And Neo's push is just nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. And this was the exact same game that Viper played against me, except I was able to win back the center. Yo went for a side push and it did very little. So I kind of put up a better fight, but in the end, Viper showed that Koreans on this map might be the undisputed best sip right now. Cannon galleons on the field here as well. And I think the triple shot on the trap is enough? Oh, Olden 2 is enough. Wow. This cannon galleon is very strong. Oh, where's Doubt? Doubt, we have the cannon galleons. It's unique. It's fun. And GG's called. Wow. 4 0, guys. Viper showed up to play today. He means business. And he is doing very, very well here. Awesome stuff. I, I took the coaching, now I'm 2k2. Let's go, man. Look at these guys. Taking the coaching and getting better. Okay, I don't know where Doubt is, but we'll wait for him to message. And for now, we'll continue casting on our own here. So thank you so much for sticking around, guys. We've got the next game, game number five between Poles and, or sorry, between Yo and Viper. We got Yo in blue as the Poles, and his opponent is going to be the Viper playing in the yellow as Ethiopians. Uh, pretty interesting matchup, to be honest. I think Poles, one of the civilizations where if you can have the time to set up, they're insane. But if you're forced to fight rather early, um, I feel like Ethiopians especially can really force the issue and, and put pressure. And Poles are really bad under pressure. Poles are really bad under pressure. I mean, let's take a look. Remember, Ethiopians was pretty you know low pick for Viper on the draft. So uh, if he was able to win this game, it's pretty huge. Uh, taking a look at the center of the map here, though, guys, we got a lot of golden stone. It's, of course, golden pit. Uh, the name speaks for itself. The gold is in a pit. <laughs> Not much you can do about it. Not much to say there. And, uh, yeah, Yo's in, uh, in a solid situation with the poles. He's got a good back map. You can easily drop some farms here. Maybe fit two full works if you're creative. Berries off to the side. Uh, this is the problem, though. This is a huge problem. You've got... You know, two stones, two golds in one area. If Yo loses this area, he's just dead. He's out of the game. And that's the problem. He's got to really defend that. Viper's map, a lot more balance. He's got everything to the back. Wood to the back. Oh my god, Viper's map is perfect. Viper's map is literally perfect. Uh, and Yo's map is really bad. So, um, not sure what, the, what can be done there. Is it an admin read? No, it's not an admin read. Is just a bad map. But of course, listen, the best players can make the bad maps work. It's not an admin read because he's got all his resources, right? Like it's three, 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 four, four, three, three, four, four. It's just the position's bad. 
Okay, type a one in the chat if you think this is scripted and we should restart because Viper's rigging this. So type a one in the chat if that's your opinion. Is this completely rigged and we have to restart this game? Okay, so you guys are convinced it's rigged. Perfect. A few twos. Rigged by Hera. Okay. It's not even bad. It's awful. Nah, it's, uh, it's, it's fine, guys. Rigged by Hera. Restart the whole tournament? Okay, let's just play all best of 20 once again. I like that. It's a good idea. Fast Feudal Age for Viper. 50 seconds to go. Pulls? Well, he goes up one villa later. Not the end of the world, blurring in some gear now. And Yo is once again going for some bigger walls. So as Doubt was saying, Yo tends to like the, the full walls here, and it's no different as uh, as you speak on this map. We start the 21st century. <laughs> They have equal build house viper up faster. He skipped loom. That's what he did. He skipped loom. Ah, I think Viper learned from me there, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm the loom skipper. And Viper's starting to do it. I have to keep an eye on this guy. He's He's taking a step a, a page out of my book here with that loom skip. And I don't like it, guys. Now we see. An archery range come down, he does pick up Loom. And he's just gonna be walling up this left side as well. Can easily wall the bottom as well. Okay, now we see Yo squeezing into farm to the full work. It is not rigged, it is balanced. It compensates <laughs> for Yo's monks. It's like getting extra HP and losing blood. Exactly, lines. Shuriken. You understand how things are going here. Thanks for the five dollars, brother. Exactly, exactly. So it's not like it's rigged, it's just that Yo's literally cheating with the fast conversions, so we have to give him a bad map. And yeah, Yo's just gonna be fully walling, going for some scouts, and he's gonna wall the left hand side as well, most likely. We got Horse Caller coming in, so Viper's playing a pretty consistent, like, Arch River into, into economy situation. Pretty standard game. Viper. Oh! Oh, I thought he walled in the, the scout. Okay, my bad. I thought it was completely walled in. Just kept his build safe there. That could have been a highlight, man. If loom skipping becomes a trend, it would bring malicious back. That is true. Yeah, that's how the meta can ship. Is that not back? Is he back? Let me take a look. Yeah, doubt is back. Okay, I can, let me call him. Hello, doubt. Welcome back. Okay, he's muted. Hello, hello, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. What's up? Uh, did I miss some walling of your? Believe it or not, Yo is about to be fully walled. He's got three villagers <laughs> on the case, and he's walling up the map. And he's actually making a stable into a range and going scouts and skirm. So that's exactly what's happening here. No, okay, okay, with the ball, shocker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No one saw that coming. But Viper with Ethiopians here, he actually skipped Loom in the early game. I wasn't happy to see that. That's that's what I do, man. He's copying me. <laughs> you were not happy to do that every single game. Yeah, and I'm very happy with doing it. Make militias against me, please. <laughs> Try to stop it. Yeah, that's a nice way of thinking. Like, people are too confident with their micro, micro these days. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just how the meta goes. Like, if everyone wants to pass feudal, okay, I'll start skipping Loom. If you bring back, bring back militias, okay, you're forcing me to stop greeting. And it's it's really interesting. I remember a practice it's game such we a did. Small thing as well. Yeah, yeah. I remember a practice game we did where I, sk I skipped Loom and you just rushed me and I lost three bows and resigned. I don't know if you remember it. <laughs> Damn right, I skipped the core game. You think about it every now and then. <laughs> We're gonna cast that after. <laughs> Looking back this game. Oh, Viper is using the Ethiopian outpost bonus. Look at this. Outpost costs no stone, and so Viper just makes an outpost instead now of walling. Now that's exciting. You see. Now unique. that's exciting. That's unique. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of walling everything, it just goes for an outpost and it, it acts as like a defense because it's got a lot of line of sight, it doesn't cost a stone. Very, very cool. And Viper already, if we know, he likes to just make stable anyway. So in theory, he doesn't really need to worry about the skirms. 
has the scout to pick off one of them as we speak. Yo could actually go heavy scrims and scouts and really pressure this if he wants to, though. How far is Viper from Cat? No, he is far. He is far. He's gonna need scouts then to defend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Viper's so safe. Like, he's so smart. It makes a stable right away. Doesn't even wait to, like, risk it. You know, just makes a stable. And if he needs it, he'll make some scouts. If not, he just has a stable. It's not a bad, it's not a bad building. I like that. When you're playing archers against Krems, just killing one or two knights is already, already important. And scouts in Feudal Age as well. Mm -hmm. It pushed him back completely. And you don't know if it will be like two scouts, full scouts, so you kind of need to go back with Krems. Absolutely. Now we see yeah, armor coming in for poles. This is the problem with poles. Like, uh, Viper with Ethiopians gets the resources right away. Poles kind of have to develop the farms first. And Yo is really far from clicking up, whereas Viper is rather close, actually. Market time. <laughs> Market them up. That's what that's what that would do here. <laughs> it's important. Uh, here, Especially with Ethiopians. Here I definitely agree. I think Ethiopians are the best market abuse civ in the game, maybe except Saracens. I think Ethiopians are the best. I still don't know why we call it abuse. Like, you're abusing farms. <laughs> well, okay, there, there we go. Okay, market use. <laughs> there, not, there. Not abuse. Or you stop abusing farms. Like. <laughs> I mean, I'm abusing the micro, that's for sure. <laughs> You're abusing Hassan's. Not anymore, man. We broke up. It's it's a messy. <laughs> I still like them, but how the gears are the best unit. It's now. not how it was. Yeah, no, that's not <laughs> how it was. Not at all. It was better when we first started. That micro was surprisingly good for you. That was insane. It was really good. Yeah. And now I'm actually surprised Viper took that because now he's at the castleage just to get a high five. No army. <laughs> That's I it. like this one. <laughs> because like, Yo, and Yo doesn't really care about the scrims. Yeah. The scrims are here to harass Viper and to delay Viper. Because the longer this goes, Poles are the ones that have the consistent eco. Whereas Ethiopians rely on the timing. And so losing the army is huge for Yo here. It's much better for Yo. Yeah, the, the crossbow scales so much better than skirmishes. And you have Ethiopians. And with the Poles, scrims is not your long distance plan anyway. Yeah. Not like he was Byzantines or something. Yeah, exactly. And now we see the scrim still alive, still harassing. The spear's coming forward as well. It's very annoying to deal with scrim and spear, by the way. It's a really underrated comp. <laughs> that is something that's not underrated. When was the last time you did it if it's underrated? Scrim spear? Uh, it's not mm -hmm. like a really good comp in general, but in Feudal Age, it's really awkward to deal with. I think scrim spear is better than scrim scout in, mo in most cases. Mm -hmm. I would rather scrim spear against <laughs> no. archer scout. Yeah, I think it's if better. If we kill scrim scout against scrim spear, I, I I move my scouts to rage. I don't no, even hit them in that fight. Yeah, but in, in this situation, <laughs> in this situation, like, <laughs> against Archer Scout, it's Skirm Spear is better, hundred percent. I'm sure of it. Well, why don't you use it then? I do. Saving that for the next tournament or what? I do, man. I'll tell you next time I use it. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> no, 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 it's a bad combo. Like if you micro good your archers, it's just unstoppable, right? And scouts got mobility. It's like you're picking the fight. Yeah. When you're fighting, you know you'll win, unless you're Viper and screw over that fight, but usually when you jump with the Scouts Archers, you know you're going for a cleanup. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I just think the Skirm Spears are annoying. It's, it's sometimes very tricky to actually find that cleanup, but I mean, we'll see here. Uh, Viper's just going <laughs> to ignore it and send his Archers forward. I mean, at the end of the day, the Skirms and Spears don't do a lot of damage to the Vils, so it's fair to ignore it. And 1 minute 30 to go. And Yo has got to buy some time. For now, he's still sticking on the Skirm Spear, though. I mean, he is completely safe with the house wall. Three fall work kind of completely working. His economy is... Oof, I like it. Uh, very solid. Now going for the second stable. The house wall is a Yo special. He always does that. Yeah. Tato and Yo does that. Like, first palace the wall, then house wall, and yeah. see an Imperial Age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now there's nothing more to be done. Unless you bring the siege. Viper's going for three TCs here. Adding three TCs, so or adding two TCs, so he's going to be going for a pretty big boom behind us, and it makes sense because there's no more damage to be done anyway. So you might as well try to go for economy. But I just worry it might be a little late for Viper to try thinking about economy right now. That third TC, I I, I don't know what to think about that one. Deers, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's worth it either. I think right here <laughs> it's much more natural. How did he even get there? He sent the bills out. Okay, interesting. Is <laughs> he so really one of the deers? Mm, how is the economy looking? I want to uh, see. We both checked at the same time. Yo, it's <laughs> up 400 res. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. And wait until heavy plow. After heavy plow, that yeah. will be... Poof. 
Yeah, considering he's up against Ethiopians, that's pretty insane. To already master bonus. And and from this position, I feel like the poles are a much more complete sieve, like much more well-rounded. I think the knight skirm from them with the economy is a great, uh, you know, a great civilization to carry the game. I have a problem in my mind when I play poles. I don't want to make a single knight before the unit attack. It's still uh, a good knight. You still yeah. have a coin bonus, <laughs> but kind of. I don't want to make them right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them, but we still. It's like you yeah. promised better. <laughs> It feels like a vase. Yeah, yeah I, I feel that. I feel that. I also don't want to make a single farm that's not in a full work, even though it's a regular farm. No, it's insane, but that's how mine yeah. works. And he's not on stone. Stone was very vulnerable, unfortunately, for Paul's. But... Yeah, he had a really bad map here. But he is looking to clean up these archers. Uh, good micro. Should pull the weak HP back. But that's something that Yo does not feel confident doing. And just instead patrols and looks away, which is fair enough as well. Going for the 30C. Yo's map, I don't know if he caught it, but very bad. He's got two gold, two stones. Chat was asking to restart it. I said, no, it's obviously not like a restart, but just a bad map. And but... yet he managed to full wall. <laughs> exactly. Full wall, defends it, and it's all good. Like, uh, what is the most open map? I, I want to see how your wall is that like. Mm, I've seen him wall Serengeti. I've seen him wall <laughs> Atacama. I've seen him while Land Madness. Yeah, I learned Land Madness, him. Like, yeah. On Land Madness, he's probably on, on edge of the screen, so he can be completely walled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he, he walls everything. Now, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. He is a waller. But I never thought of him <laughs> as a waller. I, th I was too focused on the monks to think of something else. <laughs> first problem first. Yeah, exactly. All right, cross Wait, the camel. Wait, camels, highly underrated the combo. I agree. I think I think it, it's one of the reasons why Ethiopians are such a good sieve, actually. They're able to have the camels, so they're able to support their crossbows with some camels, and that's great against most cavalry civs. They, of course, get pikemen for free, but camel is much more versatile than the, the pikemen, and much more mobile, the, the natural choice. But Viper's also mixing in some pikes, which is interesting to see as well. And take a look at Viper. He's making outposts on the sides already with one pill. They don't cost stone, so he gets a pretty good discount on them. I, I really like that. I think it's a good, I think it's a good strat. Yeah, yeah. He sees the whole map. His units are less mobile, so he needs the vision, so... Complete perfect play there. Yeah. And Yo agrees, like, making knights is a vase before the cast, right? He's having so limited amount of them. Like, he's floating resources. He doesn't want any. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I can do with the knights for now. Yeah. Unique tech first, then knights after. And what do you think of the pose unique tech? Is it broken or is it just right? It's annoying, right? I don't think it's broken. It's just so annoying. Okay. I think they're farming bonus, but it did receive the nerf, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they're completely fine right now. Yeah, yeah. I think they're okay. -ish. It's just annoying, right? Yeah. Something to worry about. Very strong if it comes on the field. But I mean, you see the problem with it right now. It's like, no castle, and we're forced to make the knights even at a regular price, which uh, Yo is going for right now. Goes to his siege defense, though. Does want to defend his map from the camel crossbow composition. I still like you need a castle, unique tech is expensive. If you let opponent do all that, well, you made some mistakes earlier. Mm, big shot with the Maganel. That was sick. Ooh, another, another one. one. As well. Very, very solid there. Yeah, now we see Viper is going 3 TC for a while now. Has enough stone for a castle. It's actually really heavy on stone, by the way. Like, really heavy. 25 uh, villagers heavy. Like, yeah, that's, that's wild. Uh. Is, is it going to be a forward castle? I wouldn't mind that. I think it's a decent idea. Mm -mm, but where? Like, your base is so compact. It's uh, tricky. Probably first one downhill and the second one before. Like 25 on stone. He can make as yeah, many as he likes. two castles. The problem is Yo almost has a castle himself. I have something really interesting and really unique for you, Doubt. Uh, castle and then we get the unique tech for the, pole, for the Ethiopians to give the camels uh, extra resistance tonight. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's obviously decent, but you miss bloodlines. It's basically the same tech. Yeah, yeah. Not that unique. Not that impressive. Not that, not that impressive. Okay, <laughs> I tried. Another apple is going down. <laughs> the unique things are falling. And the castle not on the hill for Viper, but in the middle. Yeah, that's not as exciting because I think yeah, like Yo's in a better position. Just goes castle on hill, goes up to Imperial Age. Should be able to just trap down Viper. I think Viper's position is not bad. But he needs to get Imperial Edge. I don't like that he was so heavy on stone like that. Just one cast is enough. You don't need to. 
Well, not sure how many times you play on po against Pulse on Gold Rush type of maps. They don't think gold. <laughs> they true, don't true, need true. gold. Yeah, yeah. They, they're one of the few yeah. That's it. Wink and Star is one of the best units in the game. Like it's, uh, the Pulse Wink and Star is so incredibly strong. The trample damage especially is what makes it broken. Everything else is fine. It's just, the trample damage is so OP. Uh, combine that with the amazing farm economy, you just spam forever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's so good. Then you have good scrims. Yeah. It's also, actually... Stone gives you gold. It's nice. <laughs> it's yeah. nice too. It all meshes together. If anything, it, for the poles, it might be better for Yo to expand on the side where he can farm instead of pushing for the center. Because if you push for the center, you get a lot of golden stone. But chances are you don't have the map control, so you can't really farm. So I think Yo is better off just farming on the top and then just forcing Viper off the center instead of taking it himself. Mm, yeah, like those are small decisions he needs to make right now. For us, it's easier when we see the whole map and Viper to TC as well. But those, are, <laughs> those are the options that, like, it's always safer to go, like, a middle push, your fast, same percentage. Usually, we go st start raiding when middle push fail. Yeah, then you're exactly. like a backup plan. But yeah, I agree. We, we need to work on that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no need to be reactive, just go raid right away. I, I used to think that. Like three, two, three years ago, I used to think that we're playing at almost perfect level. Like, oh, it's like, oh, it's not much to improve. Like, let's just keep this and it's amazing. But the last two, three years, the game got so much better. Like, everyone's playing so much better right now. And I think it still has not, a few years to go. Except Nilly. Uh, Nilly yeah, uh, <laughs> still needs a couple years, I'm sure. And he's uh, in the yeah, gold league. Yeah, absolutely agree. He's in the gold league, I think. That's good. Mm -hmm. On to the next season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that Ooh, mango shot. That's actually pretty impactful. He needs to get that castle up. Another decent shot there, but Viper just barely dodges. 30 seconds in pure ledge. And I think Viper might try to stop this castle. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Oh, please stop. It's dead. <laughs> oh, man. And Yo cleans up the entire army. That's a brutal cleanup. That Mango got 12 kills, and now. Is that? Yeah, Yo just throws Perfect. him, like, let him rest in peace after that, <laughs> he did his job. Wow. Imperial Age faster for Yo. This is really, really looking bad for Viper now. He still has gold control, which is very helpful for Ethiopians. He can, you know, he's going Arbalest Help, the standard composition you expect from Ethiopians. But Yo is already preparing Skirms, and Yo will have shortly, with competition coming in, a massive food economy for his cavalry. Yeah, yeah. Like, Yo will probably just call the middle with Skirms and raid with Cavalry. Mm -hmm. That should be like his go to plan. And Viper, accept that, uh, ex expect that. And making stone walls. <laughs> yeah, making the stone walls, so kind of playing against that raiding style from Yo. And stone walls are super efficient. Like, we spent, what, 18 times 5 uh, in terms of stone there. So less than 100 stone and walls that whole side, nothing can get in. Great value from that. And he made a cast on that long TC. I still don't know that TC. Nah, that TC. Cannot approve it. He didn't and you're making deers, counter though. castle. Yeah, you also <laughs> kind of fight that. The problem Not that, even the deers. This is the issue with going for the center. Like, Viper's first castle, it's just getting trapped in the hills. It's getting no value. And uh, we have Marine Lord in the chat saying, Oh my god, it's the best player in the world casting. Hera is lucky to have this opportunity. So, you got a little fan of the chat. Lord. Yeah. I, I didn't know he was a nice guy. Uh, he's not, but he's just, he just pretends to be. <laughs> it's more being a bad guy to you than a nice guy. Nice yeah, guy maybe, maybe, okay. exactly. I take it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it goes. Germs and traps pushing in. And I like that Yo took the time to go skirms. I think a lot of players would just skip that, try to force the issue with Cav. I think the skirms help a lot against the pikes. I think better than skirms might actually be Arbless once he gets to center, but can't afford it for now, of course. Yeah, and our, the skirms will well do. It's more stable, also doesn't have a gold. It's like good against crossbow, good against halves. Yeah, it's probably yeah. a better option. Like a long distance, that boat is obviously terrible. Yeah, but Viper's but got in that stage of the game. And Viper's got more gold right now than the average player's income. So he's got 1,500 gold in, <laughs> in the bank. And that's really, really good because even if he gets put, forced off the center right now, he could make a push back for it with Bomber Cannons and such with that gold built up. So I like that. Yeah, obviously, Ethiopians are absolutely gold dependent. Like, if they don't have gold, they trash units of trash. Yeah. And Paul's best is trash units in the game. So absolutely. he needs to contest the middle. He needs to be present in the middle. And you can see castle, that. He's repairing it with his soul, right? Yeah, the exactly. Castle cannot go down. <laughs> exactly. That castle, it's defending the gold, defending the stone. There's so much around there. And now we see a Bomber Cannons coming out. 
and it's still it's still really close. Both players 165 pop. That's why I love AB2. Like it's completely different tip, completely different approach, and it's neck and neck in terms of population. And the uh, raiding two stables and cats on the left side. Like the map control. Like even if middle fails, you got the backup one. Yeah. He's expanding on the side. And think back to oh. when Viper lost. Oh, a hair at Trevor in the chat. The <laughs> cannon goes down. And think of when. But two Trevors as well. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. When Viper lost the Cosmos initially, those Cosmos to the Magna, very much needed. Yeah, yeah, that would swing. Like even now, it's kind of equal fight. Imagine with those 20 crossbow. Yeah, absolutely. It can help a lot. Your farming economy is still not that impressive. Like 46 on farm is obviously good, but at this stage. Here are 100 farms, and being Hassas on the way, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree as well. I, I will say, though, um, it's kind of hard to find space to fit the pole works, or like find the time to do them perfectly. It's it's a really hard thing, actually, with the poles. Usually, yes, but when you're against Ethiopians, you have no threat to the reeds, right? You can true. put them wherever you want. You, <laughs> you don't even need a castle to protect them. Just drop true. them. Just drop them anywhere. Completely fine. And see, oh, okay, this is a typical your play. Like two seed workshops next to the stone walls of Viper. He is pushing on the left side. The Travis top side. Like he's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Yo loves this style. And it's great because like he's he tried the the middle push. It, I would say it worked. It's just that it's not enough to finish the game. And now going for the second uh, approach, or, like the plan B. But he's not waiting for the middle push finishes. He's still pushing in the center with some skirms and just focusing now a bit more on the left hand side. Did he get the tech for the wing star yet? Uh, didn't see it. I don't think so either. Okay, now it comes and in perfect. Biggest deal with this side pushes is like Viper to react. He needs to send more population. Like he needs to send 15 half to deal with three Hassars on the side and two Rams. Yeah, yeah. So he will not have enough population to hold the middle. Mobility used at maximum that way. Yeah, very very good point. And Viper is indeed sending 11 halves here to deal with this. And then while he's dealing with that, Yo is just gonna push somewhere else, and that's how you make use of the mobility. And something's gonna have to crumble, so Vipers have to make some concessions. Uh, could go Chotel's long term, I think. Chotel's can be good, but once he stabilizes first, scams. a nice shot of the bomber but cannons. But if those bomber cannons get unique tech, it's like scary that ball. It's very, like, scrims are not countering anything anymore then. Like, Ethiopians 100% have the better late game if they fight head on, like, way better, in fact. But the mobility is a factor, and Viper doesn't have the best, the best grip on the center, like, ever. He still needs to clear the castle. But he's doing it. It's about to be very interesting right now. But as you see, Viper is 144 villagers and he's still making. He knows he will lose a lot of villagers. He's ready for that. He just doesn't want to drop below 100 villagers. Well, he is creating a huge bank. So that's how it should be played against mobile systems, against ratings. Yeah. Both are playing their systems at maximum. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and it's creating a sick, sick game here. Castle on the right-hand side for Viper. Trying to hold some of the farm economy. He knows he's going to lose a lot of it. But wants to keep some of it here. And now he's forcing Yo completely out of the center. Yo completely abandoned. And Viper takes another castle in the center. So it's full gold control for Viper. Gold stone. But full map control for Yo. Yo has 80% of the map. That's not the center right now. And all those small fights, like now skirmishes are getting half. Like all those small fights are going for the for the Yo in heavy favor because well mobility you pick the fight i think chattels is the only chance for viper if he gets chattels and he gets to clean up the skirms a little gets a bit more mobility it could be interesting and he's doing that that's a good choice mm -hmm. how good are chattels against skirms very very good yeah why, why not they're naked right no armor yeah but and low hp naked guy is hitting you for 20 i'd be scared of that <laughs> IRL. i'd be very scared of that <laughs> they too shot the skirms right so yeah, yeah. And gold is not the issue, so yeah, yeah. Also, if it was Viper, a normal game, maybe not, but here's for sure, yeah. Viper's got four relics, by the way. Like, oh, he just deletes a castle. What? Wow, he deletes a castle and just does it somewhere else. That was so interesting. Mm. Yeah, and <laughs> does it like two steps back. Yeah. So just to keep it safe as long as possible. I still think it's advantage Yo for the time being. But if Yo makes a few mistakes, then Viper all of a sudden just has the gold, right? So it's just, it, it comes down to how Yo can play this one out. And then he got that Shotels, right? That in raid. Yeah. That's a gold unit. Gold unit, even if it's Shotel Warrior, it's quite efficient. So sending Fuel to raid and don't care about gold, quite a big deal.
Well, feels like nothing is happening right now on the major major ground in the middle. Where's the Viper? Uh, okay, he went Bomber Cannons back to clean the left side. Yeah. But they're alone. That's uh, has a few that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, can't can't really lose that. I can't afford to lose it for now. I mean, he could afford it, but it's just that he doesn't have the best economies. Even though he's got infinite gold stone, he doesn't have it in the bank right now. And Yo continues to raid the center. Yo's push on the right hand side is, is uh, speeding up as well. He's got siege rams. The Paul's late game is one of the best in the game, I think. Especially without the goals. Like, if it was any other team, your push of the goal game is over. Paul's, yeah. I believe, the only team that can do this. And maybe Byzantine. I think Paul's are way better than Byzantine, though, at, at this. Like, I think having the Wing Hissar, it's not just that you have the trash units, you have a power unit that's, that costs no gold. Very, very important. And let's see, shots against Kerms and two traps. Maybe you're right, naked guys. <laughs> they hit hard, man. They hit hard. They hit hard. Oh my god. Man, it man. was like a siege on like hitting those, man. They that disappeared. Was insane. And that's exactly what Viper needs. He could get the unique tech as well. Helps them against the cavalry. It's it's not a bad it's not a bad situation. Ooh, that's true, that's true. That will yeah. help against Wing Cassars a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I think Viper's at yeah, oh I think Viper's completely dead though. He's at 130 pop and no resources in the bank. Whereas Yo, Yo, I mean, Yo's at 170, not the best resources, but just it scales better. His farms are untouched, his spills are working, it's a much better situation there. Probably Viper needed TCs in the middle, like that's the spot that he protects the moves, and just to keep village account high. Uh, yeah, his bank is gone. Your raids paid off. Yeah, for sure. Even losing like tabs, scrims, and everything. He's killing villagers, he's putting the pressure, yeah. and nobody got DPM to deal with all that. Yeah, exactly. Score is still relatively close, because Viper's obviously killing a lot of military from Yo, but the game is getting further and further ahead for Yo as you speak. And Viper still has a chance to win, but that chance relies on Yo taking too long to push. But Yo is obviously going fairy ham here. Let's see the Shotels against the Winged Stars. Yeah, Winged Stars are destroying those guys. How is this even meant that? <laughs> That's insane. Like. Yeah. Yeah, Winged Star is so what? insane. <laughs> Like, Paladin wouldn't clean that so good. Yeah. It's so insane. The, the trample damage especially. And those guys are missing Blast Furnace, by the way, so it's not even fully upgraded. Yeah. The poles, man. And Yo is now switching to the Skirms back for the final middle push, I believe. Yeah, yeah. he's preparing tabs. He, that's like the last spot of the Viper. Yeah, and GG squad. GG. No 5-0 guys, it's going to be a 4-1, Yo takes one back, and you love to see it. We don't want to see anyone go down 5-0, especially two, you know, two players of this caliber. Really well played from Yo, I think the highlight of, the, of his game was the Skirms doing so much damage in Feudal. I think that was very important. And then the Maginot shot to get control of the center very fast. And then obviously strategy, always top tier for Yo. Mm -hmm. Like both play their pot uh, civilization to full potential. Viper, that sloppy mistakes early game, kind of caused him the momentum that Ethiopians need against Paul's who went like deeper fall, fall work in Feudal Age. You need to punish that. Yeah. But if you lose so many units, you cannot punish, right? Right. And really, really good performance by you here. Well, well played. I think Britons, Viper plays Britons so well. Drew, thanks for the prime. Welcome. Viper plays so well with Britons on this map. I've lost it before. Not sure exactly how to beat it. And we got Yo with the mines, Viper of course with the Britons, and maps in closed. You gotta go around, you can't wall on the rocky terrain. There's a lot of gold and stone on the outside to fight for. And of course the middle is, uh, you know, players are separated by a lot of wood. So how do you think of this matchup overall here? I wanna know what's about Britons and Viper on this map, like what's so good about that? No, so it's, it's like, basically he does this play where he just goes... Uh, gets the castleage, and instead of making a lot of army, he just goes heavy TCs right away and forces you to push them. And then pushing Britons is so difficult if you don't have like the perfect like nice eagles. Skirm. <laughs> but eagles in this case can be yeah can be the game changer for sure. Yeah, I think mines are way 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 better on this map. Ooh, way better! Wow, okay. Well, there's so much natural food; it lasts longer. Extra bit of job is to help eagles as a cheap unit. That well, as you said, you cannot wall, so you, yeah. they can always find the damage. And the map is more, almost unlimited gold, right? Very good for my hands. Yeah, yeah. That's true, that's true. I think long term, the Britons want to play like Lombo Champion versus Mayans, and Mayans want to play like uh, maybe Plume Eagles or Arbless Eagles. Honestly, Britons going for the longer game and doing Onagers is amazing against Mayans. Like, Mayans just die to Onagers. 
I'm so happy you mentioned that because nobody ever makes Siege versus Mines. It's so frustrating. Just get the Siege Onager, which is really hard in most cases. But if you get the Siege Onager, even the shittiest Civ can beat Mines. Like literally Bulgarians, Teutons, all these Civs can beat Mines if you get the Heavy Siege. Yeah, I, I realized that really like 10 years ago, maybe like okay. Mines was the best Civ and keep losing to the Celts, like one of the worst yeah, Civs. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just don't have... And then well, other Civs can do that as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Not as powerful, but good enough. Yeah. And it's like... Eagles are obviously insane, but it's very hard to close the gap on Onagers because they're not as fast as Hussar and they're also really expensive. And they stack up because they are small infantry. Yeah, so yeah. Splash is huge there. Absolutely. Now I see both players just going for the dealers. Um, how do you feel about the dealer in meta, especially on Arabia these days? That should be gone. Like that's some like that's what pushed me away from the game basically. <laughs> how you, you have to that? do it? It's so. Remove the deers from the map. Oh, really? That that extreme? Yeah, but why do we need deers? Do you, do you want to re replace it with something else or no? Or deers don't move. You Make can't lure them with a the scout. Make a meal, motherfucker. <laughs> like, you <laughs> cannot push them. Like, that's how it is. Like, <laughs> if you want to use them, make a meal. Yeah? Okay. I, I think I agree. Like, I would want to see something change with them, for sure. Like more economy, you would think leads to the more units, but no, more economy means well, you go faster castle age. So if you start with 500 less food because of the deers are gone, well, suddenly you have to work for that, and that means farms. Then it means market is less viable. Yeah. If I do market, I'm stuck with 500 food and cannot click up. Yeah. Yeah, deers. I think if they're gone, would be so much better game. I I agree with that. I think every map has like four deers and. Every player is pushing them. And I actually saw, it's not just the pro players complaining about this. I saw a post on Reddit. So like your average you know, player is complaining now, saying it's very tedious to lure the deers. He feels like if he doesn't do it, he's behind. If he does it, yeah. it messes up his dark age. He can't scout, but you know, it's just very tedious. He does it every game. It's really annoying. And it's something yeah. that I think that we have to address because initially deer was like, okay, you're scouting or you're deer pushing. If you scout more information, you know, less food. If you take the deer, sure, it's good. But now everyone, the game got so much better. Everyone knows what to expect. So you just take the deer and then you still have time to scout. You still have time to see what he's going for. And that's it. Like yeah. technically it used to be like Josh or Matt and Rush biggest punishing to the deer pusher. Yeah. Now quick wall is so good. Like even I do it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And th that's it. Like no problem. And I have always need to do deer. Four deer under your TC. You got maybe a boar left over and then the guy with meta arms has <laughs> got nothing. <laughs> Yeah, and he invests heavy on food and didn't push the earth. Like, yeah, so yeah. He's like, that was cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we can definitely have an hour long talk on that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I think it would be so much better. Like, then we would both use Scout to actually have the info, and game would be more strategic as well. Uh, many times into archers against yeah. only archers. Well, kind of for only archers, I must say. I think. Viper can also mix in skirmish if he wants to here, um, but he's gonna go mainly archers for sure. Yeah, that, that, when I go many time rush, I always go skirmish. Like that gives you the momentum, and that's like Dravidian is a good save, good combo both, or Romans. Damn, I love, I love Romans. Yeah, the GL wins but a lot it, with Dravidians. I always see you guys winning with that stuff. You're really good with it. <laughs> the who won delicious cup with Dravidians? <laughs> that was it. You guys suck at your videos, by the way. I don't want to be one. Uh, 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 I think I you're, think... you're good with it. Pat on Viper yeah, needs to, need to learn yeah. a little bit. Because they're all in HC, you cannot back off your JTC boom and feel fine. Like, uh, you exactly. You have economy lead. Viper, that <laughs> Viper like, pushes a little bit and then, oh, I need that JTC. I'm so scared. <laughs> and then, boom, the game is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you need to commit. You're you thinking, cheaper as well. If I lose, I have another 20 years of tournaments. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just go for it. <laughs> See you next time. Like, yeah, okay. exactly. It, losing is fine, Viper. Yeah, yeah there you go. And then Meta Arms, um, I mean, they, they got some value in terms of attacking and like momentum, but it didn't really do anything if you think about it. So it's it's kind of wasted resources. Yo is massing the Archer, which is the scaling unit. So Yo is much further ahead right now. And that is one once again kind of the problem with the Meta Arm Rush that we're seeing in today's meta. The reason I would Meta Arm Rush against Meta TV is because you don't want Eagles to be like... Like, we both go archers, I go scrums, you go scrums, I go eagles, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. And Checkmate. when you have the mana time present, you kind of block the eagle play. But saying that, he lost all of them, so... But yeah, going mana arm and then just going archer yourself feels kind of counterintuitive. It feels like you're not doing a whole lot. 
Yeah, yeah, he had to be scrum so yeah. putting it then continue the pressure. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Might feel unnatural with Britons to go skirms, but you're not going skirms forever, just a few, and then you can go archers later. But oh, yo is overstepping oh. a little bit. But we'll trade efficiently, right? Yeah, no problem. We'll be three for three. My archers are cheaper. Three for two minutes. <laughs> Platinum now coming in for the Viper. Has a. Uh, I mean, Yo has a lot of resources. He can make either more farms and a market, or he can go second range if he really wants to. This market. Has to market. <laughs> yeah, market for sure. Down on the market. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how that plays and out. Also, it's very good for you to keep trading army, right? If you keep losing archers to archers, I have eagles as a power weapon, cast rage, and you got what? Knights without bloodlines? Yeah, we saw how, how that worked with Taro when he did that. Mm. People need to start using okay. longswords against eagles, by the way. What, like, what the hell is this? Oh, no bloodlines? It's No, it's not. It's hard. You have, don't have mobility, like... But you it's much push better it, than like... the knight You scale with it. At least you scale. Yes, if you have the pressure. Like, if I have the map control, if I'm pushing you and going to the longsword attack, then I continue pushing. If, I, if I'm if i stuck at home and you're all over me and I switch to longsword, I'm just chasing eagles until I die in him. Okay. You already have one barracks, right? You uh -huh. go one barracks, longswords, three TC right away. So eagles, well, yes, he's attacking us, but we just boom and defend and we scale. It's actually really solid. Like, there's no reason it's bad. Don't use V in that sentence. Not all of us want to treat TC boom every single game. <laughs> if I go long sword, I'm marketing, I'm going heavy triple barrack, man. I'm attacking the eagle player. <laughs> Make him feel Don't the put me in the same boat there. And Viper did oh no, he did not have the extra my time, it's a leftover. No, that guy has one leg missing. That guy's not looking too hot right now. <laughs> not sure how he's walking him and uh, yeah. he's down. Uh, Castledge, faster for the Viper, actually, with no market. So, I mean, better macro, maybe? Um, I don't know how he well, managed Well, didn't that. sell the stone, right? You are just, like, tickle the market. <laughs> See, this is about abuse. This is, <laughs> this is use. When you do it, it's abuse. <laughs> this is like a healthy use of the... Yeah, exactly. Illegal something. <laughs> this is the... It's he like... go crazy. <laughs> he got it from the government. You're using it on the black market. That's, that's how it it's goes. It's allowed. <laughs> This is like the medical market, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, now he's going to be Castledge, I mean, about the same time. It's interesting to see if he goes for the Eagle Switch or not. I think he probably should, but I wouldn't hate if he stays on Skirms. I think that's also fine. Mm, but only one Beric, like... Well, Triple TC, I guess. Mm, gonna go Eagles. Yeah, he's, okay, he's gonna add it, he's gonna add which is weird. Why are you waiting to add it? Every single time we see like the transition from Yo, it always seems to be like 30 seconds late. On Nomad, he was late for the Hussar switch. Here he's late to the Eagles. It's a bit strange. Uh, to be fair, once you start massing Eagles from Feudal Age, he would get like half an Eagle down now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so slow. Man. The Eagle takes, you know how long it is in Feudal? I don't know, forever, man. It was yeah. easier to get like castle each leg than even eagle out. It's one minute, which is longer than four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> a minute. lot. <laughs> one minute to make an eagle, man. Have mercy on us. Look at the percentage. <laughs> well, well scout, imagine man. if it was faster, <laughs> that would be so bad. For yeah, me. yeah, it's actually in the perfect balance right now. And Viper's gonna go archers. He's gonna go archers. He's gonna try to attack uh, with the crossbows. And you know what? I think his attack will do a lot of damage because Yo is so far from having a decent amount of eagles, and he's adding a TC right now, so he's wide open for the uh, for the archers. He's forced probably to do seed workshop, and yeah, that's not the place you want to be. Like you have already a counter unit eagle now, you have a double counter unit, and also it's Britons going range against Onager. Yeah, that's bad. Not loving it. Yeah, not yeah, loving yeah, it. Absolutely. That's simply because he didn't master the feudal and eagle or the eagles and feudal. That's why he didn't sell the stone, or he would have the timing in front of Viper Basic Eagles. <laughs> Very true. And now the TC boy, what's he getting him? Not much. Surviving technique, basically. He turned a push into a defense, yeah, and lost the bill still. I have to agree, Doubts. I think the abuse on the on the market would have been much better here. Oh, stop calling it abuse. Man. It's abuse if you sell the stone, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch you if you sell the stone. What? What is this Viper TC? He always does this weird TC stuff. What the hell? Well, we used to play like that 20 years ago. 
DC for map control to take the resources. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then you make stables there and read like unexpected. Yeah, and you guys realize then you're both 70 pop <laughs> at 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then realize it's bad. It's like better to keep your base compact yeah. and easier to defend. Now, if I can boom in the little area of enclosed, I would if I can do that. That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah, yeah. Especially against Eagle's player, like that's such an easy readable spot, but yeah. luck that he's in an amazing spot. Yeah, Yo's uh, trying to defend with some Scorpions. Of course, Britons outrange the Scorpions and the Siege, and Magan also like as well. Um, I mean, I think Yo turned what should have been a fast push into a very slow thing, and I don't really like that at all. I think it's bad. Well, he knows he got better till later on, he just wants to survive, but yeah. You can survive with the market and playing aggressive. Buy stone. Market can do everything. Push, con everything. All inclusive. Whatever <laughs> you need, market is there for you. You need a friend, call a market. It's <laughs> always there, man. It will never say no. <laughs> yeah. And now he's sending a counter attack, but that's like, what do your three eagles do like. Yeah, that's not enough number. This is a Mr. Yo counter attack. It's like it's just enough so that you have to look over it, but it's nothing like nothing too crazy. But I mean, Yo could kill a villain and just run away potentially here. <laughs> yeah. Like, grab the kill and go home. <laughs> yeah, <you> heal up. <laughs> go visit the market again. <laughs> go Let's visit see. the market. Viper uh, should see this in theory, but of course, there's a lot going on. Lose a villain, see the reaction time. Okay, he reacts. Pulls back the, um, the crossbows. Ooh, save that villain. Good, good stuff there. Well done. Yeah, one villain run. That's exactly as expected. He will take that one down. <laughs> that yeah, one is going, going down. <laughs> I think he can commit, actually. He just commits for more, yeah. I wouldn't yeah, mind even Viper losing went those. forward, now back. Yeah, Viper is... Uh... Yeah. Well, Eagles, man. Yeah. Eagles are a good unit. I can't believe Very he tried to... Very powerful low number. He tried to quick all that. Like, that's crazy that he even tried <laughs> that. Well, he finished same as if I would try. I'm going to tell you from now, Doubt. Viper's biggest mm -hmm. weakness is quick walls. He is literally obsessed. You feel like you're playing against a crack addict and you know what exactly is what is my biggest is. weakness then? <laughs> Your biggest weakness is the fact that you can't do the basic quick walls. Viper's biggest weakness is the fact that he's way too good at quick walls <laughs> that Let's he's go. always trying to do them and that's terrible. I agree. Quick walls also is something we need to discuss. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to do it in moderation then. Egos are still finding something. It's down. abusive. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like Viper's abusing the cook walls. So Viper's got a five build leap, but as we mentioned, like mines are scaling a lot better than Britain's. In theory, we did talk about you know Britain's playing with onagers, but if this just plays with standard units, Egos will be so hard to deal with. It's like a very post team scenario when he bought a two kind of population, you can afford everything. Like first you need to tack into a normal unit, like Arbalest yeah. Champions, and then later on switch to. Like, you cannot just go Onagers and wait for him to stand ground and you kill them. You need to have something to protect them. Oh, and Viper's trying to send two bills forward. I think it was a Siege push, but the Eagles are catching him out. And he's going for Knights. Why Knights? Why not Longswords? Am I missing something They're here? faster. Ah, yeah, yeah. They're so bad, though. <laughs> mm. They, they don't do enough. Like the long sword, yeah, it's slow, but it's it's reliable. The knights are not reliable. They don't scale. The eagles beat them. Eagles can but run away because like, the knights, the knights, if they're chasing eagles, will bump anyway. So they can't even chase down the eagles. They have better mid shield. They look cooler. But most important, like imagine if I prevent long sword now committing to bags. Yo sees that, buy a castle, drop it. Goodbye. You cannot pass, you cannot trade with long swords. That's it. Yeah. And I, I can already mass bloom the archer. I like, see what you mean. Because you can checkmate with the, ma with the market. <laughs> you buy stone with the market. Like, you don't even need to mine it. Everything's done with the market. <laughs> I see what you mean. Like the long swords need the upgrades. True. But I mean, you already have the men arm upgrade. I, I, I don't know. I just feel like the long swords scale better. You don't have to go three barracks. Just one barracks, few long swords. It's enough. Just go for the push. Yeah, yeah. That that maybe I think that's something I need to test. Like a slow one or two barracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when I go my long swords, I I, I cannot stop. Right. It, it it's a natural. Aggression. Yeah. <laughs> it's natural because you're getting the upgrade. You want to use that unit, but it's just it's really hard when you're full on them because everything counters them. Like the only thing that doesn't count them is bills, basically. Everything else. Is good it's enough. so weird. Like for example, when you're making an experiment to scout to scouts, you know, like you need three, four, and then you stop. But when you make mana time to counter eagle, <laughs> let's go forever. Yeah, exactly, it's, exactly. Still make five, six, and that's enough. Like, it's a counter yeah. unit. I made shield, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. We'll try that next time. 
We'll work on it together, and when it becomes popular, we know who started it. We have the proof. Yeah, exactly. And look at the TC. Just like losing villagers left and right because, yeah. like, what is the TC on there? <laughs> <laughs> TC on the right is just losing his wills. And the Eagles, I mean, they're finding good kills. And oh my god, another TC on the left. Viper's playing this literally for fun. <laughs> and Tato is watching and like shaking right now. Like... Oh man. <laughs> Tato needs Viper to win, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs to win with a good so score. Wrong. Like, yeah. It needs to be 11. 11-7 win for Viper. That's how Taro wins. <laughs> Damn. So no, one bad TC was not enough for Viper, so he goes for another one. Yeah, a second one. The forward siege workshop. It's not going to do anything. Gets the siege workshop, and Yo's about to click up the imp. Viper's so far behind. He, of course, invested into the knights as well. And although Viper's got more population, definitely has a score lead. Yo's position is much better at the moment. Well, he is about to click up him. And then good luck stopping you. Then he will go like long sword. Yeah, yeah. Then we need the three barracks. That called out the three <laughs> barracks then. Uh, like those aggressive TCs, like you just has to be raided. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it only makes sense if you're the guy pushing, right? It doesn't make sense if you're the guy on defense. It never makes sense, but yeah. then it's not that painful. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I like your your push better. <laughs> Forward stables, yeah, he will go all in push, but Eagle Lamper is healthy. He doesn't need to engage, he can like just wait behind the monks and even if they fight now, I think Yo would win. I agree, yeah. I think with the right Especially marker. with his conversions. Yeah, for sure. But I mean he could use some more upgrades, still missing the last uh, attack upgrade, which is really important on Eagles. Ooh. Not a uh, kill. One for one, yeah. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I see the conversions, that should be fine. Yeah, he ran away instantly. And Viper is so far from Imperial Age. Yo should just chill. Like he sees the score, he sees he's a thousand score behind. So he, he, like we see the position, we see he's completely fine, but he might be thinking he's very far behind. So in this case, just wait for Imperial Age and then go for your win condition from there. And he got enough stone to drop a castle soon, so the push will never kill him here. Like ideally he drops the castle next to his gold on Siege Workshop and send Eagles on the other side. And yeah, that's yeah. It. That's a really good idea. Viper's push is pretty scary right now, though. We are gonna see the jump in 51 seconds. Wait, we need the Imperial Age upgrade as well. Two minutes, two minutes. But the uh, Viper will jump, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, Viper yeah, Viper's gonna jump. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. And he's on the other side as well. So he's on the right side, he's on the left side. Yeah, 20 seconds until Viper has the force, because he knows he can't fight Eagles. But no castle job yet, I'm surprised by that. Like he's getting pushed from both sides, one can be protected with the castle. Yeah, it goes for it now. There it goes. Kind of Oof, the wrong that's... side. Very aggressive, man. He wants gold, right? But he's so like he just lost the castle. Okay, he's sending eagles. Um mm. Viper's gonna jump on the left hand side, he's sending in the knights. Maybe these knights don't scale well for Britain, so using them right now is perfect. Archers on the right hand side, he's gonna kill the bills with them, but the eagles will get the cleanup. And now there's a the eagle on the way here for Mr. Yo. Yeah, after cleaning that, he will just go back and clean everything. Viper is close to click up, but he will have like three minutes of trying to survive. And his TC spots are not made for surviving. Yeah, they're they're made for dying, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact as well, if you get elite eagle, you don't need to get plus four armor right away if you're up against a castle age uh, army. Because, uh, yeah, you already have six pierce armor, which is enough to take only one damage from the crossbows. So I'd rather see Yo get Eldorado and not extra armor. Small thing, though. Well, and Yo didn't probably know about the back gold until just now. Like, that's why he wanted the forward castle, ah, too. Yeah, to secure it, yeah. Now goes for it, yeah, yeah good call. Yeah, he's kind of low on gold as well. He's got that back one at the back and one at the right. So now he's fine, but before he only had one in his control. Mm -hmm. That's why he went for aggressive yeah. one, risky one. See, imagine if Viper cooked up the long the long swords, right? One barracks went for the castle push, and then wanted to go all in castle. Adds four or five barracks. He would have long swords instead of knights. Maybe, maybe you're right. It's not terrible. This man. definitely like this definitely didn't work out. So, bro, in the worst case scenario, it doesn't work out either. So I swear that's exactly what I was telling my chat. Some in chance. the Tata Viper game, but Tata was like heavy on Britain knights, and he was like 40, and then they died miserably. And I was telling them long swords are better here. And a lot of people were still disagreeing, saying, no, I don't think so. And I told them, if this didn't work out, this, this badly, 
Then let's try something else either way, exactly. I, I like how you put it that, that way. Yeah, and it's not like Tato played wrong, right? He didn't yeah. make a sloppy mistake. Same like Viper here, he didn't make two sloppy mistakes except TCs maybe. Yeah. But army was good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Didn't really waste anything, but just it just didn't work out here. So it's gotta try something else, try a different strat. And yeah, no. GG, not, like nothing can hold Eagles here, GG. It's crazy, like from 1000 score late, even now if he should resign his higher score, it's just such a powerful unit here. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Mine's just winning this. Uh, winning this Look matchup. at the resources collected. It's this is broken, man. Oh, this, this 5, should not be a thing. <laughs> oh my god, Eagles are insane. That should not be a thing. 8 p.m. as well. Like everything was good for Viper. <laughs> Even the 8 p.m. <laughs> is winning. But it's just he has no units. Even if he had bloodlines with knights, maybe he can do it. But he just has no units. No, yeah, and like. He's stuck on crossbow even if he'd get to Imperial Age safe and get Arbalest. Stuck on Arbalest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, GG, well played. Good game from Yo. Uh, I don't I don't actually think Yo played exceptionally well. I think he could have done a lot of things better, but he did good enough. Can you tell the chat what, what does this map mean to you, Dal? Interview. Nothing. And uh, nothing. Man. Can I tell the story? You were it one cup away. Bro. I was one cup away. Man. He it was one cup away the from pain. Hitting cup. So basically, in hitting cup Stop three, it. in hitting cup three, it was three or four. I think three, yeah. And four, I faced better players. Uh, in hitting cup three, I was up against Doubt in the quarterfinals. It was two two. Last map is cup, and it was Celt versus Britons, and he had a really good position, and then somehow threw it. I don't remember how, and he wouldn't let it go since then. Well, same like playing over the safe, right? I killed like 12 villagers, I hit that lead, and like, I was okay. I go back, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you just went Siege Push, I remember Siege Push would just be yeah. GG. Even yeah. Feudal Age, like Tower Rush continue, like pressing Feudal, anything would be good, but yeah. I went boom, I hit better economy, but I cannot stop right? Yeah, Britons have a much better late game on this map. It's funny, I used to think Britons yeah. were like the best on this map, but then I eventually grew up i think you were that. vikings not britons i think long oh. was controlled the whole middle and oh that's the maybe game. maybe yeah, yeah maybe i think the britons i pulled up later my bad yeah okay we're here oh. we have Celts for yo and the uh, dravidians uh for viper and viper's going for a really nice dock so we're going to the left hand side and i think you know why he's doing that because yo likes to sometimes go militia with Celts. So i think he's doing a dock on the left just in case there's militia Mm -mm, but Maybe he can hide defense, it. Like, but, but, well, he can hide it, I guess. Well, it's invulnerable on the left side or something. I'm missing. Like, <laughs> well, it's just to hide it a little bit because if you make it on the front, it's like the obvious place to check. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, okay, yeah. yeah. But it would be better than on the other side of the island, then it's completely unnoticed. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So both players going for the dock approach, though. In this case, no, uh, no militia. I think that's correct. I think the militia is not a good strat. I think it was interesting. When it first came out, but then we realized it's just simply not that great. Mm, were you able to drop food on the dog back then? I'm not sure. You were not able to. You had to make a meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah game was a bit different. I was making meals on those sharefish and pushing it right. Yeah. I still think it's a solid option, but also Kelts lost the speed of the militia in Dark Age card as well. Slightly different game. Yeah, that was way too strong, the militia speed in Dark Age. Kelts were almost about to be the 30th best so we had to nerf them. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the last. <laughs> whoa, 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 Kelts, hold on. Not last Civ? <laughs> we need to nerf this. It's way too strong. Like, we keep Persians to your sale. Yeah, exactly. Persians, oh, we can't give them the bonus in Dark Age. They might become top 15. But, oh, mines? Oh, what we saw last game? Oh, that's completely fine. It's just their specialty is the Eagle Warrior. Like, you're supposed to have five more resources and load like. <laughs> And then freaking Khmer. Yeah, Khmer is literally the most OP tip in the game. And we're still talking about nerfing Franks. Like, how, man? How? Uh, I like, like, a moment ago, we were saying, like, game is such a good state. Like, look at all the teams, all good matchups. I know, and now, I know. Like, <laughs> Completely different. Like. 180. Because I think it's just, like, some sips in the game. Like, most of the balance is fine. But some sips get, like, some big time favoritism, I swear. What do you think about Roman? Uh, I have no idea. We could talk an hour about that. I mean, what's your take? You played them more. I think they're the only mana turn sieve that can work. Okay. They're one trick pony, they're best at that, but they scale quite bad. Okay. What do you think about the Centurion? I thought he was really OP when he first came out. Uh, too expensive, you need a castle, it's hard to master, right? 
And still die to Halb. Besides, that's the Halb and Monk, which is the main counter, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Viper wins the fight. Like, okay, let's focus on the game. We can talk about Jonas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, there's a dead time. And now we see uh, Viper Scout going down. Viper goes for some militia here to try to pressure. So maybe he wants to go Men at Arms. And he goes Men at Arms, or at least three militia. Yeah, Men at Arm tech and also goes for the water. So playing a bit different than how I approach Dravidians. I've played Dravidians on this map quite a lot in this tournament. And I went for like two dock plus range, heavy feudal. He's going to go for the Men at Arms. Into 3 TC boom. <laughs> He's gonna go for the meta arms and uh, yeah, he's trying to put some pressure while controlling the lakes, which I think is a good good opportunity, good choice. And meanwhile, Yo is gonna defend the meta arms with some walls and go for a range. Yeah, well, obviously you want to use some of your T bonus and manage the map with being 50%. You get extra wood so you can afford Barrack and the second dog. It's nice. Yeah. And you have now access to the range or stable. Well, <laughs> stable ones really. And meta arms are great on hybrid maps because there's a lot to, to focus on. So it's a lot harder to defend them as compared to a pure land map. But good walls from, from Yo here, really good walls. But even like this, like he's wasting so much wood on that walls, which means the water will be way more vulnerable. And Viper doesn't care about the food investment on many times right now. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a really good point actually. Yeah, he had the extra food spent on Men at Arms, which will give him value for the next ten minutes instead of the food in the stockpile, which only gives value once he clicks up the castle, basically, which is very far yeah, from now. Yeah. yeah. Only question is like, if your gets arch number out of control, then Viper will need to react to that. Neo's going for that, but of course Viper can delay the range for now, fight the water first, which he's doing. Very economy approach for Viper. Like, he didn't add the second dog to win the lake, he adds farm. Like, he's already heavy with farming. Yo doesn't even have a mill. Demo connects. Yep. <laughs> Connected. Connected indeed. <clears throat> one yeah, demo for one party galley, I always feel like, why? <laughs> why would you ever do that? W one for one on demo? Yeah, yeah. What's the price? I think it's equal, right? It's equal, but the momentum is important. Like, <clears throat> if you go dem demo for fire galley, but then your fire galley survives, you can snipe a fish. Is he sniping the fish? Well, there's a repair. So factor the <laughs> repair, the, the idle time of the bill and the and the wood repaired. I think it's fine. But if demo was around to tank a little of the damage and you win the fire gal war and the demo is still around, how is the I would mind for like that. How is the demo tanking? Okay, hold on. Ooh, yo. <laughs> You stuck a bill and yeah, Viper spotted it. How is the devil tanking? Well, two shots, right? It got HP. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you're gonna run it in front of the fire galley. Like I see you, but the mm -hmm. guy. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. That's actually kind of true. That's that's fine. Will there be a demo for those archers? I guess not. No. That's we need Tata for that. <laughs> Tata's the guy for demos. Man, Viper's gonna be but winning like, the lake on the right hand side for sure. Cannot be feeling comfortable being next to the block either way. Yo is really forcing the stock, by the way. Like <laughs> he's doing a really good job. Wasn't with stone that villager. Can't fire get a hit that villager now? No, no, I can't. I, at least I don't think so. And the demo with the connected, really good kill. Two fishing ship and the fire galley. Oh wait, what? Where? Well, <laughs> you just think you can see it now. It's under the water, man. <laughs> I completely <laughs> missed that. Was it on the right side? On the right side, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I completely missed that. I thought it was behind for a second, but oh, good. And you're going to be walling the right-hand side as well. I could do better walls if you just use the two of them, but fine. He'll be fully walled there. Viper as well, probably doing the same thing. Archers. Well, first yeah. unit is archer for Viper. That will not be able to stop this. Yeah. What is he Abusing having? quick wall. What is he having his skirms? Like, he should just make some skirms. I don't think he even wants archers in this matchup. Yeah, it's not like you will upgrade them to the crossbow. You just want to defend, boom, and then go for the water. Yeah, exactly. Play play more water. Yeah, This map is so good, though. I really like this map. Oh, Viper's attacking with some men arms and some archers on top. Or one archer, one skirm. Let's see if we can do something with that. Yo does have the fletching archers to defend, though. He should be completely fine. But Viper is about to click up. Investing extra wood to the farm, paying off. Yeah. Abusing yeah. the farms. Abusing the farms. <laughs> and it's all because he went for the meta arms as well. He went meta arms, bought himself so much time, didn't need to make the range, and he Ooh, gets a meta arms sniping starts. archers. Ooh, that's really that's big. a big fight. That's huge. Now he needs to address that, needs more archers. And well, Viper just don't anything now, but could have been big. <laughs> 
I mean, it's not too bad. He still kills an, an extra archer, which is really important. Thinning down the, those uh, that, that mass, that critical number. And now, like Viper just needs to deal with these archers behind his base. He can't find them though. Uh, they're gonna get so much value for free. Yeah, Yo's gonna be... went the wrong way. Yeah, Yo's gonna be killing the archer and maybe looking for the bills now. But abusing quick walls. Yeah, no problem. You should be fine. <laughs> Wait, delete even delete walls? like and send the low HP military. <laughs> Abusing again? Uh, uh, it's a save. What the hell is that? That's so weird. Oh, by the way. Should be fine. He gets a lumber camp. Pretty bad lumber camp there, though. And Yo is doing well in the water, at least on the left hand side. But how much of, like, on Golden Swamp, watch is important, obviously. But here there is gold in the middle. But it's not like a wing EM gold amount. Yeah, I it's agree. It's nice to kill, but it won't like instantly win you the game. And I think it's in a place where it's not impactful. It's not the center of the map. There's still the center could easily be the right side, you know, in theory. <laughs> it's all about the center. Yeah, <laughs> you need the center. <laughs> <laughs> One guy's got all the gold, the other guy has the center. Who's in the better position? <laughs> like in the area as well, like yeah, feels like the land units can pass easier. Yeah. The mm -hmm. middle bridge blocking both lakes, so you cannot control both water spots. Or if you do well, you won the game before that. Or, or you're sacrificing the land on the outside, so there's always something to consider. Yeah, it feels like a superior map to the Golden Swamp. Well, they made Golden Swamp based on this, by the way. I think T90 didn't want Cup to be in the map pool, so they made Golden Swamp. Or something like that. I don't know the full story. But I know Golden Swamp was based on this. And it's not as good. A fun fact. Yeah, fun fact, exactly. Stable coming up for Yo, but Yo's a minute behind, and Viper's gonna take that minute to add a Town Center. You might get the uh, water upgrade as well, soon. And demo with connection. And thank you, yeah. thank you. Oh, that was nice. That <laughs> was nice. You. Just thank you. <laughs> you see if you tank. <laughs> you can tank, man. <laughs> You're being fully walled, right? So those archers will not find anything good. Well, he's open on the top, actually. Uh, it's uncharacteristic of Yo, actually, to be open. He got one of five elevating there. Yeah, yeah, he's just he come into me and I'm fine. Yeah, now Viper's gonna go for the water upgrade, which is very important, of course. It makes your demos a lot stronger. No, demos with that upgrade are sick, really OP. Somebody would even say abuse it. Yeah, I would definitely abuse the demos. I know Tado has already been doing that. Ooh, connection with the demo, kills the build. He loses one build there. And the best part of the cap trade, let's check economy. Yeah, take a look. Oof, I think... I'm surprised, man. I, guess, guess before seeing. Yo. By 1k, man. Oh, what? That's the Kelt bonus or what? It's Kelt and rated. <laughs> wow. That's a, lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. And he's using it now to go for a siege push. I guess he's up a lot of resources, but he's kind of on a timer because Kelt always lose late game on this map. Pretty much like his <laughs> radiance as well. Like, no, Javidin's have water. <laughs> I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, Javidin's water is really good. Celts have, you know what's the funny thing about Celts? They're an infantry sim, but they have really average infantry. That's the problem with them. No. What do you They're mean? They're siege sim and the wood raiders are insane. Mm, I don't think the wood raiders are insane. I don't think so at all. They're naked eagles, man. They're really good. I don't know. They're so fast, man. They, they kill. They kill. You will see. The, the world radius <laughs> for the church. Now I'm cheering for you. I mean, they they got buffed, yes, but it's, I don't think they're. I think they're a good unit. I just don't think they're insane. Well, what unit is insane for your standards? Mangalay. <laughs> <laughs> Monk counters everything in one v one. That is true. Monk is the best unit. Monks, Mangalay, and Hub. Three best units in the game. And then Kimber House is number four. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's maybe my number one. Yeah, the siege push is happening, so he's got a little bit of siege here with the Celts. And. Oh, and then a pause. Okay. A pause. But really shocked to see the economy difference. Like, what's happening there? And one came, it's still 1k more. How is that possible? Is that counting the 200 wood we get with Dravidians? Probably not. 
Okay, so it's like in reality, it's <laughs> in reality, it's like 500 res up for Celts, but still, still. And fun. and house per dog. Don't forget. Oh, that. Viper's count, got no bid axe. No, but Viper's got no bid axe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, not but that impressive. No, Celts are bad guys. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had to nerf them there for a second. <laughs> they were almost gone <laughs> from the 39 tier to like 41. <laughs> For a second, we, we might have had to take Siege Honor away from them. <laughs> Alright, the Siege Priest is set here. Let's see how Viper can defend. It's really hard to deal with the Kel Siege. Also, Mr. Yo, amazing play with the Outpost, so he don't get surprised. That's really smart. And the farm is always... Like, would you delete farms? It's so annoying to lose Honor like that. Yeah, I delete them for sure. Yeah. Uh, for the new players, explain the farm check. I have a video on it on my YouTube channel if they want to, if they want to learn. Okay, okay. You didn't Selling that, out right? and explaining. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a good, it's good. I think the video is called Top 5 Top Five Farm Tricks. And you can learn about it. I would definitely there are more? <laughs> there are more than one? <laughs> yeah, it's more than one. That's it, that is. You can go watch, man. How are you to watch? <laughs> <laughs> Viper gets a nice defense there, one for zero. I think you know all of them though. I think you know. I'd be surprised if you don't know them. Like you're actually terrible if you don't know them. At your uh, level. I have no clue. It, it... Like what else? <laughs> you can take enemy farm into villager. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been one of them. I, I forget. I'll watch the video and I'll tell you. Yeah, one for one so far in terms of Magnal trades. Behind this, Yo cleans up Viper's small aggression. And in terms of water. It seems to be like kind of even, but I would say Viper wins the left side, Yo wins the right side. Yeah, winning with two fire galleys, it's not really a safety, but yeah, no fish ship. But man, Kels do it, is it? Yeah, it's so fast, man. So fast. The Mangonels is just so strong. And this is the best part of Kelts. Like, if Kelts have a forward siege, it's a really good sieve. If they can't get this position, they're a really average sieve. And that outpost is so good, man. I swear it's amazing. And he tried the farm trick there, it didn't quite work. Like, Kjell struggling against him with Redemption, then their whole push is down. Juan can confirm that. Yeah, yeah. But like this, Onagers can always trade efficiently if you're careful. They shoot faster, they produce faster. You need to have mediocre micro like me and you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the best Magnol player in the game? Uh, maybe El Nico do really well there. But the best one, it's hard to say. Like, you're like UI probably is doing well as well, but like MBL and Nico are using it the most. Okay, fair. Oh, that Magnus is on 2 HP. The Arch is going in? No, not quite. <laughs> he had a dream, but he's dead. The thing is, and like, nobody's making TC on the gold spot. Like, Viper last game ATC is in the middle of nowhere now when the gold is free, and he's like, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> I, I think. They wanted to, but both of them kind of lost that water, so it didn't quite work. It's a crazy Magadol fight, by the way. I think Yo is actually taking advantage. Kills one for free, looking for the second one. It's a lot easier for Yo. He's the guy attacking, and he's the guy with Celts. Yeah, and oh my god. One. Yeah, Viper's so screwed. Viper's so screwed. Wow. Oh, Pat, this is a that's a doubt castle. That's exactly a doubt <laughs> castle. No, this one will go up, but might cost you religious. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna cost a lot of those. The okay, Knights are coming in GG. Okay, it's not going up. We will never know. We will never know. <laughs> 4-3, and can I get some energy in the chat from Mr. Yo, guys? He was down 4-0. We were talking about winning 10-0, 11-0 for Viper, and all of a sudden, Yo is back 4-3. Well played. But yeah, it will be the same in the end. It was nerfed not because of pro play. It was nerfed because of like the, the guys abusing on the ladder. Like People were just getting terrorized by Inkos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's annoying, it. but it's their thing, man. It's like now Romans take the way many times from them. Yeah, I, I can like, see Ethiopians that. Remove archers, they're shooting too fast. Yeah. And then in the end, we are all coming to one too. Yeah, fair enough. Well, a lot of people in the chat like we did you. I saw a lot of ones there. But anyways, we got Serengeti here. <laughs> and Incas used to be the play on Serengeti, actually. It was used to be like second best sieve versus Mongols, then Incas to Tower Rush. Nowadays, we're seeing Tatars and Huns. And now that another thing we can talk about here. I think that the chat and the viewers, especially on YouTube, would like to listen to this. I think that Huns are the worst sieve in the game in a lot of ways. What do you think of the Huns? Mm, they are solid, why they will be the worst. Maybe on this mod, because you start with Outward, but you get houses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because of that. Yeah, on this mod, especially they're weaker, but in general, I think they're a very weak sieve at the moment. It's, it's, not to, it's not to say that they can't work. Yes, they can always work, but I feel like they're very linear. Their bonus to not have houses is 
kind of a bad thing in a lot of ways. You can't protect your your map. Like houses are an OP building to wall. And in general, they don't have a very wide tech tree. There's only li very limited things to what they can play. Eh? <laughs> they can do everything, man. Stable, archer, man attack, like they, they have everything. What? We see the we see the world completely different. They have the full stable, they have full cavalry archer. No, they what don't. more do you want? Nah, they're missing part. They're missing the last armor. Their skirms are weak. They don't have very good siege. They're missing onager. They're missing monk techs. They have the best siege. They can siege run. That's it. <laughs> they, have, <laughs> they don't have bomber cannon, but they they are not made to be played like that. Okay. They're made to raid. The most OP units in the game: monks number one, halbs number two, arbalas number three, and maybe hussar number four. And huns have no arbalas, no halbs, and no monks. No good ones. Mm. That's the way I see it. Well, okay, on arena they're bad. Yeah, you're right. Well, I think. But like on four legs, on those hybrid maps where you have safe fish, they feel so smooth. And then yeah. you mass cavalry archers for nothing. Like they think the adjective just got ahead, but maybe, hunts maybe. are still okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, hunts have helped, it's not good ones. I'm saying. <laughs> still yeah, got the enough. bonus damage. That's all you need, eh? Yeah, well, I don't know. Attack doesn't matter a lot. Maybe it's my bias because I think like I used to really enjoy hunts. Like, I used to love them, and now it just feels like it sucks to see them fall off so hard. It's not, I mean, again, it's not that they're terrible and they're unplayable. It's just that they're objectively like not the strongest. They're, like they're pretty weak. But I just think the other teams got better, right? Fair, you prioritize picking I don't know Franks over hands because of the better opening. Yeah, yeah. Even Spanish because they got a tricky thing with Kongs. Like a lot of sieves got uh, balance better. Yeah. And Hans stayed the same. Yeah. Hans, Persians, Celts. Those three sieves definitely stayed the same for, for far too long, I'd say. Uh, yeah, anyways, you yeah, know. Maybe if Hans get the Lancer. Imagine that. I, I That's exactly what I've been saying. I said Hans get the Lancer and they get the same discount on CA as Lancer. It makes sense. Because, uh, now, you're, now you're liking it. <laughs> because it makes sense. We grouped the the bonus of the, um, the Tatars. Step Lancer and Light Cav, uh, sorry, Step Lancer and CA, they're, they're grouped in other uh, sips. I don't remember which one on the top of my head. And also the Light Cav and the Step Lancer is also grouped a lot with Mongo bonus, with uh, I think Tatar or, or Cumin bonus. So it makes sense. Like Cavalry is often grouped with the Step Lancer. So it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it, it's also no other two got a discount on the on the Lancers. Yeah, exactly. It would be unique. It, yeah. Faster stables. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Devs, make it happen. I'm telling you, man. I got some ideas, bro. I got some ideas. But anyways, uh, yeah, this that, game, we got Hans yeah. walling up. <laughs> Let's focus on it. We skipped the Dark Age, but now we got to talk about the Feudal Age. Um, Imagine if it was too religious to be able to talk about Lancers for I at know, least five more minutes. Yeah, maybe we like it a little bit more, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's going to be Hans scout opening, just walling up. It's Mr. Yo, so we can expect some full walls relatively soon. And Viper doing some, C uh, some uh, scouts as well. Could play towards CA. Both players could play towards CA. Hans and Tathars are very similar. Um, I do feel like the Tatars have slightly more power, but the Huns can be a bit more consistently smooth. Uh, no, House is still a nice bonus, cheaper CA is nice, scaling is obviously good, but late game it definitely goes for Tatars. They have the same army, but Tatars just do it much better. Yeah, th this matchup exactly proves our point. Like, Huns are still good, but like there is a new team like Tatars, mm -hmm. they do everything like Huns, just better. Better unique unit, exactly, <laughs> thundering for yeah. free, but like even unique tech for the Kevlar, just not a discount, but better Kevlar Archer, like... And on top and of the economy, yeah. the ships, like everything is good for them. Better skirms, they've got um, freaking cash tricks, like they have different options, man. Yeah, yeah similar to you, but even Lancers. <laughs> similar to you, but just better. They got the Lancers, yeah. bro. And TC giving the shape also speed of the boom. Yeah, yeah, way, way, way easier to play to transition. Absolutely. Now we see oh, Yo. Will this be a snipe? It's too hard. Doesn't want to commit yet. It's still three versus three scouts, so it has to play a little safe. And now, yeah, Yo's just going to be securing the walls up initially. <laughs> Imagine that. Like, even using the relic as part of the wall. <laughs> Anything to be efficient. Yo has style. <laughs> like three wood in the bank. Like. It's funny. I, I used to think that Serengeti was not a full wall map. Like, I used to think this map was like very aggressive but the more i see it the more i'm convinced it is a full wall map you know well every map is full wall map these days that's but fair. the problem is sir getty you will over chop at the worst point of the game yeah, and yeah, then your walls are gone 
Yeah, exactly. I don't trust my walls on this map. I prefer to go like market and aggressive. Like, <laughs> keep the fight at your place so I don't need to wall at home. My market style. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I love how you said that. It's so good. Uh, don't you dare touching it. I'm not, bro. It's inefficient. <laughs> I'm afraid to lose if a mark, mate. I'm like you. <laughs> if market was that good. <laughs> If Market was that good, Saratus would be the best team in the game. I agreed, yeah. Saratus fell off a lot. Case closed. Time. Yeah, yeah. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good way to put it. <laughs> Saracens fell off a lot, I feel. I, th I think they got figured out before they were really tricky, but now I feel like they got, kind of got figured out a little bit too much. Yeah, because Market is counterable, right? And Saratus only get that, and you're ready to counter that. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to find some damage. Yeah. I don't like what Viper's doing though. He went four spears. I think that's way too much. I mean, I, I get we're trying to stay safe, but I I much prefer Yo's approach. Who just went for a lot of walls, which you need anyways, <laughs> and no spears. He made zero mm -hmm. spears. So Yo actually has the big advantage. More food, more wood. He's doing very well here. But those walls are not cheap, right? Those walls are worth as a spearman more or less. Yeah, but the spear, the the, the walls scale better than the spear for sure. Do they? Yep. Walls cannot move. Yeah, but they, they're still really good. I think there is a point this where there is a crack terrain palace as well. They can be very dangerous as the game goes on. The crack terrain? Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. Especially if Lancers comes to play. Uh, Asriel, thanks for 500 bits. This is a vote for doubt. It's permanent co-caster. Man, give him a chance. He's still in his prime. Give him a chance. Then then you're sending the, the, the bits to the wrong guy, man. They're just saying. They're paying me to make you retire. <laughs> I, I like this situation. <laughs> It's a wrong wrong, man. Double wrong doesn't make it right. Hera, take this money and tell Dot you should retire and gas. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, my friend. I will I will relay the message. <laughs> Thank you, man. Ooh. Uh, uh, Yo is making a spear now. He's, it was really worth it until he made that one spear. Now he delete the ball. <laughs> oh, another another stable. stable. Wow, interesting. Mo literally most players, 90% of players go cab archers here. This is very strange. And he makes the second stable well, on the front. He shows it to Viper. <laughs> like, <laughs> get the counter, get the monastery right away. No if secrets. You're to the late. No secrets from Mr. Yo. Like, he gives you the phone password as well. No problem. Uh, I, I really don't like that. Like, yeah, yeah, the, the, if the Tars didn't have camels, then okay. But now it's like, okay, I will go double civil camels. Good luck. Now Viper can do camels? DA and Monks. He's got three options. He'll pick which one he wants to do to counter the Knights. Yeah, I think hiding it is much better. You keep your opponent guessing always. It's not bad to do double stable, just hide it. But that's okay. Viper still hasn't scouted it. And uh, both players are going to be going up to Castle Age. Yo, slightly faster because he skipped out on the Spearman, of course. And Jabberwock, thanks to the gifted sub, buddy. And the best part of the game, who collected more resources? Let's take a look. Okay, let me guess, let me guess. <laughs> Mm, Viper. Only 100 more, yeah. nothing big. You know why? Because uh, Yo is walling, so makes sense. But also, Yo saved from the houses, so his economy true. is more efficient in the end. True, 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 true. Yeah. No, Hans are not that bad, eh? No, that's too bad. <laughs> the question in the chat, how to fix world events. See, when we talk about stuff, people want to know. They have questions, I'm telling you. We should do a podcast. We need to give them the answer. Yeah, we, they deserve have, the answer. People have questions, and we're here to answer the questions. We're here to talk things through. Make it happen. Actually, well, I like that idea. <laughs> and also, on top of all those things that the tires are better than cans, they have a heal bonus as well. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we... like give it a rest. Like, <laughs> it's just better in every single ass. <laughs> yeah, it's even that. And that's maybe the best bonus in the game. Like, it's there forever. Yeah, yeah. If, if that bonus is kicking in, it's overpowered. Like, it's so strong. Mm -hmm. It's just that, obviously, there's counterplay. You can just fight off the hill, of course. But, yeah, but the cleanup. Decent fight for Yo. It gets like, yeah, but actually, very good fight for Yo. And that's what I'm saying. Like, Hunter are one of the strongest civs in this kind of situation. <laughs> well, they, keep, they, they don't keep houses, right? <laughs> oh, typical Viper goes through the three TCs here right away. And same for Yo. Both players just want to boom it up, which is fair enough. Fair enough. And imagine if one player went market and he's now knocking the doors. We need more market players than Tangela. 3TC against 3TC every single game today. 
my market style. Well, Dal, <laughs> the, the winner of S tiers gets invited. Where where are you, man? Where are you at? I can market. Like <laughs> you have a market. You don't need an S tier. And you made cut like from five years ago when I won Red Bull. Like, yeah, you it Red still Bull. counts to me. It still matters to me. You went Red Bull negative two. <laughs> yeah, I camels are a really good in this situation, by the way. You're able to chase down the knights. Camels are better in lower numbers than in big numbers versus knights, by the way. <laughs> what is the logic in that? Well, in uh, low numbers, you're one, even... one, 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 one on one night win, actually. No, it's actually even, and usually Camel wins because it gets first hit because it moves faster. Okay, explain me the logic again. Yeah, in, in, low, in low numbers, the the Camel can chase away the Knights, and also the Pike Switch is not as deadly. So in low numbers, Camels are really good versus Knights. But in, in high numbers, yes, the Camels win, but then you have to really start worrying about the transitions and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, reasonable. Also, another thing, and it's hard to talk, you know, saying in the chat right now, the players spawn really close to the edge and really far from each other, and maybe that's also a, kind of a problem. Using the edge to wall is really, really strong. It's not the map, it's the players, they just like to play 3 tc like. If it's a quarter, it will be 3 tc like. <laughs> I don't know about that. I've, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff on Sicatra. <laughs> not sure about that. Is Sicatra in the pool today? It Not between these guys, I don't think. Actually, I'm not Damn. sure. I'm not sure. I hope it is. We'll see if there's 3TC boom or not. <laughs> I'm telling you, Viper will play 3TC. Viper plays 3TC well, ships everywhere. Are still there, man. Like those Tatar ships are lasting a while. Yeah, they're really good. They help you actually set up the eco upgrades. You can get like both uh, both eco upgrades before going for farms, which is really cool. Economy better for you. I don't know about counts are making it work. <laughs> well, no, not really houses. It's a really good bonus. Like, you save a lot of build time. You save a lot of wood, of course. He's got a couple extra builds as well, which is nice. Uh, oh, actually, no. Missing wheelbarrow. So maybe... Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely could pick that up. What I like about Yo's situation now is that he's just going to be play like playing for the relics. Had one in his wall. Has to rewall that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Half <laughs> 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 Takes the relic and then walls it back. <laughs> so Perfect. Funny. Yeah, and I think Viper's just scaling better with the camels here. Um, both players are doing okay, though. It's going to really come down to the mid-game decisions. And Yo already making the first big decision, going Pike min transition. I kind of like that, but I feel it might be a little early. We'll see. Maybe he wants to do some kind of castle H push. Mm, yeah, Pike min knight against camels. It's good if you have a follow-up to push, right? If you yeah, don't yeah. have anything like a forward castle, siege, well, you're just attacking the buildings and not a good place. Yeah, I think if Yo goes forward siege workshop, I would like it right now. But if you're just getting pikemen for no, for no reason, I, that's, that doesn't really make much sense because then Viper can transition to CA for free and it's completely fine. And it's like you're countering the counter unit. Camel is a counter unit to buy your time against knights. That's not your long-term plan. And as we say that, the range is going up. Yeah, Viper wants to switch to the power unit, the heavy CA. Of course, that's the long-term plan. If you like Captain Viper controlling the map a little bit on the bottom. <laughs> but it is Yo. There was... Wait, wait. I almost forgot this. There was a player that counter Pikeman without heavy archers as a hands, but with a long sword. That was a legendary moment. That was... I will never forget that. That was... Uh, the, no one's making me forget it, trust me. <laughs> that that was my that worst was loss ever, by the way. I was so depressed after that. I got reverse sweep and I made a, such a bad play. That was so amazing. I, I'll tell you a little bit more about that game as well <laughs> uh, on DMs after. I don't want to... I'm embarrassed to say it in public, but... Uh, there's a, something else no one knows about it. If When I tell you, you'll be like, oh my god, like, that's, that's crazy. Okay, okay. YouTube will not know about that. So yeah, let's keep YouTube. You're safe out of that. <laughs> that YouTube is not going to know about this, but it's really embarrassing. No one knows about it. I'll let you know about it. Yeah, good, good keep the track. We need to remind him after the game. Good snap there for that Yo. Pikeman works? Yeah. <laughs> Pikeman works. I mean, he's catching Viper off guard. Viper's not making the CA transition, but it's very slow. And, oh, it looks like both players just sniped the monks to the light cap and then continue moving. Really good play from both players there. Even Yo couldn't get the conversion there. Someone said, make that info Patreon exclusive. Maybe I will, maybe. <laughs> One day. <laughs> the world is not ready for it. Okay, 4 TC from Viper now. Looking really good. 
When you see the TC, you get so excited. Like, what's so good about 4 TC? Like, nothing is happening. Like, add another TC. Yeah, no, it's actually really interesting. It's not that uh, straightforward. So the 4 TC gets you more economy in the long run, but it gets you a slower Imperial Age time. So by adding the 4 TC, it's telling me that Viper wants to play Heavy Castle Age. So that's why I get excited. Like, for me personally, when I add 4 TC, it's more for the map present. And Viper, well, just went for the economy TC in the middle, in the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah. I agree that the map presence with 4 TC is nice, but it also has application for like the all-in castle play. Mm, Joy is kind of winning those fights heavily. The Pikeman? Maybe Pikeman is a good unit. The upgrade is cheaper now. And like his food is still good. He will be able to click up if he gets a bit more of a gold. The relic count is equal to one, one. I guess they were sniping each other relics, so it's hard to pick them up. Now we see the scrap with the conversion. Up. Not against Mr. Yo. <laughs> Not against Yo, that's for sure. <laughs> Handcart coming in for Yo now as well. His economy is feeling very smooth at home, untouched, of course. Now he's trying to get outpost on the sides. That's the beauty of Hans. Like, you feel like your game is cleanest when you play Hans. Yeah, true, true, true. Let's see the stats. Let's see the stats. Well, a better economy for you. <laughs> I love. I actually <laughs> love that. <laughs> I love how much you love this for you. Yeah, it, it's really good, right? I feel like those it, things you don't know during the play, yeah. but here it kind of like explains oh. the game to us. We we see what's good in real time, what's what's working and what's not. Fifteen more bills for Viper. So although Yo's collecting more resources up until this point. Viper is heading into the Tatar late game, which we already agreed is stronger than Hunt's. But Viper has to first make the riskiest move he can, a castle on the left-hand side. Wow. Ooh. That's actually really good if it works and really bad if it doesn't. But I, I like the, well, uh, the try. He absolutely has to do that. Like, look at, look at his uh, map. Everything is, like, chopped out. Yeah. He got so many villagers stacked in small place, like stone, gold, all over, oversaturated. Super tight, yeah. And doesn't even have the woodland anymore. Cavarcher is doing okay against the Pikes, but has to run away. He doesn't want to fight them in melee, and he's about to take Imperial Age. Yo could get Imperial Age as well, but needs the Doubt's best friend, the Market, to help balance some of that wood. Imperial Age first for Viper, and he's just defending some of the raids, but Yo's got a lot of map control here. Khan's the worst team in the game. Oh, I stand by it. Well, not the worst team, but like <laughs> one of the worst. It's like, I'd say like bottom five, bottom, bottom seven. And Tataras is like top five. No, no, no. Mid, mid for this map. Hmm... Maybe, maybe top 5, maybe. So one of the rest between the top 5 team, is you that much better or maybe you're wrong about Hunt? Maybe I'm wrong about Hunt. Would it be the first <laughs> time I'm wrong, to be honest? But he, he is using them to a very, very nice degree here. And I, in hindsight, I kind of like that he didn't go for the CA. Because he, he got he was able to do like, I don't know, more of a push. I feel like if you go CA, you're just scaling too much with them. And now Yo is up to Imperial Age as well, but I feel like it's flipping a little bit. Like I feel like Viper's in a better position at the moment. Well, he got uh, a long-term plan. Cavalry Archer, while Yo just need to switch to that. And I don't think he will even switch to that. Like, full Paladin maybe even. Tarkin maybe. Oh, Tarkin would be insane. Ooh, Tarkin would be sick, yeah. Viper is completely open now for the raids, and that unit is uh, quite tanky. It has four Pierce Armor base, which is insane. And they can be produced from the stable now. So Hans did get something. Oh yeah, they got it three years ago. That's all. Nothing since. Yeah, the CA are really good if they're able to be micro. But right now Viper just doesn't have the time. He's getting chased around constantly. He's getting raided at home. He doesn't have the micro, the, the, the time to sit there and micro the CA, right? Is he switching to the cash league or they're just like to survive? I think a few to snipe the scorpions. I don't. I would be surprised if he switches long term. I think he needs CA. But yo, actually, yo is in a much better position. Look at the resources here. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's Arkham. Let's see, yo, don't disappoint. Make the upgrade, go lead. Castle is doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Conscription at least. Like. Well, he's not MP, yeah. he's 45 seconds to ebb. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, the, the Tarkin one is cast rage. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's the going for it. Upgrade. Marauder's coming in. And it's going to be a Tarkin play for Yo here. I think that's actually perfect. That was a really good idea. Yeah. 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 It's I easier wonder... for us when you're watching, but he realized that during the game. Yeah. That's... 
Uh, checkmate. Tech here. Castle at home just to stay safe for yo. Definitely worth it. Prevent any counter raids. I wonder how Kashyyyk's can do against Tarkins. I know the CA will be very bad against Tarkins here. Kashyyyk should be good then. If Viper recognized that and switched to the Kashyyyk, I'd be impressed, but... Nice. Don't see it happening right away. He's still on CA. He has no idea that Tarkins are coming. He sees the castle, he sees the stable, but the logical thing is just expecting Cavalier. But Tarkins are way better than Cavalier because of the extra armor, of course. And the upgrade comes in much faster. Look at that. 20 seconds and they're already And Yo Tarkins. doesn't like to hide things. He shows the Tarkins. <laughs> he's going for the chase. <laughs> right out from the three stables they go out. <laughs> it's insane, if I man. forget the halves, do whatever. You know now. If I freaking do whatever he wants now, he sees all the information. Uh, this is, I was, I think I was making fun of, uh, of Hart actually. Me and Lee were making fun of him. He has no secrets. Like, if he wants to make a transition, he makes it on the front of his base. Always. So the first unit. Come well, on, it's a good transition, so. <laughs> he wants to show the and opponent, Viper? like, I'm thinking about it, you know? Viper is not reacting here, just making Kevin out, just so he didn't matter call up. Oh, no, no, he's massing Kashik in front. Yeah. Yeah. He has to start working overtime. But no elite Kashik, no heavy CA. I feel like he might be caught in a mix of two worlds. Mm, yeah, if he gets a yeah. scalp amount of the Kashik, mm, Yo is on the timer then. The Tarkins are very And look strong. at the upgrade. Guild. Guild. Yo, yeah. uh, he, is, he improved his best friend, man. I rarely do that. <laughs> uh, Guild is bad though. Don't like it. Mm. Pays off in like 30 minutes. It's terrible. Mm, Tarkins. Said the same thing about the cans, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm not a reliable source here. The target players are fighting. They're 170 HP, 15 attack total, and it's going to have 8 pierce armor with 4 melee armor. Very comparable to the Keshek, to be honest. The elite Keshek is very similar in terms of stats. Mm, but the but they get gold worth fighting. Yeah, and they also attack faster and move slightly faster. So the Keshek is overall the better unit, but we'll see. The elite Keshek is in now. I think that's a good choice from Viper. We need to point out one thing. What's up? Look at the left, well, not even where to explain. Find the relic in the Viper base. Yo, send Viridu and Stonewall to him. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, why that happened, but I know it happened. And the best part is the monk can still take the relic from the corner. It does nothing. Really? Yeah, it does nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, man. Speaking yo, but the Tarkins are melting absolutely everything here. I mean, look at that unit. It's so insanely strong. The Cavalchers are just trying to run desperately for their lives. Tarkins are all over them. Cast on the left-hand side for yo. He's looking to put the pressure here. Well, there is one thing for the Tarkins, right? They are produced from the stable that work faster and cashing from the castle. That's that's a big deal. That's a big deal, yeah, yeah. And look, the best part about the Tarkin, one upgrade, elite, and that's it. You're good. You don't have to wait Cavalier, then Paladin. Wow, GG, and we have a 4-4 four, yeah. four incredible play from Yo. Really, really well done, guys. He made the comeback happen. We still got two more games today. That was so good, right? Recognizing in the perfect spot to go Tarkans. If you went Kevin Archer against Tatras Kevin Archer, he would struggle the whole game. Yeah. Here, check me. All right. The story is worth it. Like It's like quarterfinals, me versus Lidery. I'm up 2-0. The story, it's it's... It really shows how my mentality was back in the day, and it's very embarrassing. I'm, I'm happy I was able to learn from that, though. But anyways, let's hop into Bay here. Uh, Lithuanians for Yo, Vipers got Malay. And the cool thing about this map is the fact that they can fight for the water, but they can also fight for the land. And there's a lot of uh, gold and stone on the bottom as well. And okay, hobbies, thanks to the five gift subs. Really appreciate it. Okay, that's enough for the story. Uh, I'll definitely be telling it. Now, I have to wonder if I should tell it right now, or if I should tell it after the next game. Should I tell it after this game, or what? Hmm. Hobbies is the man. Is it hobbies or hobs? I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell it after the game, and I'll wait for doubts. Because it's better if I show you guys the game. So I'll do it after this game, and uh, I'll do it properly. I'll do it properly. So we'll tell it after. Tell it now. Hi, thanks for the time for nine months. I appreciate that, but I have to tell it after. Because I need to show you guys the game. It's really important. Uh, okay, so Malay <clears throat> for Viper, one of the strongest ships on this map, but Lithuanian is, of course, very solid. Both players will likely fight for the water in the early game and then fight for the other parts of the maps <clears throat> of the map after. And of course, the map is called Pants, as a lot of people like to call it. Some deer on the sides as well. 
And now we have Viper going for the dock, walling in the veil, playing it safe. Same for Yo, but Yo is not playing it safe, he's throwing a deer. Is it asked for 10 subs to show the map? No, 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 I'm not that greedy, guys. Just 10 subs. I mean, listen, I, I wasn't gonna sh I wasn't gonna tell the story anyways. I was gonna tell the story just to doubt. People put pressure on me, and I said, okay, I named my price. It is what it is. <clears throat> Yo can wall this. Okay. Okay, it could have been some quick wall shenanigans, but you know, Yo is not the type of guy. And Yo just gonna push Viper away. It went from 4 0 to 4 4. This is such an interesting, like, set between Yo and Viper. It's crazy. How did Yo not just tilt after 4 0 and just lose the next 4 as well? <laughs> it's scripted. Yeah, of course it's scripted. It's uh, to be expected, of course. I saw it was 4 0. I messaged Viper. And I just, I sent him a picture of his address. I sent him a picture of his front door. And the people that watch enough Mafia movies know exactly what that means. So I just sent Viper a picture of his front door, and he knew exactly what he had to do. Lose the next four games. And it was perfect. So it's scripted. Viper didn't even need the reminder. He's in on it. That's true. Viper's in on it. Viper is the scripted guy. He went 11-10, two series. That was crazy. All right. It's going to be fast and feudal for, for Lithuanians. At least a click. But when Malay clicks castle or clicks feudal, they, of course, up a little faster. And let's see. Let's see. And yeah, uh, Malay are going to be actually up 25 seconds faster, which is... Usually enough to win the water. So let's see if there's going to be a, any two dock action or just one dock. It's really um, a big difference what you just have to go for. And judging from Viper going three fish, I think he'll go for the second dock now. Viper's going on to gold a little bit here. And, ooh, Viper's going to go for another dock, but a little bit sneaky on the left, but... And Yo's going a bit more, like, direct about it. Goes for the second dock on the start. And they all share the prize pool at the end? Yeah, we're all going to share the prize pool equally. We just have to put it on a show for the viewers. Guys, there's so many hilarious tweets. On my Twitter, everyone is sharing like pictures of how because I'm the host and the champion. Uh, it's just so funny. It's some great memes that were posted on Twitter. Highly recommend you guys check that out. Oh, there's a hole here. Probably needs to needs to wall that up here, maybe. How the hell did Dio tie this? Came back from the absolute hell. Now we see the water action here to start things off. Viper's putting the pressure with the fire galleys and now a demo. Yo has the two docks, so could shape up here. I'm just gonna quickly take a look at the resources collected here. Yeah, a little bit more for Viper, which makes sense. What? You want the third dock? Oh, but we get demoed. The third dock has to be a mistake, right? How can we have four? Three docks? Wow. Okay. He really wants to rush for the lake. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I've never seen three docks on this map. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Going heavy on the water. And now the player making a way for the deer. Oh, oh. Okay, connection. And gonna have to repair that fire. I don't know. I think the three dock is a little too much. He should eventually win the water, but at what cost? He also has 38 second out of TC time. He's done quite a few builds. He'll lose that fishing ship maybe as well. I think Viper, but just having two clean docks is more uh, valuable than Yo's three docks here. But taking some losses early.
This clip of people greeting you in RNT is really, really great, Terra. You will become a legend. Thank you, man. I'm glad you liked it. I guess you checked out the Twitter, eh? Okay, and wait. Yo, Scout could have sniped that bill. In fact, he's gonna go back for it. Viper immediately cues the spear, has one back home as well. <clears throat> he Nani hinted that he's coming back to Twitch soon. What did he say about that? Because I'm wondering if T90 might come back to Twitch or might go to YouTube or might go to Kick. I'm actually wondering about that. I, I hope it comes back to Twitch. I think that would be best for best for the game, to be honest. I would like to see T90 back on Twitch. Obviously, it's not my call. Oh my god, that's the biggest demo you can imagine. On four, that was so good. Yo, should still have enough to win the water, but man, that was a sick, sick demo. And another demo's coming in, and yo is just eating these alive. Oh my god. How is this possible on three docks? We're actually losing because we're just eating demos to the face. Spread out your units. What am I watching, Mr. Yo? Now going for a range transition. United Community is 9% YouTube nowadays, but. Um. Yeah, Yo's, Yo's economy is terrible. He doesn't have any farms. I mean, neither does Viper, but he's now going to have to take the deer. Viper had the fish for way longer as well. Viper's in a much better position here. Much, much better position. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree that T90's audience is mainly on YouTube, but you can translate from YouTube to Twitch very easily. And I think I'd like him to see him on Twitch because if T90 goes to YouTube, then I feel like the Twitch scene kind of just dies down. Like we need everyone in one area, ideally. Like Viper, myself, T90, Mem, Dave, those are all important streamers. And being in the same spot just helps create synergy, I feel. But at the end of the day, like like I said, it's not my choice anyway. Everyone can do whatever they want, so it's fine. But I do think it's best for all of us, all of us to go to the same area. Uh, Snoozy, thanks to the Prime Sub, really appreciate it. If T9 comes back to Twitch, you have more than 2k viewers, day one guaranteed. He'll have more than 5k viewers, like, I'm sure of it. He'll announce it, he'll make it a big a big event. He will have more than 5k viewers on day one, 100%. Mr. Yo <clears throat> finally wins the water, gonna kill the fish, but at what cost? Viper doesn't care about the water anymore, he's already going on the farms. And uh, yeah, Viper's almost up to the castle age here, and no, Yo is just nowhere even near the castle age. And this is why I don't like the three uh, the three dock rush here. I really don't like that. I did not. Okay, run. sorry, I'm back. Hello, Mr. Doubt. Yo, what do you think about T90 coming back to Twitch? Do you think it's better for him to come back to Twitch or YouTube for the community? Why not both? What? Everything? <laughs> I mean, YouTube? He's already on YouTube. No, but the stream, I mean. Well, Twitch, obviously, right? <laughs> because tournaments are hosted on Twitch, everything is about the Twitch. Okay, there we go. We would have, like Hidden Cup was like I think the highest <laughs> tournament ever in history with Empress. Yeah, but Kick and YouTube simultaneous streaming is interesting for some people. I agree that Twitch is the best from the outside perspective. I don't know. What oh, you mean Kick? I understand you differently. I understand you YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, you meant uh, Kick or Twitch. No, no, Kick and YouTube or or Twitch. Like you can stream simultaneously on Kick and YouTube. Yeah. No, I, I have, Twitch is obviously better for okay. for the community, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, and another hidden cup. <laughs> yeah, another hidden cup, please. I'll take one more of those. <laughs> that was one cup away last time. <laughs> one cup away, not for too long. Yeah, in this case, let me catch up on the game. Yo went three dock. <laughs> He's walling, it's so easy. You don't need to catch me up. <laughs> He's walling to the water. I'm already there. Like <laughs> I see everything. But he went three dock to win the water. In the meantime, he obviously eventually won the water, but in the meantime, Viper went for a really fast castle with Malay. His economy is much, much better than, uh, than Yo's here. And even though Yo has the water, I feel like there's not much fish left. So I think Yo's play was just not 100% correct. And Viper definitely made the better approach. But Viper has to mess something up and go back on water for no reason. We just have to lose. Okay, fair enough. We were playing too well. We had to mess up something. Cannot have the perfect game. Yeah. 
Like, I don't understand this going back on water. Let the guy have it, bro. He paid an arm and a leg for it. Let him have it. Let's not throw another coin down the rabbit hole. It's understandable to, like, do a demo to snipe fishing ship or so, but even yeah. then, like, I, I, I don't even see that logic. Like, trading one demo for one fishing ship, well, okay, I take that trade all day if you like. And you just make another fishing ship, you do the math, and you realize you're winning. I agree. <laughs> I think the idea of one demo to snipe two fish, okay, sure, but it's not, the gamble isn't worth it even. Yeah. Yeah, it's no. more like messing up enemy economy because if you're fish booming, you don't have farming and such. But that, even that, how are you losing to Dal to uh, Viper and Tato? Like you have, you're doing the things that they're messing up. You're doing, you know them just by heart. Looking good, man. Who said I'm losing to Viper? Oh, you beat him last time. True. La <laughs> last two tournaments, I beat him. Oh, okay. Damn. He's and go last so much against Tato I won, so yeah. I, I'm not sure what but you're saying. Are you just the best player? Like, you're not even in, the in this tournament, but you're actually just the best? Damn. Well, then whose fault is that, like? Your fault for not winning in S tier. Well, it's Cole's rigging the tournament so he can win, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Don't let me pull out my record versus you in tournaments. It's not looking good for you. I I'm just saying, like, this tournament is not over until we do the final best of 21. Against me? You, you versus me? I'm against winner, whoever wins this. Yeah, second me. place team. Oh, second place. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're just skipping me, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I was thinking whoever won this second place tournament because first place is known. Ah, I see. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm down. If, if a viewer can get the prize pool, best of 21 we versus you, we, we do it. I'll do it all in one day if you want. 11-0 <laughs> can be done one team, right? <laughs> We're thinking the same way. Just give me the market. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like Lithuanian player going up the castle is here, but nothing really much going for him. He's got some skirms to control the map for sure. That's not too bad. Um, Viper's got three TCs behind it, and Viper's got a fixed build lead, so he's looking very solid at the moment. So I feel like yeah, Yo kind Malay of has fast up time. Yeah. yeah, fast time from Malay already give him like six villagers plus faster TCs, and Info Tiabri is being free. We'll give him a nice timing attack in. Early MP, just like, why, yo, why? <laughs> Viper got the ship upgrade. I cannot believe it. Like, uh, can you message this guy? Just talk to him. Like, this, I've seen him do it like three times now on this map. He always fights with the water after it's completely done. It's not worth it. Just wasting uh, You resources. prefer people not making mistakes and you losing tournaments or what? I prefer them playing perfectly and me being one step ahead to win. If not, I lose, then that's fine. I can rest. Uh, I prefer winning tournaments than anybody like playing like fire like if there was best of 21 against fire one million price pool i would take it man <laughs> i would take it right away like, uh, <laughs> we are not on the same page here i i just like I, i'm cheering for good ae like i like to see people playing 100 percent correctly and if there's a mistake it's good to point it out so i i personally learn from it mm, i would still prefer fire <laughs> i agree with your point if we are playing uh, for fun <laughs> But you're you're after the, the free money. <laughs> I have kids to feed, man. Okay, you're playing the mem card now. <laughs> I'm the only one I got left. <laughs> Yo's going forward with the skirms. Keep in mind, these are the Lithuanian skirms. They're not the easiest to deal with. They actually move really fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Means they will die even faster. Right? Uh, quick fall, abusing the quick falls. Oh, is there a hole now? Is there a hole? No. Viper would never leave a hole. And that's the end of the aggression. He is committed, like, it's either TC on front or on her back, like, let's go in. Like. <laughs> At least fine. one of us will survive, like. <laughs> so those two are shaking right now. <laughs> they witnessed the atrocities. Yeah, this is the problem, like, Viper's up 20 bills. Uh, so even though Viper made some mistakes on the water or whatnot, I feel like his approach and his sieve is just much better. I think Lithuanians, they get off to a good start, but not much else after that. Ah, they get 100 food per CC. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can go 4 or 5 TCs now for Lithuanians. That, that's not terrible, actually. I like that approach. Uh, I, I I like Viper's donation house wall next to the water. Like, those galleys are useless, not anymore. Yeah, now you can kill my houses for the rest of your life, basically. <laughs> like, that's like third, fourth. Like, it adds up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much wood per house stuff? 30. Exactly. Let's go, man. 25 plus the villager built up. There we go. 30 wood. And even more for those because they are far away from economy. Yeah. Oh, the walking time. Oh, that, <laughs> oh nice. Like, smart. smart. <laughs> you're adding up things like. <laughs> Holy shit, they're so smart. <laughs> yeah. We gotta add that to the equation. <laughs>
I need to figure out like how much resources is just to build walking around. I might start lumber camping the straggler just to reduce the walking time. <laughs> That's something to figure out on the Takama in such a map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where does it pay off? Oh, yo, it's type of bill from the Viper. Yeah. Minus 55 wood. Uh, 55 wood. The 50 for the bill and 5 for the walking time. <laughs> and the, for the fighting, because those two were fighting, <laughs> they could have been working, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, minus 6 from the deer instead of fighting. <laughs> I'm telling it you. It all counts. There's resources this everywhere. Castle? I don't want to cast this anymore. Like, what is this castle like? So Viper, he wants to control this area because in 45 minutes, Yo might send, <laughs> send some light cap here and he wants to be prepared with the castle. Mister? Uh, oh my, Viper converts. Viper is like the new Yo. He is perfect counter to the Yo. But he did he did get Sanctity, so it's fine. He would have lost that monk otherwise. Uh, what if Hera joins GL team? Nah, I'm, I, I still have a career ahead of me. I'm not going to join GL. <laughs> right, he's rejected like... I... Fun fact, every M ever asked to join GL. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> Fun true. Fun fact. That's actually true and embarrassing. But I'm actually so happy I didn't join, because like, if I joined, it would just be like, I don't know. <laughs> you but... mean you're happy you got rejected, okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I like you guys, but it's not really uh, a good fit, I don't, I don't think. Mm, I agree. That's yeah. why you got rejected. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got rejected for the right reasons. Oh, and now, yo, with the fire galleys opening the wall, and uh, the scrims are coming in. <laughs> That's how slow. And Yo Yo and did a great job matching the imp, by the way. That, that's crazy. I didn't expect him to match the imp of Viper. Viper's at 20 builds, but he just 4 TC really fast, got the, the food, and now is up to it, up to imp at the same time. I absolutely don't understand your playstyle. Like, he's always investing heavy into walling, then playing such a turtle game, and then comes up by <laughs> getting early imp. Like. Yeah, yeah, somehow. I think it's because he just, I don't know, he like floats resources. Like he, he'll oh, you know why it is. I know what it is. Why? He makes his base so compact that the village of walking time is way lower. Oh. So his economy is better. He's way ahead of us. True. <laughs> He's lowering the walking time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I figure I will never lose to you anymore. What are you going to do to counter him? Make it even more compact? Your base? <laughs> I will make, I will make like a train of TCs and jump villages one TC to <laughs> to the woodland. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's walking in your town. <laughs> oh, come here, best deal. Like, make houses, chain of the houses to the wood line, and bam, 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 bam. Ooh, that's actually good. Like, you're that's actually, not, actually good. You're not even walking anymore. <laughs> that's actually good. That's perfect. <laughs> we're just, we're like 20 bills behind, but we're so efficient. <laughs> that that's is actually perfect, fine. <laughs> Kimmer, best to confirm. That's on one PC, but his economy is like 100% worker efficiency. <laughs> I'm clicking him like with 25 and I'll just be a fine. Okay, looks like both players of the Imperial Age now. Viper going for some Karambits, trying to clean up Yo, but Yo had a couple knights there. Completely fine. And now they're fighting for the center mm -hmm. of the map. Viper wants to play probably Arbalest with some Bomber Cannons. And yo, looking like he's staying on skirms for the time being with a few knights. Maybe even the most important thing to point out is the relic number, right? Lithuanians without the two relics at least are, well, not Lithuanians. <laughs> yeah, not that interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they are actually negative then. Viper's bringing back <laughs> his fourth relic. Um, yep, uh, that's definitely a really big, big point. I think Lithuanians kind of rely on having those relics. Which is really annoying. I hate that they changed them and took away Blast Furnace. It kind of ruined the sieve, I feel like. Now we have, like, if you don't have, you fall behind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Lithuanians are really weird now. I, I think they're not as fun as they were before as well. Because the late game now, if you think about it, their halves are missing upgrades. They're missing one armor, one melee armor, and uh, plus two attack. The skirms, they're full upgrade and they're strong. That's fine. But uh, uh, don't forget, late is uh, that's the best unit in the game after Camel Archer. After Camel Archer, the latest, okay, fine. Uh, I think Yo absolutely loves them, and that's yeah, probably yeah. his long term plan. Yeah, Yo would love to get latest, but he made a castle forward. Maybe he should not make castle forward here if you're about Yo. Maybe play from home. Well, he probably was thinking that's the first castle of the Viper. He didn't realize he's playing against two castles, Trevor. Ah, uh, his one castle was in the corner. <laughs> it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> he was thinking ahead. <laughs> Viper hit one castle in the corner. <laughs> brings the, the Trevor. It's production castle. Yeah. 
And now, uh, yeah, Vipers yep. have a really big advantage. Uh, 20 bills. Also, just got the Karambits in. Karambits will tank a lot in the scrims. You were saying hide the tech, Viper, listen. Yeah, Viper always hides techs. That's where you learned it from. I think that's why I was able to become a better player, because I learned from good players. That's very important. Did you learn anything from me? Yeah, at first, yes. Then I realized you were bad, so I stopped, stopped taking notes. At first, at it was, least at first. It was you, Chris, Slam, Viper, and Yo. Those, those five. Those are the five. And then, as time went on, I started dropping the names. Is there any name on? Uh, right now, the list? Now? My replays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My regs. No, I, I mean, I still learned something. I learned something from Vinci's to the tournament, but I don't want to say it. It's my secret. I learned something from Tat to the tournament. I, I give you my Khmer plan and you're like hiding things from me. Uh, I, I say, I, say I, I swear, I put 99% of information on YouTube videos. 99% of my information is on YouTube videos. I just keep a few things to myself. And what's your YouTube uh, uh, link or name or whatever? Well, exclamation mark YouTube. You can check? Yeah, you can find okay, it, okay. of course. 99% of my information is out there, of course. The other 1% on Patreon or in my brain. And do you have kids? No, not yet? Not yet, no. We don't have to support okay. for kids but, yet. But if you, if you want Kara to have kids... <laughs> guys, make sure to donate in case I could have a family. If you guys want to support my future, my family. It's I already got the kids, I don't need support. Like, the guy <laughs> needs it more. That I like what you say. You're very straightforward. Like it's not nothing's a secret here. You know, <laughs> just say how it is. It's honest casting. Yeah, of course. Hera is a kid. I have back pain. I'm 23, man. I'm not a kid. Trust me. <laughs> my 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 youth days. I've seen too much. My youth days are behind me. Once yeah, you see that gameplay, you start you start hmm? aging way too fast when you see that gameplay. <laughs> and you said you stopped watching me. Yeah, that's actually true. Actually, no, I still, I mean, I learned from everyone. Mm -hmm. There was a time, though. Back, that, back to being nice. <laughs> there was a time where I was in college and I would watch, I had all the options. I could watch anyone. By the way, Viper's missing ballistics. He's trolling really big time. He needs to get ballistics soon or else he's going to be falling behind. He should realize. He realize he's missing guess, everything. Yeah. <laughs> that's coming to his telling you. He's telling you, like, you got no secrets. I would delete this screen just so he doesn't know. <laughs> Yo, help them out. <laughs> Okay, the like, time is perfect when they're shooting the latest. Like. <laughs> and that way, Viper gets siege engineers over ballistics. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a time as Viper pushes on CEO. I don't, I don't think you can do too much, so we'll just talk about it here in, in a second. Um, there's a time in university where every time I was on break, I could have watched anyone. And you know who I watched out? I watched your YouTube videos. Ooh, I watched you nice. playing 1v1. I had 20 minutes. I watched, and then I go, and it was a good time. So you're that guy. Yeah, I, I was the one out of ten viewers that you had. <laughs> that was me. You're <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I was learning, and that was like two years ago. So I, I still watch you in there. But now your YouTube is like ten, the freaking uh, shared bonus times ten mod. Like that clicks, man. Very if unique. That's my YouTube would be the ghost. <laughs> ghost down. <laughs> and we see our bless from Viper. Thumb ring now coming in for Yo. And uh, Lithuanians do not get Siege Engineers, as far as I know, so yeah, Malay Bomber Cannon is going to be slightly stronger here. No way Viper doesn't know he's missing Ballistics. Yeah, okay, he's getting it now. It's, Ooh, it's all good. Being Hussars, I keep forgetting that Lithuanians get that as well. Yeah, it's the same as a regular Hussar, it just has 5, five extra HP and looks cool. It's, it's actually like very, oh, oh. very mediocre. But it looks cool. Yeah, it looks very cool, but it costs you more for the extra 5 HP. I'd rather just have the regular Hussar, I think. I was thinking it's better. Yeah, it's, it's a regular Hussar, but it has two, two extra attack. That's it. Yeah, they're well. Yeah, they're not getting nothing from the relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Plus plus four. So it's yeah, it's either nine plus two or seven plus four. It's eleven, and uh, yeah, just an extra five HP. So it's really bad. I'm telling you, they kind of ruined Lithuanians a little bit. Yeah, ballistic is on finally, and and an aggressive castles as well. Yeah, this really one good. is going to hurt. It's, it's very enter to the relics. It's very unlike Viper to do this, but he only does this when he's 100% winning. Like four relics, full map control. Okay, now I go cast it forward. It's fine, but it's still usually Viper gets like casted here. Right there would be like usually Viper. Yeah, man. he was like floating stone. He had like over a thousand stone. He could make a castle, but he was waiting to confirm it's yeah. a in-game castle. Yeah, exactly. Like Viper is the guy who never takes risks. I think. <laughs> 
Uh, and you are a risk taker. Uh, I think I take risks, yeah. I think I take, I definitely take more risks than Viper. Viper is not a risk taker at all. So obviously you mm. were trolling, you're being sarcastic, but I do think I take more <laughs> more, more risks than, than Viper for sure. Yeah, your third TC is slower than his. <laughs> That's true as well. <laughs> well, in KOTD I basically won because I just delayed my third TC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit map control faster. Yeah. But I like about what Viper's doing as well is that he's just pushing with trash units for now and just getting more value with Siege. And then eventually he'll prepare one big push with the gold. What gold now. unit can he make? Well, elephants maybe? I think he can go elephant. The elephant would be really good here. Combat is kind of trash unit as a gold anyway. Yeah, elephant is the only real gold unit for me. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Elephants would be really good. Uh, he's gonna go Karambit though for now. I think Karambit's okay, but they kind of die to skirms in big numbers, especially with like, Hussar meat shielding. Well, eventually, if the fight keeps getting here, you will run out of food line. That is he true. needs caps, he needs to push. Like, he yeah. got the castle. Yeah, he, he is preparing caps. Okay. Yeah, just trying to find something, something to do here. But the problem for you is that he's also on pure trash. Like, neither player can really play gold units except Siege. And Viper's got extra range on his siege, more damage, so his uh, his situation is looking way better. Light is the was the unit that you needed, but uh, never never could establish that. Yeah, yeah. Game was very far from lightest. Then Karmbits are annoying. Like sniping bomber cannot so much value for those. Yeah, and Vi like Viper got the extra armor for free. Now going for one more castle forward, and on the monastery, by the way, that's really good. If we take that last relic away from Yo, it's like he's got nothing left to play for. Could yeah, go Force Levy, actually. Force Levy's not bad for, for melee. But they, mm. don't get, they don't get the Ambistance anymore, it's kind of meh. This map got too much gold, and look at the trap push on the <laughs> bottom of the map. Like two Karmbits will kill, kill those two traps, that's, uh, that's kind of YOLO. Yeah, my boss had a Bomber Cannon, also kind of YOLO. Yeah, those traps will die. I mean, Yo just out of options at this point. He's been dead for a long time. Yeah, now it's just your bingo. Yeah. Give him 10 minutes, guys. He'll resign at 49.30. Okay, never mind. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Viper breaks the curse. 5-4 four, four now for Viper. He won 4, lost 4. Now he wins another. Very nice. Good stuff. An economy is somewhat similar, so basically he won because of the better unit tries. Yeah. Or probably being better too. Yeah, I think the timings helped a lot there as well. Yeah, winning the Treborn initially. That was really good. Okay, I think it's story time. It's not that embarrassing. That's that's a nice way to make the name out of yourself, right? I mean, yes, but uh, it's just like, why am I even thinking about what the viewers are thinking, like in game? Like, I just focus on the tournament. And how do you think? I I think when I start making a castle, you actually think of the viewers. That's so bad. I only hear man. man. I only hear man. <laughs> He's like <laughs> rent free in your mind, Titanic, Titanic. <laughs> Yeah, so it wasn't just the Hunt Longsword, it was me literally trying to look cool setting up that trap. And I promise you, it didn't look bad because we just watched it from the cast, but if I bought up the recorded game, I was idling all my TCs, got zero eco upgrades, everything was a mess, everything was a disaster. All because I wanted to try to get a trap and look cool on camera. Insane. Since then, I, I, I look like a dumbass, but I'm just, as long as things are going, I don't care if I micro nothing, I don't care if I do, I'm not even thinking about the viewers, I'm just thinking of the game, it's much better. Well, maybe it would look cooler if you won that event, but uh, I like your point. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. You just want me to lose, though. It's the whole fire <laughs> situation all over again. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, let's catch up on this game because of the story time. We took a little longer, but we have Khmer for Viper and Khmer on this map are really solid. Yo, of course, with Persians. Also a very good Sif. And this is going to be the last game uh, of the stream. So tomorrow we're going to pick up no matter what happens here. But it's the difference between Viper being up two points or it being tied up if Yo or Viper wins this. And I think Khmer are probably one of the best sips on this map. I'm not sure what you think about it, though, Doubt. Well, this is a strategy AM cooked, right? Persians opening on yeah. this map is your guys' thing. Yeah, true. And this is the only map where Persians are, like, one of the best sips. Yeah. The I would say Khmer is slightly better, but uh, Persians definitely can compete. Uh, I agree with that. I think that's a good assessment. Khmer just... Feels easier to play. You, you guarantee you lose the water with Khmer. 
but you get really good farms, you get the whole momentum on land, and then you can snipe with your land, you can snipe some of the fish. You so thanks to the prime welcome. Whereas the Persians because are... Because your farming yeah. will be vulnerable. It's very good that you can jump into houses, you can farm wherever. Yeah. And obviously not in barracks, so you can switch right away to the range or stable, whatever you desire. Absolutely. So yeah, Khmer are definitely solid and smooth to play. Yeah, and of course, Persians will guarantee when the water, we see Persians just going to docks here. Yo, uh, guarantee will just kill the fish, kill the dock and be fine. Viper might make one demo if he feels like it, if he wants one demo. It's really up to him, and otherwise he'll probably just open stable or range here, we'll see. Mm -mm, Viper did get some gold first, so maybe he'd get enough for double fire gallery or something? Uh, no, 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 it's not enough. But why did he get like 20 gold? Uh, I think he wanted to maybe go archer, or maybe he was thinking about doing like the double galley, but then saw that the uh, yo was on um, two docks, so it's hopeless. I guess that's kind of what he was thinking of. Well, at least finish the chip and get the bloodlines. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, he's more villager. <laughs> yeah, the 70 gold is not doing a whole lot here. <laughs> maybe he want bloodlines eventually, but it's too early for that. And now he goes for a range. Okay, well, he's just gonna go on gold. Yeah, probably not. And yeah, just loses it. But that dock, it gave him, that dock gave him 300 food worth of fish. So it paid back the 300 wood for the two fishing ships in the dock. And it forced Yo to invest two docks. So that dock was really good from Viper. Yeah, investing five, like if dock didn't exist, there would be no fire galleys, but like extra fishing ships and economy lead would be yeah. absolutely massive. Yeah, so even if it looks dumb, like Viper just not defending his fish, it's actually really important that he does that. Like he actually has to do that. And it's considered to be completely standard. Um, nothing crazy happening so far. Now, Yo has the fishing ship advantage, but Yo is way further behind in terms of land army. Viper already has three scouts, and he's already preparing the range with archers. And Yo is not walled, first time ever. Oh, give him a couple minutes. He's starting on the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Let's see how Yo defends. Always, obviously, always a long wall for a full base. <laughs> he can never wall the resources <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> has to wall the whole base. It's the only way to make it work. And now fighting with all the villas, that's messy, that's very messy. Well, he can afford losing fuel, fish and ships will carry. And Spearman will push that till way for now. The first attack deny- Ooh, that villager is like... Yeah. Looking to wall? <laughs> <laughs> okay, saved. Yeah, he's gonna be pushing back the scouts now. And then the demo coming in. Oh, the demo is looking really juicy actually. Oh, oh, I don't think Yo knows about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord, that was insane. Like, Yo, how can... Is he, is he AFK or something? Like, he's just not watching at all. Yeah, and this game is different than the last game. Now, trading the demo for fish and ship, when you're pressing the land, it's absolutely different game. Like, there's exactly. no food economy to back away now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it really matters. 100%. Now we see the scouts. Now going from Viper. heavy on berries, like 20 villages on the berries, like he needs that food. And now going for a tower on the gold, but you defend the gold, the wood is still exposed on the right hand side. And now archers are coming in, so Viper's gonna play scouts and archers with Khmer here. Well, to be fair, your map is very, very bad. Like, wood lines are far, only one wood line, gold, berries forward, like, really, really bad map. I'm rushing the market, I like it. Has to get it up, man. Now market, I don't this really know. This might be the short one. I don't know why he wants a market. I think Blasteth is better. But just buy some stone. Oh, wants to go for another tower. Okay. Fair enough. I think that's a good choice, actually. Yeah, that's actually a really good choice. He would never catch up with army. He just wants safety and patient ship will maybe give him a chance to come back to the game. Yeah, smart play. I don't know. He's just he's getting demoed by the four, so I'm not <laughs> sure. Tower should go up, but might lose a vill. He's gonna lose the spear. And Viper's just gonna back away. Viper's looking very clean so far here with the Khmer. And the best thing is checking economy. 500 extra resources for Viper. That's insane. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. And that's like, not only that, like you made three towers. That's a lot of resources and yeah, kind of yeah, useless. Yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah, I think this game is actually looking very good for Viper. Now Viper's gonna go back on water here, which... He's obsessed with doing that, so I'm kind of just giving up <laughs> on it. I mean, it's fine. It's not the worst decision ever. Because on this map, and water this game means, is good. Yeah, yeah, water means map control on this map, so it's fine. And also, he knows he pushed Yo off everything. He cannot farm. Like, there is no farming spot for Yo. 
So getting his fish boom off is is perfect. Like he cannot stop, he can stop making land units now. He can just focus on winning water and getting castle age. Yeah, exactly, and let the food kind of carry him. No more scouts for him. And yo, desperately needs to hang on to the middle because that's his only advantage. Extra two fishing ships, but it was supposed to be four. He got demoed, and and now it's looking really bad. Mm, he should be fine though. And the army is still finding the value. Should be another snipe. Yeah. Yeah, one veil down. And Yo's trading pretty poorly on water. Yeah, this is looking very good for Viper. And the more I see this, especially with the stats you mentioned, the more I think Khmer is way better than Persians on this map, actually. Like, now that I think about it. I think Persians depend on a good map. Like, yeah, some true, things, true. they have such a good map, and after water control, they can walk fully right away. And then you're stuck with the Khmer army, cannot do anything, and you're basically dead. Yeah, that's true. But that's this map point. was so bad. This was yeah. so bad, man. Maybe maybe Yo should change his approach. Instead of doing two docks, just do one. You're still in the water, not as dominant, and then you get to play better on land. Mm, yeah, yeah. Better. Yeah. You just like auto piloting. It's also like ten game of the day. You just play <laughs> a standard build. <laughs> do what you know, and that's it. Yeah, but Viper is just doing so well here. He's about to pick up the Castleage. He's got full map control, and it's a great decision to go Castleage instead of more army. Why? Because Yo's got powers. If Viper goes full army. He's committing into the tower, which just lets it have more value. By going Castleage, the tower will just become more and more useless as the game goes on. And for some reason, Viper is taking a little bit of stone with a long distance villager. <laughs> like, I probably <laughs> misclick. <laughs> what is he doing with that? <laughs> he's just long, long range mining everything. I, I think he first took with like four villagers and then he made farms for instant drop. Uh... Maybe he wants to have me know for the third TC, but. He will not have wood for that anyway. Yeah, I mean, why are you thinking about thirsty C, fourth C? <laughs> Viper always. That's the only ahead. logic. I, that's the only logic I see from that song. And that's not efficient. Like he's Kimura. he can do the house wall, but he's choosing to walk. To walk, that's terrible. Uh, now, absolutely. The house jumping would be way better. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm well, he lost the water in the end, but <laughs> one fishing ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one fish. That's all you get out of it, and that's not enough. Not nearly enough. And wall on the bottom. Don't think it will end. It's only one village archers are coming. But Viper decides to attack the house instead of like that's such like, a long wall down like yeah, I he don't can, understand this at all. He can definitely get through that. He just assumes the Ost fully walled, I guess. <laughs> I mean either way is fine. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But kind of weird to see. I mean, I think he's just waiting for Castage as well right now. Well, you is ready to click up and Persian TC look works faster, which is a decent bonus here. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna shave like 20 seconds of castle. It's not terrible. Well, even if I enters here, there is a tower, so not the biggest deal. But just like, I have army, <laughs> let's at least be annoying. Mm -hmm. And they are just on top of the wood lane as well. Yeah, he is all over the place. And once they are cross, they will range that wood lane. Now light cap coming in. Yeah, nice light cap. It's gonna be a very solid push from Viper. Not, doesn't even care to upgrade the crossbows. Since there are three towers, so just wants the archers to snipe spears <clears throat> and to range uh, the resources, and that's it. And his bank is looking solid. Can add TCs if he wants to. I think it would be a good choice. His woodlands, you know, could use some help. But at this point, I mean, Viper can do whatever he wants. I think Yo's so far out of the game. Yeah. Oh, I'm catching like the that. villagers with light cap. Yeah. Oh. They have nowhere to run. The tower's already full. And now he can tower dive. So I made a video on tower diving on YouTube, and the conclusion <laughs> was on Castleage you can dive towers very easily. And there it is. In feudal, we respected them. In Castleage, we just go for them. And that is the perfect way to do it. Well done, Mr. Viper. He saw the video. Yeah. Yo can still win though. He only lost 30 bills, so it's fine. You can still play. It's yeah. playable. He got one fishing ship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Compensation. <laughs> sure, it's not looking great, but I mean, <laughs> two more stables coming down. And Siege Workshops forward with double TC light. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a perfect game. And Viper has 80 stone. Just to remind <laughs> For some us. Reason. <laughs> just to remind us that it's not a perfect game, you know? <laughs> Mistakes were definitely made. <laughs> Mm, 
need to I mean, how to cast now? <laughs> Help me. No, you just wait. Like, Yo's gonna resign soon. It's completely over. Or you just wait. Like, this is where I just read chat comments, to be honest, usually. Like, Viper's cleaning up Yo everywhere. Yo likes the pain. Like, it's best of 21. It's already a long, <laughs> long day. He just extends the pain. Look at Viper just diving his tower with archers. Camel wants the camel not even a knight. <laughs> <laughs> Send that guy back and bring me a knight. <laughs> Give that camel, give me the horse. <laughs> and now we see the one knight that does not upgrade on him. Didn't even go for the crossbow, he just bought him. Actually, he cancelled bought him. Oh, really? Yeah. That was interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest thing that's happened in a while. <laughs> Highlight. I mean, yo, it's just. His face got <laughs> nuked, and now Viper is booming and preparing a siege push if he wants to. <laughs> or he can use that stone and like build another TC. <laughs> Maybe it's for outpost at this point. I'm not sure. At this point, Tempel is already on his fourth outpost. <laughs> nice sneak around the left side. And yeah, I mean, Yo Yo is stuck on county units. He's got no water. Like the water is counting for nothing. Um, only one TC. Bases and shambles. No eco upgrades. There's nothing going for him. He even lost that one fishing ship, like, not sure how. I think the knights got it. <laughs> Yo's walling in the stone. Oh, monastery, okay, now it's properly winnable. <laughs> now, if it's up with monastery, all those knights are here, then he, then he can do counter attack. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if you're 40 of us behind, if the guy's army becomes yours. Town center, yeah, we can boom back in here, we got Persian TCs. I got the, mon the monk coming out. Didn't you cast on your own doubts? What, what did you talk about here? Uh, complain. <laughs> I complain here. About the players? Yeah, like I said earlier, like, as a player, let me play as long as I can. As a caster, I understand. Like, yo, it's over. <laughs> let it go, man. Please. It's well set tomorrow, man. I think the problem, I think the problem with this situation is that as a player, you don't exactly see the whole map. So I think that maybe there's a chance. You see the score is not too bad. But like as a caster, you see everything right away. Losing 16 villagers is kind of tell as well. <laughs> that is a tell, true. Did he get that knight converted? <laughs> yeah, he converted a knight, of course. <laughs> I didn't even react. At this point, like, it's a conversion. It's like, I'd be surprised if it didn't happen. Viper 10 villagers on stone. Okay, he wanna end it with a castle. Oh, <laughs> and let's come on some hill. It's so smart because he already had 80 stone from earlier, so like he calculated that he'd have the castle ready in time now. It's good. 80 stone. Let's help. see if it will be for. I, I just wanna see. I, I want it to be at home. At this point, I want that castle to be at home okay. on some hill. The castle's on the hill on the bottom <laughs> near that gold. Just a small hill, it's gonna be a, a, a control <laughs> castle. <laughs> castle at home. Well, he's gathering, he's gathering, but That's... he's not sending villagers. Maybe you can learn from that though, you always lose from going forward castle. Sometimes I win, it's not always. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Good enough for me. I play to look cool. Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> I stopped doing that though, I stopped doing that. Thank God. And the monk will get sniped the fire galley. The highlight of the game no. is gone. <laughs> Fire Galley gone. Camel's chasing some light cap. Can't even catch them. Light cap might give value on the farms. Nope. <laughs> Let's check the stats. Okay, 5k more resources. 5k. A Viper, he's getting dangerously close to 650 stone and no bills forward up. It's gonna be at, at home castle. At home, obviously. At home, pick up the relics. Um, what else can we do? We can wall the map a little 40C. bit. 40c. 40c, for sure. Switch to the Halp. Yeah, Halp, Scorpion. Float 3k gold in case we need it. <laughs> the typical Don't Viper take the risk. Stuff. Adding stables, setting stables, keep going for the push, but... No forward villagers. Winchester would already be up to imp, forward castle. Game is over. <laughs> Do you know about that? The Winchester forward castle? Mm, which one? He, which one? He always does it. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I respect that. He's a fun player. Yeah, yeah. Unique! It's unique! <laughs> it's unique! <laughs> castle forward. Another long distance mining? Oh yeah, long distance mining on the bottom. Viper's just not in there right now. 
Conversions, let's see. Camels. Oh my, double conversion. It's just disgusting, man. That's disgusting. Well, to be fair, that knight was his to begin with. He oh, okay, to sure, sure. Give, it, give it back. <laughs> and Yo's getting workout. He's like, <sighs> like, out of everything you can get, you gotta get the workout. Oh, out. forward castle, forward castle. Forward oh, forward, castle. it's actually true. And now Demo can stop that. Oh, that would be Ooh, so well, huge. <laughs> This, this, this actually might be a game. This is what we do, like one way or another. <laughs> this is what we do. Game is over, even if the castle gets denied. But if the castle gets denied, we have a highlight clip for TikTok and YouTube Shorts, and that's what that's what we need. Oh, you have a TikTok? Yeah, I have a TikTok. Do you follow me there? I don't know how to follow on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know how to download TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. And the monks. Okay, hold on. The mugs have to move. Still, still good timing. Still can work for yo. Why it's yo? Ah, he gets one. Look at that. Two would be perfect there. Okay, let's do the demo. Let's do the demo. Yo, it's your time to shine, yo. The cat, the bills are there. The bills are there. Bring the demos out. No, the demos, yo. Ah, yeah, yes. Players just. What can answer the more galley What can be more important, yo? You're dying everywhere, dog. Now he runs the demos. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, man. <laughs> GG. And Viper takes the game. 10 games down. 6 4 for Viper. And this one was really painful for you. Scripted, yeah. Scripted, so Viper's always winning by a couple games. 4 0, 4 4, 6 4. Damn. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at Looking all. Looking good for Tato. Oh, true, true. I forgot Tato's the guy at stake here. <laughs> You're late, huh? I'm late, and I should receive 10% less prize pool. It's, it's a shame. <laughs> At, least. At least. Depends how much you win. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Might be 50% if you lose. <laughs> but then again, it goes to the tournament host, so back to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the only loophole to protect yourself. <laughs> Make your own event. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome. It's a good start now. Uh, we've got some arena games. I'm actually fast forwarding because I was a little, a little late. Uh, it's gonna be Yo playing as Cumans and then Viper playing as Turks. And it's, of course, day two, game one. And uh, Yo, Dal, what do you think of the Cumans on, on arena here? We've seen it a lot from Tata and Yo. Do you like it? Well, for Yo, at least he's already walled. It's arena. <laughs> true, and, that is true. <laughs> yeah, Tata got unique style that he first started doing with. Human Star Rush to protect uh, himself, for example, Turks now forward castle. Yeah. Not sure if he will do that. Feels like I'm not. I like Tato style the best. I think he's the best human player we have. Uh, especially on Arena. I feel like he's the one of the only that, uh, persons, uh, people that can make it work. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, if he makes double TC at home, sure, he will have 20 village lead, but once the castle hit his walls, it's good a luck. Tragedy. Yeah, exactly. And I think Tato does a good job just preventing, like, preventing the forward castle from coming. Although, honestly, um, one thing that I would kind of wish to see from Viper is even if you're getting Tower Rush, just go forward castle. Like, doesn't matter. Just run your wheels forward and drop it. Yeah, you're known for those type of things. I, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it, it's a weird situation because we like to play safe and, and defensive, but if the humans are like doing something weird, you have to take a risk as well. Okay, I agree. I mean, it's hard. It's arena, right? It's hard yeah. to go unnoticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and exactly. You don't know if there's something behind it, like sending 20 villagers to build for you. It can be a difficult time. He got double population at this point. Yeah, that is true. That is true. He doesn't mind like just fighting it out. Uh, but but yeah, case... if you make a castle at home, I think you lose anyway. So exactly. Yeah, maybe worth a shot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like castle at home, you clean the towers. By the time you get across the map, it's like the guy's already castled with the defense. So uh, not much you can do. But in general, I feel like humans, a, a lot of the arena players hate them on arena, but a lot of the RM players, or like, not RM, but like the uh, the random map players, or like different maps. Normal players. The normal <laughs> players, they love the humans on this map. Uh, I think everybody hates to play, play against them. Like, you usually ban them as well, right? Okay. It's such yeah. a weird style. It's like not TOE, right? Like yeah. double TC, you don't know where you're in the game. Yeah, so yeah. I prefer not to play with that or against that. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And I think it's like the tricky players, Sato, Yo. I love to play with this Cuman CPC. Especially Yo. Yo Yo was the guy who was on Cumans from the start. Like he was always CTC booming with them. <laughs> and the Vivi as well, like full answer spam after that. Let's go number one on the rank. That was such a degenerate <laughs> time, man, when they first came out. Uh, he, he abused so strong, man. He abused them so hard, and the best part is like 
He he got so good at the build, like before anyone else. It was, it was so so hard to stop. I remember going full camels and like the, the complete distraction. Like there was no chance. Yeah, yeah. Stuff had to just destroy everything. I see market blackness from Viper, and uh, he is on stone, so he's planning a forward castle. I mean, this is looking good for Viper. Like, yo, he needs to do something. It's the castle. I mean, yo knew this is exactly going to happen, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Turks casted the face janitor as well. It's not a shocker at this point, right? <laughs> so I guess he <laughs> believes he's built his battle like this. So, I mean, there is the chance uh, yeah. <laughs> if, he, if he can get castle and make his own castle, but at the same time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's not close to click up. Yeah. Maybe if he stopped making villages, but then like, uh, I I don't know. It's either he like, okay, let's just lose this game, like the Burgundians on Yucatan, <laughs> or he got some good plan. Hopefully it's a good plan. I mean, he picked humans very early in the draft, so like it has to be something solid here. I mean, this is exactly what he is expected to happen, right? Yeah. If anything, Viper is not sure, like, what your plan is here. Oh, Yo, Yo actually got into Viper's base, by the way. So now, like, 100% Yo will know this is happening. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't plan it like this. <laughs> <laughs> he's on stone, how can this be? <laughs> okay, now he's, he's four journey, sorry. Now he's making a barracks. Okay, he might actually go, like, stable and make scout to prevent the forward castle. I don't like that he's making that barrack with four villagers. That means he was not planning, he's reacting now. He was planning to get scouted in and know what he's doing. Like, <laughs> that's a panic barrack, like, like he's surprised that castle will happen. Yeah, yeah that, that's really strange. <laughs> if this scout can go out, that's really good, but yeah, Viper's not gonna let him out, I think. But see, Yo should still try. Well, I mean, I mean, five are just building the stable. He did not have the plan. <laughs> he did not have the plan. He's reacting to this. Which is so strange. Oh. oh, oh, oh! Okay, the fact that that scout survived on 2HP is huge, by the way. Because now Viper can probably wall on the bills, knowing something's coming. Maybe even send more villagers, like send everything. Like if that castle is denied, you win the game no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And Viper uh, smartly add the siege workshop first. That's really smart. I think Yo should be dropping a second stable, like with the wood bills, and just going all in for this. Like, the, why add one stable? Like, just go all in. <laughs> The, the, yeah, if Castle yeah. goes up, you're dead. If he doesn't, and I think he can prevent that. Like that's a lot of villagers. Well, um, I think Viper's quick walls. It's gonna be tricky. I mean, Yo will right away drop some towers. So even if his quick walls should be fine. Let's see. He can. Oh, deny but the he's foundation. buying time. Yeah. Like, yeah even if Castle time. goes up and he's buying time, he will be fine. That is true. It's a good Yo point. Yo is looking good. Yo is looking, Yo is looking good. good. <laughs> Thank God he got the scout. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if he didn't get the scouting, he would not trash the barrack and stable. <laughs> he had no idea the gems were coming. <laughs> uh, this is the big oh. problem for Viper. Great sets. Keep and just up. like that, the game is over, and I was thinking Viper was really easy. Yeah, Yo, is... he's a weird player. <laughs> I cannot come to his... Like, I, I, I don't know. I cannot process what happened. I want to restart and just see what happened. <laughs> there's no scout inside of it. <laughs> he was so clueless until the scout went in. Like, if you prepare the normal timing back stable or you just scouts around, Genius, perfect, okay, yeah. you plan. Yeah, well but done. But now it's like, oh, <laughs> scout is still, let's go. And it's worked out. Uh, by the way, we have a $100 donation from Mimstar13. Great sets, keep it up. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the donation for the prize pool. And now, uh, Yo's getting Wheelbarrow to help the Vils fighting. Mm, yeah, that's smart. Send more, send more, yeah, send more. Yes, like, absolutely need to send like, more. Like, that's it, if Castle goes down. <laughs> like, this is the and only... Viper sending more as well. Yeah, yeah, I think this is really important for movement of the game. Oh, really good play from Viper to just delete. I like that. Because now he can uh, switch up into a different position. Yo has to be active. Yo's building that tower. I don't know what's for. Run your ass, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> he feels committed at this point. Like. <laughs> I think this castle goes up, man, honestly. Uh, uh, did he buy enough time if Castle goes up? Uh, I, I think Yo bought time, but he invested too much himself, like... Mm -hmm. He's not close to click, like, he got 20 yeah. to lead, but... Castle delight? Viper deletes it? Was it a misclick? I thought it was a decent position. No, de definitely mm -hmm. not a misclick. I thought it was a decent position, but... <laughs> the wolf is helping out. Yeah, but Viper's taking too long at this point. He's sending more! Yeah, I think either way. Yo... Farmer economy, like. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good. I think either way, this is looking good for you at this point. And uh, he's now close to pick up. Yeah, yeah. Now, you... now Castle can go up. <laughs> you know what? Viper needed not scorpions. He needed just a barracks with spears. That would be way better, I think. And now he thinks about mm. it a bit late. Yeah, yeah. 
but uh, he didn't get scout inside of your base, so he didn't know how to react. <laughs> that is true. How to play if you don't see what he's doing. <laughs> like, would be like stupid, like, playing the back for nothing. <laughs> it's like in Arabia, if no one makes a building, because you want to see what your opponent's doing first. I think that's uh, maybe the future meta, honestly. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm not doing anything till you show me. <laughs> Making the back and waiting. Like. I'll get horse color in the meantime and just wait. That's how Paul's play so far, but I don't think might get that style too. Yeah, now it just feels like Viper's just taking way too long. Like, now 28 goes to 58. Even if he gets the castle, it should be just completely over. over. Mm, well, his farm economy, he cannot produce <laughs> one village on food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a disaster. <laughs> I, I want to see him get the castle down, though. Just get a castle. It's gonna happen. And? Nope. Denied. But with Spear and Shiki should be able, yeah. Now, now, it's no, now it should be fine. In fact, I think Yo trying to make a tower here is a mistake. Like, just save your stone. Yeah, yeah okay, he realizes. And this is crazy because most of the time you'd say Turks are the best civ on Arena, but it seems like just, or like one of the best, but it seems like just humans are destroying these like, top tier civs just from being uh, very tricky. Mm -mm. Well, like I said, if Viper did add the Varak right away, the castle would be go up, going up. Depends, right? <laughs> the say, humans yeah. got. It's like Turk style is figured out, and humans are now figuring out how to stop that. And yeah, yeah. It can be tricky. Yeah, absolutely. Castle's up, but I mean, look at your resources. You can pass them if you want to. Ooh, true, man. <laughs> that that long feudal did pay off in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gonna go cast on it. I think fast it behind it actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's absolutely mean if it's uh, yeah, cast going down, that's it. Yeah, he's gonna go on to more gold, yeah. It's definitely gonna be a fast yeah. limp. His map is also very good with both gold and stone back, so Janissaries will accomplish nothing, even if you don't make a single unit. I mean what could be interesting is that if you know your opponent's gonna go Cumans and Arena, what if you just pick a Civ that's not one of the top tier figured out ones and just something that might be geared more to the, to like push the Cumans? Like, what if you go like Kelts all of a sudden? <laughs> Turks. Well, I mean, Turks are geared to for it, but what if you go Kelts and you Siege Push or something like that, you know? It can work, obviously, but like, in my mindset, Turks should win this matchup. Like, Fair. it's very hard. So, yeah, I would prefer Turks. Like, Cumans yeah. got the chance, but I would say like 60 40 for. Turks. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. It's just the castle push should be really strong, castle siege. Uh, if Viper prepared the barracks a little earlier, sent maybe two more bills right away, and then... I feel like even, the castle doesn't need to be outside the walls. Just like just like a forward castle in general to break down the stone. It doesn't have to be right next to the walls, and it should be fine. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. Like, if he has a scout outside, he sees the villagers are coming, just make it in the middle of the map, first one. Yeah, exactly. And you already force a lot of reaction, so yeah. you kind of did the damage, and then the next castle... You can even get the Peter get inside. So exactly. Like, yeah. Your castle it was so much delayed, so he'll be in feudal against Janissaries no matter what. Yeah, one hundred percent. But as a sense, I feel I feel like yeah, Yo just bought enough time. Thank God he got the scout, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> he yeah. just. Right, let's hop into the next map, and this map is one of your favorites. Map? Yeah, fish and fish. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, obviously Japanese. Japanese Burmese. Oh, Burmese can compete in some ways, maybe. <laughs> you wish your Burmese. Uh, <laughs> trust me, Burmese can win. I mean, here's the thing about, yeah, here's the thing about this map. I feel like a lot of players go for the center, and it's correct with Japanese, but if you don't have the, the sip that can win the center, do not try it. That's my, that's my opinion. Just a little straightforward, right? Well, like, you can try to go play for the water outside. I think that's a much better approach. It makes the game messy enough where you can actually win. Like, we saw, um, I think we saw Tatsu beating Finchester like that, or something like that. So one player won with the outside. I mean, it is possible, but you're like giving up a big lead, although he got more places to protect, so that's your comeback tool. You can raid him home, you can raid the middle, he cannot have my army both places, especially yeah. if he's going to slow you on it. Yeah, 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 exactly. But of course, the but, Yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> but if Japanese, if Viper adapt, and he sees that uh, Yo is not in the middle, just open stable, and then you can control everything. That is true, yeah, you're not forced into going into the meta arms, but we'll see. It's like a lot of players tend to tunnel vision. And just go men at arms just because that's what they're used to. But yeah, going scouts to the middle is huge. Like, that's really strong. You can get to control the yeah. map and have infinite food. You can also snipe the fusion easily if you want. And yeah, you're always going duck. You're always going duck. Yeah, I like Did this. Did you prepare that? 
Uh, I didn't prepare it. I actually saw other players doing it. Like, I, I didn't really think of it myself. I saw other players doing it, and I liked it. I think it's a good idea. Because I and tried... Look at the Viper Scout. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh, that's so smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows about it as well. Yeah, it's like... I, I tried going for the center with a weaker sip, and every single time I just lose really badly. So the conclusion was like, okay, I just try something else, because obviously center versus Japanese is not working out. Japanese Korean. Uh, since when is Burmese a big deal? Like, you, you get double bit text for free, and all the research time kick in right away. <laughs> that, that you're sounding amazing right now. Like, I agree 100%. <laughs> the, like, it, factoring the, the walking time in the villager and the research time is something we have to start doing. Like, that's just... Like, Burmese are not saving 100 food, 50 wood on the upgrade. They're saving an extra 20 because of the research time. Yeah, but the, their tech is not that good, right? They cannot really go archer. They cannot go skirms even. Like, they don't give counter to the crossbow. I disagree. I, but I, counters crossbow? I completely disagree. They, they have the mana per cavalry in late game. And you can just play... Late? Like, <laughs> yeah, in late castleage. You can just play full castleage. Also, to counter archers, you can play, like, Night Siege or Light Cap Siege with, with monks. And you have, like, the cheaper monk techs. You have the free wood upgrades. Skirms are not yeah, terrible yeah. in early castle. I think Burmese are really, really underrated, actually. Like, I genuinely Knights believe they're really good. Work. Yeah. But, like, why wouldn't they just go Burvis and do Knights then? Like, Burmese, Knights, August, invest 21, you're kind of stuck with that. Yeah, yeah. But if it was a pick team, I would prefer here Burvis than Burmese. Like, both cheaper Knights and faster villages. No, it's not It's not exactly the same, though, because, like, the Bur the Burmese have, like, the monk tech that's really that's really solid. So it's not just, like, a, like Burvis are a bit one trick with their, like, cavalry. Was, Burmese can do archers themselves as well, if you want. Yeah. Why Burmese can and Burmese can't? <laughs> well, Bur Burmese have be much better economy, right? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot the, the free tech race. Right? Yeah, yeah. Free wood upgrade. <laughs> can't forget about that. <laughs> okay, now we're seeing Viper going for the uh, the Japanese meta arms. So, didn't really switch it up, but there's nothing wrong with meta arms here. Let's see what he can do. Um, meta arms, he could follow up with scouts, with archers. Ooh, archers. Yeah. He should wait for to see the second building on Johan, then job stable or range. I, I agree with that, actually. Open meta arms, get wood upgrade, and then play from there. Oh, taking a lot of damage on the scout. Not not a fan of that. Now that that's greedy. Like you want to kill a villager, it's so close to TC. Yeah, yeah. Even I would not lose a villager there. Like, it's so <laughs> hard to kill. Hundred percent. And now Yo's gonna wall up, and this is what I'm talking about. Like Yo kind of defended. He has the fish, so I still prefer Viper's position. I'm not gonna lie, but it's like Yo has some counterplay. It's interesting, and I like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's the only way to compete. If he went for the middle, he just lose straight forward. Yeah. Now this is a good play. Exactly. Man, arms for Viper. Not gonna find immediate damage, but could walk them straight to the water if he wants to. Could force a, a repair time. They're gonna get some value for sure here. Mm, wouldn't it be better if Viper went for the dock instead of the range? Like get to the fishing ships. Like maybe have to drop some of your own fishing ships. Uh... Like the range will not accomplish anything for a very long time. I kind of agree, but he's gonna do both actually. He gets the dock on top. Yo actually almost denied oh. that. Not quite, yeah. Nice. And Yo was aware of that. He was yeah. scouting constantly. Nice, nice. Yeah, really high level. Both players thinking about that. Yo almost actually sniped that build, but Viper was just in time with the dock. And now the archers will help like with the men at arms. So it's not too bad. And I think Viper. Ooh, and Viper. Yeah. Made one spearman to the fish. You know the spy uh, spearman got the bonus damage against fishing ships. Yeah. So all the water unit. And that's Japanese <clears throat> experience, so they will go bam, bam, yeah, <laughs> and the water is gone. That's actually really, really smart. And the Spearman moves just a bit faster than the men at arms, so it's going to be like, it's not faster than the fishing ship, but it's going to like chase it down quite nicely. In the middle, Viper's yeah, nice fishing move. quite nicely. Viper's on zero farms, of course, I'm not going to expect them to make any farms. Yeah, really good game so far. Now oh, Viper Scout goes down to the archer. But overall, who got the lead? We can check with the stats. Let's, Let's take go. a look at the stats. <laughs> Ooh, you're right, it was Burmese. <laughs> they have more resources? Mm -hmm. How much? 200. Okay, it's a bit weird though, because we have to factor in that he spent it on the dock and the fish, so he's not that far ahead. And so meals in lumber camps, mining camp, all cheaper, so yeah, yeah. it adds up being exactly the same. They're That's working what... with the same like, yes. economy. Yeah. Yeah, and Viper skipped up a bit, actually. He didn't grab it himself, so... <clears throat> I'm telling you, Burmese are good. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Like, I would usually use them to, like, plus one attack on Militia in Jubei to use them, but... <laughs> probably better not. Well, like... The, the problem with 
that meta arms in general is that I feel like it soaks up a lot of your early game resources. So if you don't find damage, it's you're actually behind. Like right now, Viper going meta arms. If anything, you kind of put him behind if you think about it. Mm, yeah, but I agree. But uh, mana times are not only villager killers, they give you map control, right? Yeah. Early game, you can follow up. Like, um, you're always playing in darkness. Viper could have went range, he could have went stable, he could have went skirms. That's, like, in my opinion, a mistake from Viper. He always go mana times into archers, mana times into skirms, then you block the counter play archer. Right? I agree, and you're, you're you one step continue. ahead. Yeah, yeah. Because right now he's playing from behind, basically. Like, he's did the mana arms, the other guy went archers, now he's just doing archers from like a minute later. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that, and then you give the map control back. If skirmishers are there, he could be continue pushing the the gold, and, and then no more archers. Yeah. yeah. Also, like skirmish synergize better with men arms in general, because like archer counters men arm, skirm counters archer, and then you you have like a nice uh, synergy there for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a mistake. And yeah. he was late on blacksmith as well. That's why he was also pushed back. Ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. You had fletching, and of course, it's really hard to afford everything. Uh, on the water, they are fighting. It actually looks like Yo's actually kind of winning the water to start things off. Yeah, Yo's still winning, holding that. And he did not overcommit into Fierce Bomb. Like, two but that's enough to give him some edge, but not invest too much economy so he cannot depend. Yep. Yeah, solid stuff. Really like this. And yeah, the whole idea of Meta Arms into uh, Archer Skirm, I think in the past, because the meta arms were like kind of new, meta arms archer was the best strat because like people would just react poorly. But now everyone's reacting well, so you have to kind of adapt it. And I think meta arms skirm is kind of the future. Like archers is more natural because you're spending food on mana time than like archers just going wooden gold. It's easier to afford, but you lose the pressure. Like I would rather have some idle TC than uh, lose the full map control. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I, I and then get market and <laughs> that's it. I get food back. But I, I love PC in general. It's very like, like very not important if it's just a few seconds. Like it, it barely matters. Well, already a whole minute for Viper there. A uh, minute, but no. That matters. Yeah, that matters. <laughs> you don't get compensation for it. If it's, if you idle your TC and you get something out of it, it's fine. If not, then then it's a problem, of course. He's doing counter attack, but guess what? You is old. <laughs> not completely. Shocker. Not completely. Yeah, from the bottom. Has but when you play against Yo, you know he's completely. You will not even check. Like Yo just need one palace <laughs> wall, and I will not check anything else. <laughs> That's it. I know. I trust him, and I trust him that much. <laughs> well done, Yo. Really fast wall to start up. <laughs> Damn. And scrims are pushing beasts completely, man. Time so well <laughs> useless so far. Yeah, yeah. Didn't really accomplish a whole lot. I mean, and... the only value for many times was the securing Viper Middle. Like, he's still using the Shurfish, it's safe. It's something, but at the same time, if Yo didn't go for the fish, Viper would be ahead. But that fish yeah. definitely gives him connection demo. <laughs> the demo did connect there, yeah. And I think that Fire will die on the way back. No, it just gets away with one HP, literally. He can heal that up, repair it, and that's fine. So, water's still pretty even. I mean, listen, the arms are still on the field, which help out in the small trade. So, it's not like they're useless, they just they haven't accomplished a whole lot. And 700 more resources for you. Viper still without double Yeah, it's such a big mistake. It happens. I mean, you could forget it. It's uh, a lot was going on. Yeah, yeah early game, you kind of. But you get it always straight away. Like, that's a reflex. And then, yeah. if you don't get it because your economy is tight, you completely forget that until you do the uh, <laughs> castle job. What's the name? D uh, double saw. Bosa. And then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Boso. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's such a casual man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how it happens, man. You literally had 20 years for fun, player. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to have fun. <laughs> I just want to see some unique stuff so I can make you happy today. <laughs> Maybe Yo goes for the Cannon Galleon. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we see some long swords from Cannon Galleon, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, like okay fast castle faster, for Yo. Yeah. yeah. So everything's in favor for Yo. And keep in mind, Japanese is a sieve that we all consider to be the best on this map. And that's why I really like Yo's approach. I still think Japanese is the best. I'd say, you know, we definitely saw some mistakes in Viper's play. Viper didn't have to go men at arms. So maybe scouts could have been better. Yeah, if he opened scouts, he would be in such a commanding spot, right? He would clean the water with that. He would force so much reading. And then when Yo is switching to the archers, you move scrums, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Agreed. Now we see a stable switch from Yo. Uh, very natural. Burmese don't really want to play on only archers long term. Cavalry is definitely their forte. And the meta arms are tanking a little. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. You're the caster, you're the main one. You're the main character, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A uh, big reason for the night play is also Viper is so exposed. He needs to control the middle. He needs yeah. to control home. He cannot wall completely yet. Like so many vulnerable areas for Viper, and he only got uh, low speed units, archers. They don't really do much when knights are passing him. You need to fight them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Yo loves to go for the raids, doesn't like to really fight with the knights. And Viper, like, he's got no town watch. He's playing very, very open, very exposed. Now he's just the castle. He's going to run the Vils in the center. And so he took half the shortfish, but in theory, Yo can now take the other half of the short fish if he really wants to. Oh, and you know what? The walking distance from TNC <laughs> to Surfish, that hurts the economy as well. It does, and now he has to walk back, and look at that. Now it's hurting the economy quite a lot. It, it, it really does add up. Seven bills. Okay, let's see the map. Eight bills walking. They walk around like 20 seconds. Eight bills, they gather around 10 resources in 20 seconds. So their walking time is 80 resources. That's why I never walk. <laughs> and that's why we're doing that Kimura house strategy. <laughs> that's the new meta. <laughs> just jumping houses. <laughs> Alright, looks like Yo's just gonna avoid this for now. Good play from Viper. We did talk about how he's got a very exposed base, but he walled it up in the last like 30 seconds. So he did really well, really fast walls. And Viper is still committing to the water, like there's only one fishing ship left. Like it's not important. Viper it's will commit really to water not. even if there's no fishing ships and no fish left. I don't know what's wrong with like the water play from him. He needs to win it. <laughs> he wants the option. Another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wants to have the option. Understandable. His dog is on fire, there's no fish left, and he's still fighting. But actually, Yo's repairing for no reason here, yeah. Has to go back. Yeah, yeah Yo will win that one. Until the next one comes out. <laughs> if, it, if, if at least it was demo to blow up the villager, then I would agree. Yeah, yeah. Then no. Alright, it's going to be another town center for Viper now, so he wants to get some economy going. Uh, makes sense, I feel like, you know, one DC with Japanese is not that exciting, especially if you're on crossbows. Not a whole lot you can do to all in, so might as well go for the extra economy. And Yo's and got the Yo's knights. heavy on stone. He's Ooh. heavy on stone, he's planning the iron base switch. I like that. I like that, but I'm not sure if he wants to do a forward castle or a defensive. Because if he wants to do forward castle, he can start the siege push from now. Only risk mm -hmm. is the redemption. need mine, Yeah. yeah. And this is Look. what I'm talking about. Look, from this position, okay, Viper now remembering double bidak. From this position, right? <laughs> Yo switches to knights, and it's really good. He gets free post off, so he can add the siege, and he kind of, he, you don't die to crossbows. You just don't. It's, a, yeah. it's kind of a mistake. It's absolutely amazing spot. Like, Viper economy, seven villagers on foot. He cannot afford any economy upgrade anymore. He can barely afford the villagers, and mm -hmm. Yo is collecting relics. He got the knights, he got the map control. Yeah. He'll drop a castle. He can do whatever he likes. Yeah, really, really solid farm economy as well. Not getting wheelbarrow, and I'd almost rather see Yo add economy, like Yo add a TC. I don't think we need to all in with the forward castle or anything like that. We're so far ahead. Mm, yeah, yeah, I would rather see like a seed workshop to defend if needed and just do economy boom. Yeah, I agree. And also, like, even with a second tower near his stone, and he's fully defended, so his base is looking really good against archers, and he can just raid with knights constantly. And even with the knights, you don't have to raid. You can just hit like a, a house, try to kill that, try to break it on the top. Force Viper to react, even if it's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Viper cannot move out because he sees the number of the knights, and he doesn't know if there is a siege at home. If there is a castle on the way, like there is, he is stuck at home for a very long time, just defending his boom. Yeah, not 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 a huge fan of the castle, though. I have to be honest. Like, what is it really achieve? Well, I feel like. If we just add eco economy first, like more town centers, we, we pull ahead. This castle doesn't help us pull ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. But I was thinking about the position of the castle. Position is oh, a yeah. chain, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. No, position is good. Um, I just don't really like the, like rushing the castle now. Yeah, there was absolutely no need. Like, 40 yeah. boom, he was like, Viper is still not moving out. He, mm -hmm. And when you have knight, you attack the house, you force reaction. And you constantly know where the crossbow are. Exactly. As long as yeah. you know where the crossbow are, you boom at home. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're really smart out. Like this is really good, this is really high level play. Honestly, I like. That. I'm good coach. I you know are. my future. <laughs> honestly, I think you should just cast and coach for the most part. Like it's, 
Thank you, Jaron. Thank you. I, I think you're better at that than playing. <laughs> you're really good at that. But I'm still competing, man. Like, this is what you can so do. Decent. Bro, you're pretty good for sure. You're not bad. This is what you can do. Take some young guy, coach him, and say, I take 20% of your price pool, but we coach every single time. <laughs> And then do I like said that to Google, but I don't think I'll learn anything from price for there. <laughs> nothing yet from him. 20% of nothing is nothing. <laughs> you have to invest in the right people, man. <laughs> well, honestly, watching Morgul, I did co coach and watch one record game. He asked me, and there were so many mistakes. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Like He's 2.5, maybe even 2.6, but there are so, so many mistakes. And it makes sense. Like If I remember how... I don't know, you played so long ago, like when you improved, and you probably held a high level, obviously constantly improving, but for myself personally, when I kind of upped my level recently, it, it, if like me from three years ago was terrible compared to me now. It's just so many high level mistakes that are just uh, always being made, not really realizing it. And Marku is probably in the same spot. Yeah, but also meta is shifting constantly, so you need to adapt to that. Like, yeah. F like, Fire is still making only Galleys, like, he, he could, can, couldn't switch to Fire Galley meta for so long, because, like, let's go Galleys. In the end, Galleys worked out, right? But <laughs> yes, yes. Fire yeah. Galleys were stronger. <laughs> yeah, that's so good, yeah. <laughs> he was, either he was one step ahead or three steps behind, we don't know. <laughs> now Redemption comes in for Viper, he wants to somehow, like, get a strong army that can move out, so the monks can help out against, like, Siege and, and Knight, and it's a good idea, I think it's, uh, the only chance he has to move out here and to do some damage. And this is the problem. Yo's castle. He made it 20 like 20 vills ago. But instead of adding TCs, he made a castle. And now they're even vills, uh, vills. And only now the castle gets value. So if he made the TCs first, castle later, he would have more vills that he'd be ahead. Well, even like this, he's ahead. But he could already be in like winning game. <laughs> now Viper Army is very, very dangerous because, well, Burmese do miss the second armor on the range on it and that will hurt him he will have to commit to the knights and there are no paladins and arbalas will always trade efficiently here especially with some half of japanese in front yeah 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 arba hub and now we see the redemption from viper but he's got no sanctity didn't get a good conversion against you of course <laughs> of course <laughs> and now we see the around by switch and now the forward castle okay this is a really powerful play from you like this is a good timing to push Especially sniping that one monk, so now there are two Magonels. One will survive. Yeah, yeah. There's a second monk though, actually. One of them came. Oh, cool, sure. Cool. If you convert the knight, it's also fine. Uh, but on the hill, he converts the Magonel, can shoot the other one. No, not quite. And uh, I think Yo can get this, but decides not to risk it, just goes back. Okay, fair enough. Can't really fault him for that. And usually, when you see the score, you believe you're far ahead. And <laughs> let's just play it safe from now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, decent shot, and now we're pairing the Manganel, and now it's looking really good for Yo to take these fights. Viper's still trading okay though, has the monk to heal up any of the crossbows. Well, number of the crossbow is really scary, right? Once they turn into Arbalest, it still can be winnable for Viper. Yeah. But Yo is up to him, yeah, Yo is up yeah. to him. Okay, question from the chat. Someone's saying he's really confused why Viper's not going Pikes. Can you explain that actually? It's a, it's a really good reason why Viper's not going Pikes. Uh, tech switching here is very expensive. He needs a barracks. He needs to upgrade the pikeman. He needs to upgrade at least armor. Yeah. If he does all that, Yo is already in pure age and the pikeman don't counter anymore. Yeah. And Vi and Yo in that time would just never fight Viper. So like, he make the pikeman sure he wins every fight. Yo is taking zero fights, and then in pure age comes in and the pikeman are looking very useless. So that's exactly how. Pikeman it goes. are counter units. Yeah. You don't want, like even if you have like twenty. If Vi Viper had one hundred pikeman right now, he would not win the game. <laughs> yeah. There exactly. Is no value from them. That's actually depressing to think about. I, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't have nothing to do with them. Like, there are yeah. castles, there are TCs. That's it. Like, pikemen were good with uh, traps, and obviously they were good when you have economy to spare. Yeah. And when you have something to force the fights, because then the pikes, you know, doing well. Um, but in this situation... That's why pike and eagle combo is so powerful. Mm -hmm. Like, if he doesn't fight you, eagle just go in and raid. And if he fights you, you've got, you, know, you can't really target the, the halves properly. It's really strong. All right, Yo's a minute away from Imperial Age. Viper's just about to click. Yo also has two castles to one, so Yo's looking much better. But Viper's got this one ball of crossbows, which is quite strong, but he income that around by. Oh, oh, oh okay, is that bam? Uh, uh, around by is so satisfying to watch. Oh, it's so sad. I love the new around by. It's so good. <laughs> good trade from Viper, though, I think. Like, oh, that around by doing work. <laughs> They're doing work, man. 
Yeah, the whole mass, like that's the only thing Viper got for himself. Like a huge crossbow mass to, ta to convert into our bullets. Now he's down to five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty tactical trade from Yo. Even if he like quote unquote loses the fight, it's still fine. Now we see the help switch from uh, Viper. No, I see more ranges, GG. but GG called six six. Wow. It's like usually you don't want to trade before your imp, like because you can upgrade your units. But upgrading the elite armor is very expensive, and it's not that important. So. He definitely wanted to trade there. Mm -hmm. He also didn't know Viper's imp time, so just wanted to make sure, you know, he can trade before imp. Yeah, true that. Really ball play from Yo. I, I like, I think Viper made some mistakes, but I love how Yo played this one. Yeah, he knows he's weaker too. He forced a lot of reaction by going duck, and he just he held very, very well. <laughs> yeah. For me, bro. Oh, man. No, next game is African Clearing. Dallas, before looking at the Sims, what's the best tip on this map? Uh, Chinese by far. Yeah, it's not even close. It's and not. Even, I I think is you didn't <laughs> think through this when you put them up. I, I completely forgot how strong Chinese are. Like I realized that when Viper picked it the other day, and it's way too unfair. But anyways, let's hop into App and Clearing here, and of course Viper does have the Chinese. And the reason why it's so broken is that he just starts with an extra three bills, uh, when he makes his TC, but he doesn't have idle time like on a normal map. So he just makes like, you know. Three bills to take the shorefish, gets enough food to make a villain. As soon as the town center is up, he already can make a villain. That's so huge. Yeah, as you know, I'm a stats guy, and I check on the way to feudal. Chinese player got like between 400 and 500 more resources, yeah, and that's definitely. basically game over. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Chinese are missing nothing else as well. So let's see. I mean, maybe oh, maybe meal for you. <laughs> maybe he can do something with Spanish, but. I think it's unlikely. Yeah, the conks are the only tool that can surprise, even if it has less economy. Conks and monks, they're so powerful, but it would be a bit big economy lead for Viper. Mm -hmm. And his TC is also so good. Yo has a really good TC, though, to be honest. Like, Viper's TC is nice, but Yo's an amazing Ooh, TC. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for Spanish. Like, that's an amazing Spanish TC. Yeah. It's not only gold and stone, but it's even corner of the map. So you can keep your economy very safe for a very long time. Yeah, that's can, an amazing TC for him. Can easily wall. So I think like although Viper's gonna be up a few bills, well, getting loom early from Viper not amazing. So he's gonna be up only two bills. Uh, I don't know. Yo's oh, but this is a problem. The villagers are there exposed. That's a huge impact to your economy. Ah, uh, that's or why he got loom. Oh, oh, can we see the wall first? The wall. Yo, wh where's the reaction? Viper, quick wall. Where's Viper? Oh, what? oh yeah. I mean, might as well force that though. But anyways. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's smell anyway. forcing Yo to run is fine, but this is okay. Like, they're both running three bills at the end of the day, but of course, Yo gets to add the shorefish. Oh, Yo said to land the rhino. <laughs> oh, the elephant. That's really smart. Viper should take it. Mm, Viper doesn't think about that. That's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. obviously, that, that, the point is, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to yeah. grab it. Also, Yo, like the architect, he's building the whole wall. Just take the freaking <laughs> rhino, man. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that was a quick wall for the Rhino or it was like you're starting the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wall them up. <laughs> Let's already start walling. <laughs> All right, now the team goes right back side. to the shellfish later. He doesn't want to go lose that meal. <laughs> and he's going back like Viper's not going to just chase him. Okay, let's see the Yoko calls. He's going to try. Can. Okay, he's going to go for it. Nice. Uh, one bill. <laughs> And Viper will take some surfish <laughs> just so Yo doesn't kill everything. <clears throat> and now fast feudal from Viper. Um, this is correct. I think fast feudal is nice, but if Yo fast castle and just wall, he's going to be very safe, like completely safe from the scouts. Yeah. Which I assume Viper going to go for. Viper didn't know how good uh, Yo TC is. If he knew that this is like that, he would prefer fast castle. Mm -hmm. But it's not a big deal, right? To have a few scouts on the map. You see the everything, grab the sheaves, lock it relics. It's good. It's never wrong. Yeah, I agree. Especially, like, this is what Viper sees, right? Um, so he sees a good amount of the map, but a lot of it's still dark. So just scout to control the map, see what's going on, is always getting value, 100%. And we can already check the stats. Even with going up so much faster, he could have more. Yeah. And Viper is just going to be, or sorry, Yost is going to be walling up here. Typical Yost style, but in this case, he has to. It makes sense. And Viper's got to build Viper, forward. Interesting. 
Maybe Tower Rush, like, that's not too bad to, like, complete all in, but I don't know. Against your map, <laughs> not gonna work. Yeah, there's nothing really to Tower Rush. The gold, maybe you can hit a little, but the stone will 100% stay safe. Um, yeah, it'll be tricky. I think you just want to make sure that you are not going outside for initial fish. Okay, you can be in that your corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you cannot use the food. You need farms, and then that's already a big economy deal. Piper's you made even a house on the surfish and the outpost there, so he sees all the surfish. No, that's really good. I wouldn't be mad if he gets town watch. By the way, I think town watch would be really cool. And now we see a stable, <clears throat> and the builds are coming forward. So it's going to be a tower rush and, and scout, which is uh, a good strat for sure, but. Yo's map is excellent to defend this. Yeah, he cannot make a tower to deny him stone, and that's kind of the biggest deal. But he can tower his gold, that's something as well. Yo will not be, yeah, Yo will not be in feudal in time, even with Spanish builders, it's not enough. Luckily for you, he got a lot of ships left over, so he won't need farming right away. It's not my job to cast, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, there's not much to say. I'm just I'm just waiting for the tower goes up to see the reaction here. I mean, yo got a lot of sheep. He's gonna get forced off the gold. This looks still okay for Yo, honestly. He's gonna be having a really fast castle as well behind us. I think I mean, Viper should just kill both of houses. <laughs> the dark huge houses melt. Just kill yeah, them right yeah. away if you Kill them with those for sure. No, don't go off, Viper. I mean, this oh, is so awkward. Wants Look at tower on stone. Yeah. I can see that, but I don't know. I think he's really trapping himself now. <clears throat> if you finish the wall and send the villagers to fight, he wins the game, I believe. Send everything, like that's it. Yeah. Wall, so he cannot escape to the tower and send everything. Or villa market. Mm, yeah, I, I agree with that. The wood bills, he doesn't need any bills on wood right now. So you take all those. Like, Yo would lose five villages, but he would kill five and he would uh, kill the pressure as well. But Viper's tower isn't even hitting the stone. Like, this is not this is not good at all, in fact. Ooh, yeah. He will need fletching. And even that, there's still one mine that I'm sure Yo can take. Yo can always buy the last hundred stone he needs. He's at the castle now once he finishes the market. Will he lose oh, a bill? He's or? up. <laughs> yeah, he's up. <laughs> it's looking good for Yo. I don't know how, but. Yeah, I think like Viper really really committed heavily for this, but it's not really finding him the damage he wants, and all of a sudden, Viper is very far from hitting Castleage. Yo's strategy is much better so far. Yeah, Viper idea was good, but not against this map. Like he he's chapped, he didn't do that much, he only got him a gold. Yeah. Hundred percent. Fletching is in and still two bridges can work. Yeah, he'll get exactly enough. Yeah, yeah. 40 stone left on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a big question. Where does you make a castle? Like, where, where would you make the castle here? You're so trapped here. Yeah. The scouts are outside. I think you have two choices. You either like uh, make it right next to the blacksmith and then say you, you'll lose like one, two bills, or you just make it, delete the gate and make it at the back. Clear the tower at the back and play from there. I like the forward castle better, but I don't know. Depends. But Viper is even doing armor for scouts. He's like, you will not make a normal castle. Okay. That's what smart thinking. He needs to delete something for the castle. Like, there is not a single place. Mm. I mean, he could just delete the two houses on the left and just make it there if he wants to as well. <laughs> there, there is Relic. <laughs> the Relic is blocking that? I, I think he could still make it before the Relic. <laughs> yeah, I think right here next to the Blacksmith makes the most sense. But I, I don't I, I don't mind, like... Yeah, Viper's even keeping the spear on the right side where he can make a castle. So Viper's really thinking about that. Even doing the attack upgrade, like, does he know the Kongs beat scouts in Feudal? <laughs> yeah, I think that might be a little overcommitment. That spear goes down. Yo. Oh, he's in the well, He wanted gate. to jump in. He wanted to jump in, and you already walled in. <laughs> yeah. That's a oh, high the risk, blacksmith. low reward. Yeah. Scouts accomplish nothing, yeah. I kind of like deleting the blacksmith because you don't really need it. Oh, but the scouts are coming in. Yo, oh, Ooh, can't you? Oh, <laughs> upgrades paying off. Okay, sorry, yeah. Viper, for judging. That's not too That's bad. That's paying off. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, actually, no kills there. Like, one kill, maybe? No, zero kills, I think. But they're all heavily injured. Yeah. And Run now down. we see the first kill. I think that's worth it still for Viper. Like, this has to be worth it. He's delaying the castle so much as well. We'll kill a second build. Yeah, that's for sure worth it. But if he didn't do all those upgrades, he would still be in a way faster castle. It's like a huge investment for him. Um, like, you can drop a TC now on some surfish and get the villagers back in time before by priest castle and having the conks in the mouth. Like, he delayed the conks like sure. two minutes. Like, that. Mm, I think it was worth it. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Now, absolutely worth it to dive in, but doing extra scouts, doing all the upgrades just to do this, was that worth it? Like yeah. It was huge, huge investment, and he kind of did count on your mistake as well. Yeah, yeah. Keep all those villagers around. <laughs> that's why I don't like it exactly. Counting on the mistake is always like not a consistent way to play. Now Viper's up the castle, but it's 2 minutes 30 seconds where you always got conks. Like un uncontested conks on the field. Give him next age workshop just to get rid of that tower, he wants gold back. Yeah, yeah, let's make a ram. And he's taking the gold on the left hand side for the time being. Yo had to delete his uh, blacksmith, but it didn't really matter too much. And yo, look yeah. at the conk going straight for the... Sh Oh. Yep. This is a luck fest, right? The map is so big, he knows Viper is using some surfish. He needs to find. Like, there's yeah. so many surfish around the map. Find the correct one. And a jackpot. Yeah, I got lucky right off the bat. Find two bills. <clears throat> kind of crazy that he just went directly there, though. Like, that, that was really weird. I guess he knows his forward bills, but... Hello, yo. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And he's gonna go... This one he knows. Like, this one, that's fine. He knows there's a mill there, so that, that makes sense. I probably moved a few villages off there to go to the gold, but yeah, those are the. Yeah, Yo is playing insane today. Yeah, this is really solid. On the left hand side, also has two conks looking for this mill. Wow, I mean, he's finding everything. He's really finding everything. It's such a big map. Obviously, you only search for the lakes. Yeah. <laughs> but still, like, what's your vision? That's he, yeah, he just scouted the whole map with the shapes. It's yeah, not yeah. lucky. Like, he sees the whole map. And he knows exactly where to go to the conks. Yeah, very, very well done. And he found like, he could have found zero bills maybe, but he didn't find like five bills, and that's huge. I have to say, it's not like the your ship scout in the whole game was so on point. He sees everything. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. <clears throat> it's not like the conversions. It's, it's not luck. <laughs> conversions are other thing, but here he he knew this would happen. He. Dedicate his life to scout the whole map and then raid it cons. This plan was like pre-made and it's working really good. And now the build bandit from Chinese is completely gone. Yo is like two builds behind, but it's no big deal. Like he's completely fine. He's got the conks. Viper is now kind of in a weird position. He's got crossbows, which is good against conks, but he can't really attack because there's a castle. And he can't really catch the conks because they're faster. And so what are the crossbows actually doing here? Protecting himself, yeah. It's a surviving technique. Yeah. But surviving technique is not enough in most cases here. I feel like, yeah, Yo just goes second PC here and Viper's in trouble. Viper's also in the middle of the map. It's so awkward. Like, what can you really do about this? This is basically the last game, right? <laughs> Viper committing to the archers, being stuck while Yo have the higher tech units and raiding. You know who's really feeling bad right now? Tato. <laughs> Tato. Tato's feeling terrible because Viper has to win 11 7 or more. And this is basically the last loss. So Tato's feeling really bad here. And it's not that, it's like the matchup that should be an instant win. Like yeah. both of them, Japanese on that map, yeah. Confusion Fishing here, Chinese, two best teams. I guess you're staying more than that or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now we see Yo remaking the blacksmith, getting some armor. He cleared up the tower back home and just using the, the ramp to clear up some mills or whatever building he can find. Viper makes a knight to try to snipe that. Population is pretty neck and neck, but definitely Yo is in a much better position. I, I feel like Viper is actually kind of screwed. Yeah, soon enough, you will probably commit to the stone and drop a second castle on that solid looking hill in front of Viper base. Yeah, right there, man. Not, nothing you can do if Yo gets that one. <laughs> and how does he stop it? Like, Yo doesn't even need to read. Just sit on that hill and wait for stone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, good snipe from Viper on that mango. Oh, it's a little sloppy Oof. from Yo, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big mistake. He, I guess he didn't expect the knight. Like, yeah. there was, he was passing the stable. Like. And Viper made a knight to kill the ram on the right hand side, so this knight's finding a lot of value against the siege. And I don't know, man, Yo's looking around for some vills, but Viper's doing pretty well on defense so far. 
But as we said, Viper's Cross was only on defense. Nothing else you can do with them. The Kongs did lose the Vampire Sarmo, so Crossbow are somewhat to cage now against them, but... Ooh, will he find those top villages? Miss your look in the stream or not? Let's see, let's see. If he goes there, he's stream cheating. <laughs> well, he already uh, targeted them. Like, like, <laughs> that, that was... <laughs> I mean, I think he was just running away, but <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> That was crazy. Hello, Mr. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> now he finds the TC. Like, no way. <laughs> like, he already clicked them. Like, yo, at least you can sub, right? <laughs> oh, yo got an ad. He has to wait 30 seconds. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and finds the TC. Freaky, he has like, no. It's oh, 35%. He's it's not going. The game will be all right there. Yeah, that was like the game ending move. Just passed it, though. Is the, maybe it doesn't want to make it too obvious. <laughs> you see, I didn't see this one. <laughs> Not finding the stone. Yep, yep. <laughs> Taking those two bills. Uh, if I was cheating, I would obviously <laughs> like kill the PC <laughs> villagers, right? You need to know when you cheat to balance out. Exactly, exactly. Not like Song Song. <laughs> I honestly remember when I was cheating in the high school. I on purpose got C because A would be like too obvious, right? I sucked at that. It was French. Oh yeah, <laughs> taking like the, <laughs> a medium grade. <laughs> yeah, I will take C. That's possible. Like, but I could have went for A, right? Some idiots went for the A and they got banned right away. Like, oh god, that's so dumb. You need to know how to cheat, man. Yeah, that you can coach on that as well. <laughs> Spanish conks looping around here. Mangalos coming forward, and Yo is back at the stone now. He had almost enough to go for the forward castle. And Viper made a counter at the at the foot of the hill. So like, if the castle's gonna hit two TTs now, <laughs> if it goes up, game is over no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And Viper's like his his archers are constantly just perma out of position, but there's no position for them anyways. Like there's no place for them to be at the moment. Maybe he'll market, balance economy, and then go ballistics. I guess. If he didn't want those crossbow, eventually those conks would run into them. Like now he's always like chasing the mm -hmm. ghost. Yeah. And Yo is uh, yeah, 30C now. Yeah, looking good economy. More villagers <laughs> by a lot. Yeah, yeah, by a mile. <clears throat> Viper's in uh, a tough, tough position here. Let's see the micro against the uh, Magno. Now he goes ballistics. I know a few things as well, Dot. I'm calling the game. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Here Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now sell the gold, buy the castle, and let's go next game. <laughs> Listen, we've seen enough here. <laughs> Yo's seen enough, he's seen the whole map. <laughs> and we're just going. Back first. Hey guys, Yo Yo's not actually cheating, it's just that he got lucky multiple times in a row. I don't know, man. Those mocks, he probably knows something. <laughs> yeah, if anything, I'm accusing him for cheating on the mocks and not on, and not on the map. <laughs> And yeah, that's the perfect castle. Even made it a little further back to split safe. <laughs> Even Donkey's there. Oh, conversion oh. to Donkey, don't work it. Yeah, yeah, it's not coded for the donkeys. <laughs> it's, it's not the same. Card coded for the monks, like. <laughs> He's a bug in the code there. And Viper calls the GG. And Yo, for the first time in the series, takes the lead. 7 6 in a great fashion there. Well done from Yo. Yeah, those two games so heavily behind in Steel's choice, but he, he just made it work. You know what? Smarter play. I think this is Yo's strength of just playing well with a shitty Sith, like or not the, like not a bad Sith, but like with the worst Sith. I think he's really good at that. Mm, yeah, I agree. He does bad with that. And when I look at his APM, I know there is still hope for me. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Basically, mm -hmm. if Yo wins, can Tato be third? Uh, if Yo wins, Tato's fourth. Even Actually, if Viper doesn't win any game anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me check the. No, no. If, if Yo wins, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, if Yo wins, Tato's third. So now <laughs> Tato's saying if Viper can't do it, <laughs> let's go, Yo. Yo's this man. So either Yo wins or Viper wins the next four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Happen in. But if score is 11 10 for Viper, then Tato's Tato fourth. Third? fourth. Yeah. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> That's so bad to watch and cheer. Like, for what do I cheer at this point? Like? No, like, Viper has to win 11 7. 
Did Viper wins 11, oh, 8, 11, 9? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Viper has to win five in a row for Tata to get third place. So Tata's got a lot on the line right now. He's watching and shaking. Uh, Viper's got the Vietnamese here. Pretty solid civilization. And Yo has the Saracens. I think the Vietnamese are much stronger than the Saracens overall right now, to be honest. Why market is broken? Uh, well, I, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not one of those guys. It's cheaper, better prices. Like, <laughs> Saracens cannot lose. Uh, Vietnamese have a really solid economy these days. Like, the, the wheelbarrow happening 50% faster or 100% faster is so good in half the time. Uh, that and would have as well. Would have been as <laughs> well, like exactly. <laughs> Get like five votes because of that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Always gotta gotta factor that in, man. Always gotta factor that in. And now, but yeah. honestly, Vietnamese, I don't use a draft in that much, but they're insane now. Like they used to be very good, yeah. but now doing the wheelbarrow in feudal gives such a good economy in Castle Age. No, hundred percent, yeah. And I think in general, Vietnamese have been. Oh, I forgot to get that boring. In general, Vietnamese have been very solid because they can do like the the characters that are solid. They can do scouts, archers, no problem. They get bloodlines. They have a lot of options, and their late game is fantastic. Like, nothing wrong with the late game. Bomber Cannon, Imperial Skirms, really good light cow. Yeah. Yeah, they have everything. Exactly. Even Unique Unity is not bad. Yeah, they also have Elephants that they can go for in some cases. So, they are a very well-rounded tip, and in my opinion, one of the best tips in the game right now, in terms of Arabia. Mm, yeah, for Clash of Empires, I didn't draft them at all for some reason. Like. Need to reconsider that. Yeah, no, for sure. Definitely reconsider. Because, like, I don't know if they're, like, top one. Like, that's a hard claim to make. Because Portuguese, Chinese, of course, always still really good. But Vietnamese, I think, are closer to the top five or top ten than to the top 20 right now. Like, even against Mesotives, the extra HP on Archer helps so much. Mm -hmm. Especially in Feudal Age. I've been saying that that's been, like, a really underrated bonus for a long time. It's so annoying to play against that. It's so annoying. Like, Skirm vs. Skirm, they're so much stronger. Archer vs. Archer, they're so much stronger. And then, like, their archers for your scouts are just unkillable. It just feels very, very smooth for them. And what Saracens can do? Yo will obviously wall, right? He is already making the houses. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, mark it into what? Well, I think the best play for him is probably just to... Mm, probably play, like, a crossbow market play. But not to go for a push. I think just play like a standard with, with economy. I'm not sure though. Maybe a, a crossbow siege push can be interesting as well. I think that Viper's map is so good that it's hard to crossbow siege this. Oh, I think I got a new meta for Saracens. What's that? Use market, fast castle boom. I think it's really you... good actually. <laughs> yeah, you will think pressure is coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You're slow defending. You're quick water. You're making tower at home and I'm just like quite easy booming. I, I, I think it's actually not a bad idea. Especially if you like... Show like a monastery or something like that, or like show like something to pretend you're pushing, but then you add economy and then it's gonna be awkward. Open the stable, make one scout, put it inside. He doesn't know if I'm going knights after, like, mm -hmm. or range with Kelly Archer, whatever. Like, it's always a threat, but I can just boom as well. Yeah. And before your opponent realizes this, sometimes you're just way too far ahead. So Saracens are a very tricky sieve. And I think the expected strategy is to push. And... Yo's gonna go first scout opening, so scouts and walls for him, which is fairly solid. Has a pretty good map, can easily wall the top. Uh, bottom is pretty open though, like that's a big wall to make. <laughs> he will do it. Yeah, he will like do it. one market and few yeah. health. Oh, never mind. No, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> this palace that wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we'll see the market on top, probably. Yeah, here it comes, here it comes, the market. No, no, don't wall like that. Oh my god, that's terrible. Please fix that, yo. He doesn't see the wood line on top, Oof. but like, even still. Does man. he see the edge of the screen? Like, there is no more map anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so bad. He's one tower. Okay, now he sees the wood. Please fix it, yo, please. He has to realize. Oh, but this is so bad. This is so bad. It's like, not only is he walling less of the map, but he's also spending more to wall less of the map. Okay, now he fixed there it. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> perfect, thank you. Okay. Okay, now he's just, he, he just has to use Doubt to Market style here. Well, he's still not on gold, but still, he got stone to work with. Yeah. Market is a must. Like, if you play Saratus without market, then, then I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Then with something that. is wrong with you. Then you're just a hater. You're just hating on the market. <laughs> I mean, I thought back in the day, I had this idea that sometimes with the Saracen, you can use the market later on. Like, you don't have to use it in feudal, you can just save it for later. But that's an incorrect approach because the the late the more you wait on it, the less value you get from it. So you actually have to use the market in feudal age. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the biggest deal is farmers take time. You need wood. It takes time to create the food as well and market just goes on. Let, let me tell you something that I, I got from a YouTube comment. So someone said that pros are using the market wrong with the Saracens. They're taking a lot of gold and then using the gold to buy food. But what we should be doing is actually chopping wood a lot, selling the wood and then buying the food that way. Because the wood gather rate is 28.1 per minute. Or, yeah, I think per minute. And then the gold gather rate is 22 per minute. So the wood has better gather rate, and so therefore you get more resources that way. I think I just want my next tournament then. Uh, That's like a huge increase in, increase in my economy. Do, do you agree with that? Like, do you think it's good? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, you do both, <laughs> but don't be uh, afraid to go more villages on gold. I will, I will still send villages on gold, yeah. but you don't need to go as heavy. Yeah, instead instead of second mining camp, you just do like 9 on gold, 10 on gold, and then put like 2, 3 more on on, uh, on wood, and then sell some wood. And you always want to like flow through wood because you need TCs, farms, whatever. Uh, I like that a lot. He did the math. I didn't quite like read the whole thing and like think about it, but I read it and it sounded good on paper. Um, in Castlate for sure, like when you get the old upgrades. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the bow saw as well, it's it's really huge. <clears throat> yeah, the the prices are different, but I, I, he he did the math for everything. Like he, he looked like really thought out. So I I, 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 I think there's something there, honestly. Maybe you're just debating and chill, and then like next next time you play, like, <laughs> no, 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 I make the market just to see the wood prices go down. Like <laughs> he's selling wood, he has no idea. <laughs> No, I, I I swear, like it's. I think it's actually like he's onto something, but I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure again. I'm not a math person, hundred percent. But uh, either way, one thing is for sure: selling stone is more efficient. That's something we rarely do, but that's uh, that's better price. <laughs> that shows right away. Yeah, but the problem with that is that the stone is very unnatural. Like you have to wait for a hundred to get value of it. But if you're taking gold, you're spending the gold naturally and then buying some. Yeah. So I actually don't like the stone. Yeah, I guess so. And the market went down. He is actually doing the boom approach. Oh, getting horse collar. Not really planning to push, so could easily buy back the stone and just go for a go for a little bit of a boom. And Viper is going going two ranges, so maybe he wants to go CA. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be CA from Viper. Mm, yeah, that's a good unit too. Well, is it against camels of Saracens more HP? They keep forgetting like the, the Saracens are good, man. <laughs> Yo's house walling behind <laughs> Palace. Well, he has to do that. <laughs> I think if Viper, if Yo tries to push, it's a big mistake. And I think he will. He has four spears. I think that's a huge mistake. Uh, he's sending the villagers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Boom is way better, actually. Way better. Because against CA, obviously, Yo doesn't know. But against CA, especially, Boom is amazing. Mm, but then again, at low numbers, Camel are just, Cam uh, Camels will be insane. Problem is Viper Gold is a really really good spot. Like, yeah, you cannot that, push that. that's the big problem, right? And uh, that being said, you, like Viper's buildings are all in the front. So if Yo can get a position, go for Ram Scorpion. I think he can kill a lot of buildings really quickly. Goes to Siege Workshop in the center of the map. A little, a little bit far, further behind than I would have liked, but it's still okay. Yeah, not the end of the world. Yeah, few camels. There, this can actually he's going night. Well, Knight starts. I guess there's a few spears on the field, a few archers. Knight makes more sense right now. He's not sure of the cavalry archers, right? Yeah, yeah, we, exactly. We have the casters, we see everything, yeah. Yeah, Knight is fine. He's gonna see now the archers for the first time. Has to back up. He can make a scorpion if he wants to, just to help out. I think that would be a good idea, but the knight should be enough, I think. Yeah, scorpion comes through. And now we see the monastery. Now, Viper, like, what's the plan here? Viper is actually going archers. <laughs> He's not going cavalry archers. Yeah. Like, he already had a stable, and like, cavalry archers is such a better unit in those type of the strategic games. Uh, I Mobility think so is a well. huge factor. Yeah, I think so as well. I think with the crossbows, he's way more susceptible to scorpions, to mangan elves. Cavalry could just ignore the whole thing and like snipe monks and stuff. <laughs> and go to the enemy base as well. Like, here you're stuck forever. Oh, and Yo's actually starting to mine some stones. So he's going to go for like a proper market style here. Or <laughs> it's a castle, maybe even. <laughs> Mamluk transition. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I was thinking, you know, he doesn't want to deal with the Saracen Camel, so he's just going to go archers instead. Goes for the crossbow, going for light cab as well. It's already preparing to counter the monks. Not a bad choice, not a bad choice. Well, the crossbow mass did work for him first two games, so why not continue? <laughs> exactly. 
And now we see a ram, a scorpion, and a mango. So one of everything. Outpost always a nice addition for those uh, those pushes. Ooh, the light cave with a snipe. Oh, that's big. That's huge. Oh, Even the man. monks, like, oof, that hurt. Oh, wow. He's gonna, he's gonna get two monks. And he's gonna get a mangonel. And that's so, so good. Wow. That really hurt the momentum of you. Behind that, just heading to DC. And that's, yeah, that, that's buying so much time here. Mm, you're losing a bill. Garrison's the other one. Might lose a scorpion. Well, he was doing well with the ram at least, but losing so many, so many siege units, not not very efficient. The light capture well, sniper was great. You did say at the beginning, like you don't like the position of these yeah, buildings. Yeah. If they were closer, this would not happen. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, Yosh trying to protect this push, but then the reinforcements are just taking so long to get there. They're so far away, exactly. And yeah, even the crossbows are even doing damage against the ram now. Ram moves faster these days. It got buffed, so it's actually doing pretty well. I think he needs to fill it up with six units and then it's like a mongol round. Yeah, then it's very fast. The light cap even survives. Viper goes from monastery, which I think he will. He's going to be completely fine. And now we see a mangano push. And from here, Yo has to double down. He could go for a castle if he wants to, but I think better is maybe going for a uh, monk push. Like adding in um, another monastery maybe. Because monks, if you mass them up, they don't really die to light cap that much. If you get like four or five at Sanctity. But that's a long ahead, like he only got one monk now. Losing those two monks even hurt like in that mass. Yo doesn't have a real army, right? Yeah. It's a little bit of everything, low upgrades and... No. This is at home to back away. Ooh, losing, losing the African. villager. Yeah, that's terrible. Really, really bad. Now let's see another... This is very sloppy from Yo. I, I really don't... Like, the strategy was fine, but the execution is just abysmal. Just terrible. Well, they're just making Tattoo nervous. <laughs> yeah, that is the real main character here. Yo needs to try to go for a mangano shot on the, on the crossbows. Just try something, man. Oh, another monk snipe. Oh, get a decent and... shot on the crossbows, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We have to miss crossbows, they can survive. Yeah, yeah, they actually take a lot more, uh, a lot more damage and can tank it. 42 HP is not too bad. And now Viper might and be thinking about the counterattack. attack yeah. He, he finished the monk upgrades, but he doesn't have a single monk on the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got Sanctity to boost the HP of zero monks. <laughs> no. He's adding TCs, now he's like, okay, push is dead, let's try, <laughs> let's try something else. I think that's not really 100% solid idea. Maybe pushing more is better, but Viper's got a castle, actually. So, you know what? Yo's idea to boom here might actually be the only good strat, the only good approach. Well, at this point, for sure, like, yeah. economy is somewhat similar. The score is still close, so he knows he didn't... He's not out of the game yet. But problem is, uh, I feel Vietnamese will scale way better, especially when you already open crossbow and yeah, your mass yeah. is uh, growing and growing. Redemption. Yeah, Redemption's a weird one. That's a very expensive upgrade, especially for on one that monastery. That one monk, that one monk, we have some heavy upgrades on here, like... <laughs> <laughs> Redemption, though, I feel like it's only worth if you're if you're really in a siege war, like not just randomly picking it up. Well, let's see. More monks coming, I guess. Well, a Viper won't expect Redemption to be there, I guess. So that's, that, that's a factor. And Viper's Castle. Mm -hmm. Pretty good situation. Pretty good position on that. I would like to see Viper Stone along the left side. I rarely suggest that, but here would be perfect. Now you're being picky. Well, it's the best place in the world. We have to... <laughs> <laughs> Expect the best. And he's on t on t two TC for a very long time. Like he really yeah. was afraid of starting to push. Yeah, yeah. He needs to add a third one pretty soon if he wants to like stay competitive with those three TC. Otherwise, he might risk falling behind. Uh, Viper could try to play for a bit of a all-in castle though, if he wants to stay two TC. He's got CA, he's got siege. It's not too bad. Mm, yeah, but seventeen food. Can you really <laughs> do anything with that? Yeah, still a pretty fragile economy. Is and it's in. like gym for Vietnamese is also early hand cards and a lot of farmers. Then you're then you're leaving the gym. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the CA are coming in and the monks are mm, Mr. <laughs> Gets one. Ah, not too bad. This is not exactly amazing play from Viper, by the way. That's not worth it. No. And again, like every game so far, Viper Crossbow is just moving around the map doing nothing. <laughs> 
You know what it is? It's hard to find value. Yo, house walls the entire map. So cross it's very hard to find damage with crossbows. Like, that's a really big factor. I think it's actually Yo yeah. playing so well. Yeah, yeah, Yo's style is very good at defending those mm -hmm. meta styles. Those crossbows. I think that's why Yo has a lot of success on the ladder. Like a lot of the a lot of the 2 fours, 2 fives you have, they I feel like are one trick in the crossbow play. Like very, very one trick. And Yo is really good against that. Stay with the Manganel. Damn oh, right. Quick, quick wall. Oh, oh, the Manganel. Hmm. <laughs> he can repair it. No. Oh, it's just stuck Never there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. And that's monastery behind the base. Like, what are you supporting? Two camels, three spearmen, and the whole. <laughs> well, and uh, the gym, like. <laughs> you know what? A couple of monks here, and he can actually buy a lot of time. Yo is actually almost up to Imperial Age, dude. I don't know where he's getting <laughs> the researches from, but. Market. The market's helping out. Imagine if he just goes like forward castle here. Up to Imperialage, this is really good. I don't know, Yo is doing it. Yo is really doing it. Like he's buying so much time. Viper got huge army value, but he's doing nothing. Oh, we need the good Magnar shot here though, or else I feel like Viper is gonna clean up this whole push very fast. Yeah, and the monastery looking very bad. I think waiting for a couple monks there could have been good. Monks would help out a lot. I don't think Viper would allow that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pushing. Ooh, good shot, good shot. That can help out a little bit. Viper gets okay, a and adding 40 C, right? I love that. That's so good. That's so good. Because Joe's economy right now doesn't support him. But if he can get 40 C, by the time he hits him, he'll have like 100 bills. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a good economy. And now also taking two uh, relics. Good. Yeah, we'll have it like he <laughs> like transitioned the relic from the middle monastery back home. Yeah, very solid. Yeah. The only thing is, like, should have made, yeah, yeah, made this monastery further back, exactly. It's still forward. <laughs> Freaking yo, and now going for a castle here. <laughs> Not on the hill next to it, that's interesting. I think on the hill up here would be better, but fair enough. Yo, with 1k more resources. Stars don't lie. Well, they kind of are, because it's the market, but... <clears throat> Thank you. Fair enough. And he's getting <laughs> all the eco upgrades now as well. Like, yo's economy is really good. Viper is... He's on top to him. Like, he could have been up like two minutes ago. Yeah, you're not clicking now. I think I think he didn't want to go in so fast though, because then Viper knows what he's doing. You know? I, I honestly don't know how, how Yo is doing this. Like, he felt so out of the game. His push got denied. He didn't do anything. <clears throat> he invested into so many upgrades. Like, three months got sniped, Magonal, everything. And, yeah. well, I like his spot better now. It's like the push with the boom behind it's so interesting. Now Viper, the problem for Viper is that he's not going to expect Yo to be up there, but if we can't expect it, the Viper's not. And so Viper might invest very heavily into Castleage, he's going to play like, you know, he's way further ahead. And he's not going to realize that Yo is actually two minutes away from Imperial here. Mm -hmm. Well, the only problem for Yo is like Vietnamese are slightly better too, right? Sartans are also super good at him, got Kassar, Sarbolet. Ooh. Oh my <laughs> god, I mean, how is that possible, dude? Oof. Like, I think Viper hates that or something like that. <laughs> it's like, that did something to Viper. My god, this is crazy. You never expect to see a mistake like that. Wow. Wow. Yikes. Yeah, that's just brutal. That's like 68 down. And those CA, man, we need to master them. But look at Viper. Three Rathans, three CA, five crosses. <laughs> what is he going for? What is he going for? That's the, that's the point. Confused opponent, like. Yeah. He got a little bit of everything and then he will decide later what does he must. Yo's a little confused himself though. Two Scorpions, two Mamluk, and two Mangonels. <laughs> Both Those players. Two Mamluks. <laughs> Looks so damn cool there with the time. <laughs> and now we see another castle and Yo is gonna win the trap war. Viper's making the wrong calls. Viper does not read, he's not reading the game properly at all. He's th he thinks he's way further ahead. He thinks he's gonna be the first to imp. Cast in the center, completely fine. But he doesn't realize Yo is so far ahead right now. In terms of Imperial Age time. Yep. Yeah. Because Viper was 2 TC for a very long time. Mm -hmm. If he was 3 TC while defending, I think he could match that, but not like this. Not like this. Now let's see Viper's reaction. He's gonna immediately try to go in for sure. It's the only thing he can do. Nothing more to be done in Castle Age here. Trying to rage with some Wrath and Archer. It's not like Viper's out of the game. Uh, Viper just has to like go up to Imp now and kind of buy some time. He still has more villagers, but Yo will have some momentum here, especially on 4 TCs. Mm -mm. But what is your unit? Just Kassar? I think it's going to be like a monk Kassar push initially, but it can play towards some really solid comp later. I think just getting value from the Trebs first is solid, and then play towards something else. Maybe he can play even to Siege Onager if he wants to. 
Bomber cannot will be a problem, but yeah, the Saturn and Siege yeah. is not a bad option. Like Siege Hunter, Monk, Hussar, like that kind of style is interesting, it's not bad. The Rat Dogs are dying very fast to the light cap as well, by the way. And they're low upgrade, it's not like Imperial Age matters yet, yeah. yet only the thing that is imp is the traps. Which is quite a big deal. Yeah, yeah, traps are so strong. And there's a Megano from Yo into the castle, but it's gonna go down. Yeah, I think it, monks to convert the bomber cannons, onagers or the trebs. You have the siege onager, um, sorry, the siege tech for, for Saracens counterweights, making the onager and the treb fire faster. No, they attack stronger. <laughs> they get 10% attack or something. Really? I thought they attack faster. They're Japanese. Oh, okay. So they, okay, so they have more damage. Hmm. Okay, my bad. Okay, that's not as good actually, but I guess it's still fine. <laughs> it's something. And Viper is already switching to the pikeman. It, like, brilliant move would be like, wipe it. Yo, show two stables, your light cap, and now it's like, add ranges. Like, yeah, behind the pikeman. Like, that, that, that's something nobody does yet. At least yeah. not constantly, but that I think is the future of here. It's just I next level. Games. Yeah, next level mind games. And like, you hide the transition, so your opponent has no way to like expect it. It's gonna be just a mess. Viper, coming to waste more CA, are we? <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm done with those. <laughs> I choose Rathons like you can take them. The CA are just out there to die, man. Getting the highlights, but the wrong way. Now Viper's gonna try some Monk's play from himself, but it's against Leo, so it's futile. <laughs> Yo converts a couple CA, not too bad. And he's got the Meganoth, but this is too little uh, firepower here from Yo. The mangonels. There's a couple of scorpions behind to deal with the pikes. I think Viper out micros this. It should be fine. Yeah, it's easy clean yeah. up. Easy clean up there for him. Like, your gets cleaned up and goes Kai's score up to that fight. Like, <laughs> makes no sense. Like, I don't know how. I cannot explain you. Yeah, he's very, very weird place though. And the cast on the bottom side with the two traps, like. So uh, I, Yeah, I, I, I like that. I watch you a little bit. Like, those. Little things I never do or rarely are so annoying. And the thing is, like, he took a fight in the center. Most people say, okay, bad fights. But yo, took that fight to buy time to the left. Like, he didn't take that to win the fight. It's so so, it's so smart, actually. Like, it's such a big win. Like, you will snipe the castle. You will have your own castle in front of the base <clears throat> on the kill. And you will get the stone. And now it's going like ranges. Huge win. And Viper can't see the ranges. Look at that. He's going to go ranges. And he's going to hide them. And he's going to go Arbalest to counter all the helps. So, so sick. And he's got the position on the hill. Viper's in. Viper's just getting outplayed, to be honest. Don't tell me you're always waiting for like hand cannon here. Uh, I think hand cannons are really bad here. Oh, he's gonna yeah, go hand yeah. cannons. I think Arblast is better, no? It's a longer transition, mm, though. Yeah, but... yeah. Like hand cannons against Rattans, I don't think that's as good. But the Arblast against Rattans aren't great either, so maybe. But they're yeah. better sniping our, uh, the halves, right? Halves, yeah, yeah. Hand cannons miss a lot, they shoot slow. Okay, well, well maybe I'm start. wrong, like, you're from wrong many times in this series. Yeah, yeah. Viper is 200 pop, but Viper, no, he's 200 pop, but it's a lot of military, you can't really do anything with it. Viper's trying to raid on the, it, it, on the top, okay. It's like fish and fish game, and I said, like, if he had 100 pikemen, doesn't matter, that's the scenario here. Yeah. He's 200 army, but he, he doesn't have pressure. Yeah. No map control, no siege, he's, like, just waiting to, to die. Oh, oh, a rab, no with, a rab with six halves coming in, that's coming in really fast, but <laughs> I don't think it's doing much. The halves have to run now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And Yo's gonna go for rams. Sea drive is really powerful. I like that tech. Yeah, that's typical. Your side attacks with siege rams. Yeah. Keep the pressure, constantly spamming attacks all over the place. Yeah, Viper's the army, the like, traps. if you would only decide to fight, man. Viper win the game if so you decide to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That army is unstoppable. <laughs> so many units. And very well upgraded. The Rathans are actually really solid. Halvadir, of course, full armor. But Yo is not fighting. He Yo will fight under the, the hill, like, near his castle. He's happy to fight, but he's not going to fight in Viper's terms. Now he's going to get masonry to protect the castles even more. Very smart play from Yo here. I'm loving this. And it's like Viper is... Sending all that like one kind of population army to deal with one round, like yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a reaction, but you don't know what else to do with your units. Like you don't have push, you don't, you, you can only defend. And it's so awkward because now Yo is getting all the the, the hussars into raid, and this is why the Arbalest help combo or the Wrath and help combo 
dies out the loss of the Hisarsivs if the Arbalest has no map control, the Archibald has no map control. One thing that Viper, you could say he could do better is just try to launch his own push. Like, ignore what Yo's doing and try to launch his own push to try to force the damage, but then he will get raided, so it's tricky. Yeah, probably the only chance. Like, leave some hub to come, defend that, and constantly produce villagers because you will lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind of the play, but he would need, like, five taps. He needs, like, a dead ball. The push that doesn't stop. Yeah. Oh, the trap from Viper goes Ooh, down. Good snipe. Snipes two cannons. Really though. good snipe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another kid. two cannons going down there to the Hussars. And this is the point where Yo can play this forever. He's just spamming Hussars. He's getting taking all the time to get all the text. He's getting thumb ring, getting bodkins. He's going to go skirmishers. And he's making the Saracen Lake game look better just from the cavalry perspective. Oh, look what Viper's doing though. That's cool. What is he doing? I didn't look. Oh, with the cannons? Yeah, he's going around just to snipe the traps. That, uh, that's really, really smart. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's finally splitting the army and doing a little bit of problem on the your gold economy there on top. Yeah, just forcing something. Trying to make something work. I, I, I consider Yo late game to be the best in the world, by the way. I think Viper's second at this point. I'm not sure what you think about that. Uh, yes, yeah. he is... He's not afraid to waste units. Like, when you play late game, you're like only fighting mini fights, even when you have 100 farms. You waste 20 hersars to kill 5 villages. Yeah, yeah. But he constantly do it, and then over time it pays off. Yeah, that's definitely a weakness, a weakness of mine. I think I could have no a difference really good in style. <laughs> no, no, I think it's it's come to the, a weakness. Like, I'm way too afraid to raid. Like, it's sometimes it's free. I'm working on it, though. I, I agree with that. Like, look at yo, he's just sending the hussar on the, on the top. And you, I wouldn't do that, but it's really good. Like, look, he's forcing the Viper's reaction, just the wall. Yeah, you force him, and he, you doesn't look at us anymore. They are throw away, like, yeah, that's yeah. it. And now he's going for the cannons. He gets a cannon for free. Mm -hmm. Looking for more as well. It's really smart, because Viper, even if Yo loses 20 Hussar, Viper's position doesn't change. It doesn't get better. It's, in fact, getting worse over time, because everything's getting like, messy, forcing walls. But Yo's, of course, losing some cannons for free as well. That's why he pushed with jumps. <laughs> Cannons are more fragile. With jumps, you don't care. Yeah, yeah. Less, a lot less gold as well. People underestimate, like, Ram is 75 gold. It's not very expensive for a siege unit. But you, like, if you're fighting one spot, Rams are not that efficient because, well, I think I just sniped him with my superior army. Yeah. But the side attacks and Rams go so well together. <laughs> agreed, agreed. And Viper is finally getting that siege, that wall with five bomber cannons. Yeah. And his units are still uncontested, like, the rat and archer mass is growing and growing, and he got elite as well. Yeah, and it's elite, exactly. Now we see the unique tech from Saracen, so counterweights giving more damage to rams as well, or just honor crews? Everything. Bomber cannon slave, I Okay, I'll see. Getting more damage, okay. Actually, I don't know about bomber cannon. I never click on the Saracen bomber cannon, I believe it is. No, I think it's just honor crews and traps. Just honor crews and traps, yeah, in the chat. Okay, okay, okay. Still, though, not bad. I mean, it's a decent upgrade to just pick up the late game, I guess. But in this case, I think Yo, yeah, I think Yo is planning a trap push on the on the right side. And indeed, he has four traps waiting to get into the action. Yeah, Yo is playing with way less units and doing way more. Yeah, so smart. And it's the cast on the left that actually kind of won him the game here. It's not over, but the cast on the left is doing so much. Like Viper can't even look anywhere else because that cast is there. It's so sick. Well, he will kill that castle eventually. Like, yo, oh. this is the power of Vietnamese. Like, those rat and archers are so hard to do. So, so hard. The traps are going in on the right hand side, and these are counterweight traps with plus 15% damage. But the Viper's hubs are going in. Mm. Well, that's kind of the last Viper castle. He needs to do everything he can. Like, mm -hmm. if you lose all the castles, you're dead. Especially yeah. to your style, right? Yeah. Then. Everything is open to the raid. Oh, but he doesn't really kill any of the traps. All the traps are oh. low. Oh, the repairs <laughs> are there. And Viper's target. Sorry, Yo's targeting Viper's trap. It goes down, and Viper has still four traps to deal with. This is not looking good for him. Yo's winning on the bottom, by the way. They continue fighting. Yo's breaking in the bottom with Cap Ram. This is looking 100% over as Yo attacking Siege Ram. Winning with basically trash units in Siege, and position, of course. And map control, right? Yeah, yeah. map control being the, like, the key factor. Viper, next problem is actually Wood, right? He is slowly running out of that as well. 
Like, Yo can do this for days, and Viper, like, he got another 10 minutes, and then he needs to look for the better wood lane. Yeah, Viper's not taking the skirms. You know what, though? I think Viper played the wrong comp. Honestly. Light you, man. Well, I think, like, like using the Imperial Skirmisher is a kind of a must for Vietnamese. So I think going Imperial Skirm help and just wasting army just to snipe like Trebs is much better than Wrath and Archer, which is, like, gold-costing. Man, this is something we don't see every day. Yeah. Like, Viper resigning with 200 population, resources in back, he he just feels outplayed at that point. Like, yeah. you have all the tools, right? The population is even, resources are even, but you, you cannot do anything. I actually think, strategically, this might be the best game we've seen in the tournament so far. This was so incredible for Yo. Execution-wise, he made a lot of mistakes, let, let me, let's be honest. But strategy-wise, that was so smart. Like, the push into the boom, into the just amazing unit choice at the right time, perfect, like, Balance between going for the map, going aggressive, and then playing some economy, some defense was really, really impressive. Yeah, and the last three games were very impressive games from Yo as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I really enjoyed those. Like usually it's boring for me to watch TTC against TTC. Yo is like playing so smart, and like I think I learned today from Yo is also those cancuners that we were kind of judging mm -hmm. because like probably your style mine as well. You want to push, like you have the map control, you want to use that fight against fight. He made five, like 10, 15 of them, sit behind the castle to be there against Halps, never lose them. True, he was true. not planning to match them, he just add extra DPS there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just true. continue raiding, and that's way better unit than anything else then. Like yeah, a low number, can kill yeah. is the best unit. Why wait for like so smart. 15 arb lists to get all the attack and just 15 arbs when you can just do 15 hand cannon and it's the same thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's true. And we both yeah, thought it was not the right choice. Learned. I agree, that's really it's good. It's not the right choice the way I would play, and you yeah. as well. Like, we would go and fight. Then it's bad against Stratons. But yeah. sitting below the castle and just sniping the Halb here there, yeah. so good, so good. That was really good. Like, Damn, I would, yo. <laughs> I, I would lose this game every, every single time, I think. Like, I think I would do a better job. <laughs> if you give me the same strat, I'd do a better job. But I don't think I ever think of the strategy. And, like, the funniest thing, like, yo was all over the place controlling Viper, and Viper got double the APM. Like, yo is 66 APM, Viper, like, my kind of 16. Yeah, because Viper's wasting his APM quick walling, and yo is just setting his stars to the death and <laughs> doesn't even look at them in fights, you know? Uh, doesn't even okay, know. next map we've got Crater, and yo is busting out the Romans, and I know Doubt's gonna like that. Doubt's gonna love the Romans game. Alright, let's hop in. So, we got the map Crater between Viper and yo. Viper's in yellow. As the Slavs, Yo is in blue as the Romans, and uh, yeah, the, the Crater, it's a really solid map. You got Deer at the back, uh, you got one boar, so you get up to a decent start, you got to learn a lot of Deer though. And then afterwards, you got Woodline only around the out outside of the map, you got five relics in the center, and a lot of gold and stone in the center. I think it's a really good map, I think it always produces great games, and then Slavs versus Romans, it's going to be a banger matchup. Slavs have, of course, great farming, they can play infantry and cavalry very well, strong siege. Romans, very powerful men arm rush. And uh, yeah, Mr. Yo won last game, Danielle. Very solid men arm rush. And it's the kind of thing where, you know, Viper. I, I don't know how he's going to hold the men at arms here, but once he gets past that, then the farms can kick in. But before that, it's looking good for the Romans in this matchup. Viper's pushing in the deers, of course, taking the wood at the back. Usually your wood is quite safe on this map, because, you know, there's a hill and you're kind of completely solid. But the golden stone is always going to be pretty exposed. Berries is always to the back. Something I think the map can be improved a little bit. The berries don't always have to be towards the back. I feel like just having them in a random spot can be fine. Now we've seen early barracks from Yo. If he wants to play Drush... Hera, why you guys never do DM tournament? Because there's not enough players of DM to justify tournaments. There are some DM tournaments, but like no one really plays DM that much. It's only a small community. DM is fun. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think it's... The thing is, it's fun if you're playing with, like, average players, but as soon as you play against the pros, I feel like DM gets really, really boring. If as the, the higher level you go, it's very sweaty. It's very sweaty.
Okay, both players going up at the same time. Yo is going to go Militia, but not in Dark Age. going to go for some Feudal Age Militia. Still going to go Men at Arms, probably. Yeah, I doubt this round. He just went for a drink real quick. Taking a break on the job. Viper goes for Barrack himself here. And 45 seconds to go for Viper's Feudal Age. Has a little bit of ILTC time. I think he's planning to go Scout, but Scout against Romans will be so tricky. I, I don't actually like Scouts against Romans. Like, I, I don't want to see something else. I wouldn't even mind seeing Men at Arms against Romans for Slavs. Slavs get supplies for free. So what we can see is actually Viper going Feudal and then making the Men at Arms from there. I wouldn't mind that. Let's see. It looks like he will go Scouts, though. But Scouts feel so incorrect. Especially against the Romans. The Men at Arms are coming in. And, oh, we see the range follow-up. So, okay, Yo is not going to go for the typical blacksmith with the men at arms. I think the blacksmith is good, though. <laughs> this is weird. I think the blacksmith is good. I don't think range is actually great. I would prefer to see the uh, blacksmith, especially against the stable opening. Yo, of course, doesn't know about the stable. Get back. Yo, welcome back. About the percentage of the walls. Nothing yet, actually. Yo is uh, going men at arms, but he's going into range with the Romans, and he's not going to go into blacksmith, which is super interesting. Romans, I, I absolutely love seeing them. And yeah. Yo doesn't play like me, right? He usually go for the scouts, right? But this time you say archers? No, yeah, he's going to go men at arm into archer. So he, he did the men at arms, but he didn't go for the blacksmith approach. Just went men at arm to archer, and Viper's going to go scouts and slavs. And I feel like Yo, if he went for the blacksmith approach, would be much better right now with the men at arms. Mm, for sure, and also some towers. Like the map is, the distance is so close, and that matters a lot when you're playing many times towers. Mm -hmm. The walking distance, right? <laughs> yeah, the walking distance. Not for resources, but just for the damage nowadays. And okay, now Yo will get his men arm probably cleaned up. We'll get some value from them. Obviously, a lot of idle time from the bills, hitting some of the scouts with the men arms. Not too bad. And if those get the armor. The game would be different there. Yeah, for sure. Armor and maybe a spear forward, and all of a sudden it's a completely different situation. Like, Yo is just not using his strength very well. I, I don't really like this at all. His economy at home is not great either. I feel like he let Viper off the hook there. I, I still don't understand. Like when I played Romans many times, I always get surprised when he fights scouts how much how much they hold, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I win some fights that I don't expect or lose them, but still kill a lot more than I expect. Yeah, like that one extra armor just feels insane. So you get two armor, Scout's only doing three damage per hit, and that's very low, of course. I think the only Civ that can match with Scout is maybe Magyar's. Every other Civ would just die with the Scouts. Now we said Blacksmith come down, Yo Scout does die though, and Viper's gonna get some value with the Scouts for sure. Yeah, it's a nice little heal, so berries are not easy to use. No, not at all. Always cut back. And do you like this map out? Yeah, is this a map you enjoy watching or playing? Yeah, yeah, this is probably the best map of the tournament. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. Like, the, the middle for the relics, like, the woodland is safe, but it's not safe. Yeah, yeah. It's so interesting. You can never be fully walled. It's like better version of Land Madness. Agreed. It's like Land Madness how it was at first, before people realized it's just the wall map. Yeah, I mean, it used to be full scouts, now it's yeah. like, let's go fast castle. Yeah, exactly. Now everyone's thinking about even eagles on that map and something else, but he, on, on this map crater, it's very aggressive. And now we see Viper go for a tower at home. Uh, he did this one vill, and this is completely fine because Viper, um, he still has you know solid farm economy. He still has stable range, so it's not like he's falling very far behind. Uh, Yo, of Actually, course, he's ahead arts. in village accounts. <laughs> yeah, because of the idle time, yeah. Mm. So this is completely fine for Viper. Oh, oh, the Spearman got armor. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> okay, Look at that. Maybe it's not a fair matchup. Uh, one Spear versus five Scouts. Not going to be too good, but the Spear still got an extra hit. And now, with infantry armor, the Spear will tank a lot for the Archers. So I'd like to see more Spears being mixed in for Yo. But Viper's already on the case. He's already switching into Skirms. And there's one Spearman hiding behind the Touch. <laughs> like, it's so hard to notice. Wait, where is it? Oh yeah, just the one on the front, yeah. Yeah, that one, I mean, the thing is, 
only one spear, I feel like it's easy to fight. If it was two spears, it would be a lot stronger army. Like, everybody goes Romans for many times, you all go for the spear, man. Yeah, spear and archer. And he will make it work. He will make it work. I don't know how, but I'm excited to see. Viper slapping down a blacksmith needs to get his fletching. Could go for a counter attack with the scout. Uh, I don't mind that. I think it's good that even cutting off reinforcements is not bad. But Yo is prepared. He's walling in his gold. Barry's can always run. Has a spear near there. Would, of course, safe as well. I think Viper did overproduce scouts. Hopefully he stops now. Like, this is the number he needs. Now he can focus on his skirmishes and going out. Well, I don't, I don't mind full feudal though as well. Like you can hit. The, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> yes. you don't have to. Play Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all, it's all yeah. good. I know you love full feudal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, full feudal That's with just... a tower forward could be interesting. When do people do that on this map? Yeah, this map is good. <laughs> it's yeah. an option, especially with that gold. Yeah. Yeah, it's only one screen away. Yeah, yeah. This map is amazing. We need more of this map. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I feel like the aggression and the stale uh, meta of AOE can be shaken up by just the right maps. Like the, p aggression, you need to give reason for people to always want to fight, and that's how you get the best games out of it. Always give the players a reason to fight. Like castle age should be the risk against you board. It's not like I'm walled, I go castle, mm -hmm. and now you go castle before you even finish wall because well, enemy is walling at home as well, yeah. so nobody's taking risk. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and there's a hole in the Yost wood line, and this could be really bad for him. Oh my god, that might actually just be a GG. That's a disaster. <laughs> like, Viper made sure you got eight wins. Now he starts, starts to play. Like, <laughs> he really can't start. <laughs> he really can't start. <laughs> that is so bad. You lost his entire wood line. <laughs> he is counterattacking, but I mean, the five archers is not going to find nearly as much as this. This is how many builds. Eco KD is seven after these two builds die for Viper. Yeah, seven builds. Yeah, when complete, like, there is no other woodland, right? Yeah. Woodlands are so far away that he can never get to the woodland. Scouts are patrolling around. Yeah, and Yo wants to switch into Scouts. He wants to play Archer, Spear, Scout, which is not bad, but Viper's just way further ahead now. Like, this, this is just, just completely over. I, I Like, Yo and me probably love the Romans the most. And Yo used them on some weird ways, and I always am excited to see how. And I still don't see what he's doing with them. Like, yeah. He usually do Scouts, now he went Spear and Rush with them. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he's probably onto something. He's a very, very smart player, but I, I really don't see what was the point here. I mean, I think in especially in this map, men are armed with armor is perfect. Like that would be the, the perfect strat. Uh, so trying something else, maybe you want to surprise Viper, but didn't quite work out. Give us the last fight. I want to see those spearmen with extra armor. Spearmen scouts are actually a decent combo if you have enough of them against scout skirm. Um, the Skirm have the attack Skirm is also not doing that much to the no, Skirm, right? All. Like, we already did 3 hits and like half of HP only. The problem is just not enough spears, so they're kind of dying before the fight starts, yeah. More archers coming in, let's see. Yo's gonna take this one last fight and then probably resign afterwards. Yeah, it's Bloodline well, Scout, that's kind of the best unit in Feudal. Yeah, with forging as well. But knowing you, we might get to the Imperial HQ. <laughs> well, not him. Maybe Viper gets it, but input spies, maybe. Viper, just fight, Viper. What are you waiting <laughs> for, man? Viper's going to back off and play for the relics here. <laughs> Keep the map control. Oh, wow. This is, I mean, this is just fun to watch at this point. Well, he's winning. He's holding. He's holding. <laughs> Guys, Viper, he killed a lot of bills, yes, but he lost all his army, and yo, if you can just stabilize here, can be in a decent position. Yep, all the scouts are going down, and that's a lot of investment from Viper. And now Skirmish is only against scouts. Oh, it's wow. Wow, yeah, you know, yo's in a good position here. Clean up the army, you can counterattack afterwards, has some stone available. And Viper is making tower at home, like, uh, I'm out of this. Oh my god, wow. Like, literally playing <laughs> so safe for no reason. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's second tower, like, God. He's making another tower on the ghost. <laughs> you just cleaned up everything. Since when does Viper have literally zero confidence? Like, what the hell? Right. Well, he always going tower rush, so he was ready for that. The best part is that preempt tower is the worst thing you can do for tower rush. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah. Now stone is gone anyway. The Viper going triple stable. But your economy is like you just hit the feudal age, like 29 villages. Yeah. 
uh, half of them on stone, half of them shaking on the wood line, not knowing when they're gonna die. <laughs> Still completely open there. And Viper is sending to Scout. Viper is staying in full feudal, by the way. Like, it's so funny to see, like, Viper's just like. I feel like kind of panicking a little, like, very low confidence for no reason. Well, those three towers at home after killing 20 villagers, that. Uh... It's very strange. Viper is not feeling too good today. It's the emotional damage, the mental damage in the last <laughs> few games. <laughs> now he will also be just like, your army is actually better there. Yeah, the counter attack by Viper. Viper farming oh, economy is not that good, 15 farmers, right? You know, obviously cannot lose, but still. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving us a game out of it, that's for sure. But he's also raiding with two scouts, and that's yeah, that's more than enough here. Yo is just gonna get completely destroyed as time goes on. Another tower for Viper? Oh, cannot afford. He got the market. Just let him have it, man. Give him the tower, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Viper's winning this fight as well, and now this is zero hope. How is Yo still in this game, by the way? He's lost the whole wood line. Those two scouts got quite a few kills. Eco KD 25 to 2. It's still <laughs> winnable, huh? <laughs> and you're still tower rushing yourself to be safe, right? Uh, how is your still trying to repair this tower? <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's over. Makes sense. The, no, tower's no, no. <laughs> the tower's about to go down, so yeah, now it makes sense. Like 56 to 23. If anything, Yo just gives the confidence to Viper. Like, Viper's killing all of Yo's builds. He's feeling good. Yeah, after tower rushing himself, I, I don't know, man. That's never a good move, especially when you kill 20 villagers. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Keep on. Yeah. He did enough. He did enough. All right, the game is starting. We're going to hop in. Doubt is always away when the game starts. It's like he's literally leaving on purpose. I see Bengali is Bohemians. I hate this annoying fire sound in my ears. Just get it away from me, thank you. So, so tilting. But anyways, uh, welcome to the next game between Viper and Yo. We got Viper playing as the Bengalis uh, in yellow. Yo playing in blue as the Bohemians. And the map is going to be Fortress. Of course, red side edition with the king. King's going to help with scouting a little bit. Scouts usually use to learn boars to the players, as we see right here from Viper. And Bengali's Bohemians is kind of like two arena civs going at it here. I think I prefer Bengali's overall, but I'm not 100% sure. Bohemians definitely have a lot of tools. I just feel like Bengali's Monks and Skirms is more than enough. Yeah, the script writing is on point today, 100%. And this could be a long game, especially with these civs considering the players. Ooh, Bengali's and Bohemians. <laughs> Doubt. This will be a long one. You were the first person to use Bengalis on Fortress, at least as, as far as I remember. Uh, when was that? Can you refresh my memory? Yeah, you know exactly. We were playing a show <laughs> match and then you beat me with freaking Bengalis or a tournament or something. Mm -hmm. And you were Chinese, like the best C by far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the Rathas were so strong there and I should have went the Camel Skirm or something. I just went the True Canoe and it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Rattas are still the same strength, right? Yeah, yeah. They didn't touch them, but some, but we are not using them anymore. I still think they're quite good. But... I think, you know, the problem is that people have kind of figured out what works against them, and they're very awkward to use. Like, normally, if I go Arbalest, I probably go Skirm. I'm getting counted, but Arbalest is a very smooth unit, so I can make something work. But with Ratha, it's very awkward. So if you're getting counted, it's hard to use the unit. For me, it's more annoying. Like, I don't know which one is on melee, which one is attacking. Yeah, yeah. Like, when I have them, it's such a mess. Like, it's such a disaster. And when I see their sad fire attack, it's like, it makes me really sad. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a really weird unit to use. I think that before we can balance that unit, we have to first make it, like, fun to use, very smooth. I think that's the problem with the Bohemian Wagon as well. Like the Bohemian Wagon, it might not be a, a bad unit if it was just like possible to micro it, but you have to literally stand still to get the big shot. Yeah, if the king dies, they lose exactly. And the king of yeah, I just realized Bengali's king. I never saw that. Never pay attention. That's good of casting as well. I can be Dave now. Talk about random use of stuff. I, yeah, zooming on the yellow king, man. I wanna be that guy. Yeah, let's take, let's take a look at him. He has got an umbrella. <laughs> kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm, Viper could get trapped. Sorry, Yo can can get trapped here. I don't think Viper would By think about king. it though. Well, Viper sends a bill. He can make a gate there, and actually, it's not too bad. But... Uh, if he can teleport the build there, I guess. <laughs> I was saying if, if Yo spent too long back there, but Yo's getting out. Uh, if he delays the scout, he will lose it as well. With that logic, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the both players are scouting with the king right now. Finding the relics is important, but in general, this is going to be a pretty long game, I'd imagine. Mm -mm. Bengali should have better boom, right? Four extra villagers is quite a nice speed up and better early pressure with monks right away. Yeah. But then, eh, Bohemians, like, Bohemians, the monastery tech, I never do that for faster moving monks and villagers. Apparently, it's not that good though. Apparently, it doesn't help that much. Like, again, from the YouTube really? comments, yeah, yeah. Apparently, from the YouTube comments, the fervor, like, barely matters for the farms, which is really strange for me. But then, what Berbers have to say to that? Well, I guess we, we said the other day how, like, the Berber vill bonus <laughs> doesn't even, we don't really notice it, so. But this is even more with build, bro. I think those those are the fastest villagers in game. Yeah, yeah, but apparently it's the gather rate and, from the wheelbarrow and handcart that helps the farms, not so much the walking speed. Mm, I I guess I will believe your YouTube. Yeah, but I'm I'm not sure. Like that's just what they say. I thought it was an amazing bonus at first, but apparently it's not that good. Well, then economy should go for the viper. Yeah. Extra bills can never go wrong with that. Th those work every time. <laughs> and like the castles, I think always forward in this uh, this map script. Yeah, uh, towers and castles always in the same spot forward. Yeah, that's good. That's a good change. So, who gets the middle castle first? We'll have a huge lead. So that's the only way the game can end fast. If they stabilize, Bohemians go their slow way of winning games. The thing is, Bohemians rely on gold, but I think Bengalis can play a lot better with no gold, like a lot better. Because they have like the monks that... Actually, the Bohemians do have the cheap monks as well, the food monks, so I don't know, maybe maybe that's not true. Honestly, I think Bohemians are the best team without gold. You just need like two or three relics, well, two relics, let's say it's normal. And then you just go Siege yep. and Halb and... Yeah, yeah you just go Fnissa and Halb, that's it, like, you always can keep five Halbs alive, uh, Halb. Five who needs alive. Yeah, yeah. And that's the only gold you need you need. Yeah. It, I'll be right back. I have to use the washroom real quick. You you cast. I, I put on the scout. Be right back. Okay, I will cast. So we are watching the blue scout passing. I guess I cannot cast the screen, but if I cast something else that here is not watching, you see nothing. Um uh, we can discuss the matchup, I guess. The opening, I believe it's boom for both. The only one that can make a Move is Viper with stronger monks and obviously slightly better con mirror the game. Combine that with a better unique unit. Like Kratas got some value, especially helping get the relics. While Bohemian is going for those high steel wagon, I don't think we will ever see those. Those just got no, no purpose in the game. I think their only purpose in the game is to be a support unit. Like their biggest bonus is blocking the projectiles, right? Unit behind takes 50%. So you should technically always have like five to ten maximum in the army in front of your arbalest, but that's just so hard to micro and nobody does that. It's just easier to go Hufnissa and you don't care. Yeah, main caster is me now. My bad. No, no, no. It's still me. It's still me. <laughs> Very unprofessional. Probably... I, just, I don't like making people work. Uh, sorry, wait in between games. So I just hold it, but damn. Yeah, 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 obviously. And uh, like, here is nothing happening. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the problem with Arena and Rage Forest. Like, filling in the first like 25 minutes is not an easy task. It's funny though, because the games are actually really interesting after the opening. Like, maybe we just start with like 20 more bills and just like, I don't know, just play. <laughs> it's really, really strange. <laughs> Give each player units and everything and let's start. <laughs> just start something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, something has to happen differently, but I I don't mind the slow build up. It actually feels fun when you're playing. Like you get to plan out stuff, and it's yeah, all good. Yeah. During the game, for sure. It's... Unless it's pushing gears, that thing annoys me. Doubt. Did you talk about the Yo's going fast temp? Look at that. Um, no, I still don't understand why. Well, it makes somewhat sense. You get to go for like a a fast push with. You know, maybe monks, everything on gold, right? Everything on gold stone, you get the free mining upgrades. Mm. But it's very risky, right? Mm, it has to be monk push, right? Monks, Like, Bohemians shit. used to have, a, like, a super cheap monastery, and that's when their monk push was so damn good. Now it's still good, but obviously weaker. 
It's uh, pretty generic. He's replacing nowadays. farms. But yeah. you get world upgrades for free, so. Yeah, that's true. Support it nicely. Viper's going for a bit more standard approach here. Three, like, you know, three TCs. Uh, one monastery already starting to pick up the relics, which is very nice. Bengali monks have the extra three armor, so it's very hard for the scout to snipe them. And uh, yeah, Yo is up to Imperial Age, and he ah. will probably go for some sort of monk push. More I think about that, it makes sense. Like, you start with the castle, you can make traps right away to back up your monk push. Your di distance is not that far away. It, 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 it's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First, I was like, yeah, you get too much time to bomb. Like, Viper Boom is way faster here than it was like on Arena because you skip the Feudal Age way faster, you start with more wheels. And look at the build difference, it's already huge. But at the same time, having that castle and instantly trapping down helps a lot as well. Yeah. It is weird that by, like Yo is going like 1 TC. So you can do fast with 2 TCs, but like a bit of economy with the small push. But this is 1 TC, so it's 100% all in. He's already planning for the forward castle as well. So it's going to be monks, maybe one, two his sight wagons just to have a unit and then forward castle. And that's it. Does he really need another castle? Like, purpose of the castle is uh, traps and obviously protecting your units. But at this point, there are no units anyway. Um, that's a good point. Maybe he can use instead of the five of us on stone, he can go for either more monks or something else. But what, what is the something else? You might as well go forward castle, I guess. Yeah, but would hate if he make the castle right away. Like, kill the castle, kill the wall, and then make it inside. Ah, uh, I, I like that, yeah. But I think he's just gonna go right, right away, and yeah, you're yeah. kinda right, that yeah. doesn't really accomplish anything. I mean, it gives he's him protecting peace. monks and there's no threat. <laughs> yeah, he's, it's gonna give him peace of mind, I guess, but... Yeah, it's not actually making the push stronger. Only question is, uh, when will Viper realize this? He needs to realize fast and needs to stop booming and he's on 40 CS. That's kind of a mistake when enemies push him, but obviously there's no way Viper knows. Yeah, exactly. And Rathas is definitely a mistake too. <laughs> definitely no Rathas. <laughs> That's just going to be Yo's Rathas in a second here. But Yo's kind of AFK with the monk though. Oh, he still has time. It's Yo. And Yo. Oh, does not get it. Well, Rathas, Rathas is not. worth now. <laughs> Well, Rat is amazing. Why did this monk as well? God, disaster. Why does Yo not have more monks? Like, what's going on? Because he made a castle. If there was no castle, if it was monetary, it's not really just on stone, but on gold. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, don't lose. Wait, he, he lost the game. It's over, actually. It's actually G. <laughs> wow. Damn. That was so bad. That like, was actually horrible. Viper got slightly lucky to get. Well, not lucky, but he was not planning right to stop this push, right? Yeah. He was planning to call and throw the relics, and they were at perfect time. It was just perfect, perfect for him. Actually, no, and you're he... not paying attention. He started making the wrath right when he saw the castle, so I think it was to stop the push, actually. I think first one was already out, but still, if you got yeah. converted that Rata, game would be different. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like that... <laughs> Those monks, man. Those <laughs> monks. Completely changes the game. Had he given the first Ratha, he probably gets the castle, the castle up, or at least can back up, has a unit to buy time, and then plays in there, but now... Yeah, castle monsters. is up. If he convert Ratha, Castle is up, right? Mm -hmm. Now he had to defend against Ratha, instead of Ratha killing the monk and scout in terror. Oh, and Viper instantly converts the Ratha <laughs> back! Freaking A, man. Is this kid and cop? Did they change the names? Yeah, it sounds like that. Okay, let's see. Yo is pushing out. He's got block printing, got atonement. So his monks are going to be very strong. But now Viper's bought so much time. It's 82 bills to 32 now. And like at this point, I mean, actually, Viper's making a mistake. He should go all in castle with Lightcap right now. Like, why not? Just make Lightcap. Well, he already defended. Like, he got 82 villagers. He can go up to him, get two villagers per TC. He is living the life. Uh, <laughs> there is no mistake anymore. Yeah, yeah. There is fair. no mistake anymore. The pressure is over. Yeah, while in the like, castle. Two monks is pressure. Like. <laughs> Not a single siege really. And why is Yo not making traps from home as well? Like that, that that whole castle, I agree with you. I think that castle is just not necessary. If anything, it just made him lose the game. He could have had all his spells at home working instead of five going forward to make a castle as well. Like that's 160. It would be like seven, eight monks army with one trap pushing and then later on the castle. Yeah, it would be much better. I like approach. I like idea, but I don't like approach. I, I might even yeah. try that myself, actually. That sounds really good. Like you just go 100% monk push. With the traps from home, and then later go for the forward castle. Maybe even add a second TC while you while you're waiting as well. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah, that would be yeah, better. Yeah. Economy. And now he's making well, a Well, yeah, finally got some ratas. <laughs> finally. <laughs> the monk's paying off. I would like to see Viper get heresy maybe as well. 
He's going range units. At this point, he can go spearman rush. Uh, why, why not? Why not light cap though? Mm, guess he doesn't know how disaster your economy is, and he's is afraid half? of Bohemia half. Yeah. yeah. I think. I mean, this is a weird like situation because you're so far behind. But I think he has maybe a, a small chance. Bengali have no um, no bomber cannon, so maybe if he starts building up some siege now, it is a small chance. <laughs> Look at the village account. Yeah, but monks can do some crazy stuff, man. <laughs> Look at the village account. I still think it's a small chance. Like traps coming forward. The viper's gonna go skirm. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean viper's coming is way better, right? But... And soon instantly eight more villagers. <clears throat> Oh, that's brutal. Don't think it comes through the best answer, but yeah, the score is kind of close, so Viper doesn't know if there's a Connie behind. Really, I kind of like the skirms here, because you can just waste them against the monks. I think it's better than Arbalest. Uh, I meant Hassar, so Light Cavalry. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, that, that, there we agree, yeah. Mm. Well, I guess the skirm is not too bad. Finishing the castle now. The best part is that castle can't really mm. make traps easily. Well, to be fair, Skirm will counter Rathas and Yo is full Rata army. <laughs> that is true, he has more Rathas <laughs> than Viper right now. Alright, Pure Lich kicked in, 8 villagers came out, and now it's 103 villas to 38. Like, imagine if Yo wins this game though, it'd be like the greatest push ever, basically. Like, if he wins this game, then this push has a lot of potential, because he messed up so hard. Then Mox needs a nerf. I mean, there we can agree, regardless. <laughs> I mean, how? Like, economy difference. Then how do you ever beat Bohemians? Like, if ma imagine if you just went boom and went for the monks, then that would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the idea is that you're able to siege down Viper before he's ready to defend. <laughs> he's ready already. Like, <laughs> he's fully ready. <laughs> but I think with the skirms and the and the ballistics, he's more than fine. Just mix in some light cap to guarantee it, and you should be completely good. No, yeah, he's not even planning too, second TC. Yeah, he's all in. Monks. The problem is, the more monks you have, the weaker they are in theory as well. Depends on APM. And uh, let's see conversions. Yeah, the monks are getting one shot here, and this is very inefficient for you. Bengali has no heresy though, so that's something. Save the monks! Rather should be in melee mode fighting. Let's go. Well, good fight for you. But. Uh, Viper will snipe some with the skirms. Yo should be not waiting a second, by the way. Just go all in. Like, not waiting a second. This is... Just go in. It, imagine he takes the relics. Like, it's not that bad for Yo. It's actually winnable. <laughs> no, it's not. Of course it is. How's the village account? It doesn't matter with the bills. Look at the monks. <laughs> the monks will win Let's everything. Just make your monks. <laughs> yeah, that's what he should do. <laughs> 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 yeah, Viper clears up the bush. If if Yo kills the monastery and takes the four relics, imagine that. <laughs> like, go scroll to Viper base and scroll to Yo base, and then tell me again you got the chance. Like, like a million of farms, like full economy. Yo is adding a second TC, he's about to double his bow production. <laughs> Viper's not 170 pop. Viper is definitely being careful today. Yeah, I, I, it's so, it's so insane to see this. Like, he, he's usually the type of guy taking no risks, but today he's not even thinking about taking no risk. Like, <laughs> taking this much no risk is a risk, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like now he's actually giving him a chance for comeback. But I mean, obviously from this point he just get into the best composition. He can do light calf skirm and. The best part against monks is just to make a lot of cheap units. That's the best thing to counter them. If you don't have Magnus, you convert one more. Now it's full scrums against Magnus. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> He's missing the scrums. He was repairing the Magnus. <laughs> All scrums are dead. <laughs> the Viper is coming. like too kind of buff. Yo, convert to build and send them back to your economy, man. <laughs> they start bombing. They're better than yours, they got handcuffed. <laughs> Delete your own villages. Wait, does that transfer? If you convert a build with handcuffed, does it transfer? I don't think so. It, well, if you convert the knight with armor, do you lose armor? <laughs> no, but it's a handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. It is an upgrade. <laughs> Look, you got the economy now. Yo is booming. 
The 69 bill, 69 pop versus 198. And Viper's winning with pure skirm at this point, setting up. Yeah, look at the cast up for Viper on the right side. <laughs> On the hill, <laughs> very safe. He's protecting the stables. <laughs> and another castle another one, And another one in front of that one is coming. <laughs> I, I want one like in the economy as well now, like right here. Honestly, I think Viper is having fun with full skin. Yeah, yeah. It's at this point, he can do whatever he wants. Look, he kills the he kills the Magno, backs up. Like doesn't want to take any risk. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yo, switch to Unicorn. The things are real now. And they, in front of the monks, we chill the monks. Uh, how does that even work? I, I think that doesn't even work. Yeah, it chills them. <laughs> it chills them, please. <laughs> no, nobody ever made them, so we don't know. That seems so bad. It literally just doesn't even work. Night wagon. I thought that unit was OP when it first came out, by the way. Yeah, at the beginning it was funny, like rushing them, killing everything, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you realize two Magnus then you are. Yeah, or like a few knives, like anything really can clear that, and other skirms doing so much work. Yeah, skirms are actually <laughs> really good in late game, uh, when, when there's low economy mm. on the field. Skirms are great. GG. Uh, GG. <laughs> yeah, this game was kind of over from the start. I wish you can restart that with your approach, I think. That would be much better. And we were like hyped, got long game, is coming the longest one ever. Well... Yo extended it an extra 15 minutes. I would have resigned <laughs> as soon as the castle gets denied. Well, it's not even that. It's like I obviously chose the wrong college and same you. Like you were not interested in, in what you were studying and then you're not motivated and then you just like in Age of Empires, you study still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still preparing and everything. And if you found some college that would like interest you as much as Age of Empires, it would be different. Yeah, uh, 100%. And I think for some people, like going to college is the safe thing, so you should do it. But then if you find something else that can make money, go for it. That's like the, the conclusion. But what I want to say is like you have nothing else right now unless you like really think about it. Same for me. And that's why we put a lot of effort into AOE and we can actually succeed long term. It's actually, it's kind of a, a good position to be in where you have no other options because that makes you give 100%. A lot of like, <laughs> but I don't even put a lot of effort in here. But yeah, that now there's literally no reason why you don't have a video a week on YouTube that's a guide. No reason. There is one. You're I'm lazy. lazy. It's a good reason, man. It's not a good reason, man. It's not a good reason. It is, man. You you have a limited time. You sometimes want to do something else. I know, but and I'm happy with how a things are. A we will not last until you're 65. Like you're not gonna Doesn't get a, matter. a regular retirement. Oh, okay, I, I can always have a good excuse, like perfect excuse. I have two kids. They will only once in a lifetime. Six and four. I want to spend time with them. Uh, Nobody can be top that reason. <laughs> Nobody that's can a top good that excuse, reason. but that's not your real. Nobody reason. can top that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, he's got two kids and he's sacrificing all the time to host tournaments. <laughs> People go to different approaches to the life. Yeah, I mean, no, that, that's for sure. That's, I mean, we're getting into deeper topics here. I'm not going to claim I know everything about it, but I think, like, I don't know. I just feel if you're invested into AV, you should be, or like, there's not a lot of time left. Like, there's, you kind of have to make something happen because it gaming in general doesn't last till you're 65 and you have a happy retirement. I, uh, you would say that it won't last for me, but I will get 38, but I'm still here. And as long Memp is here, I'm safe. <laughs> I know I have a few more good, good years. If Memp starts to talk about retirement, <laughs> then you're going to start shaking. <laughs> like, when he's like, I'm 60, uh, 50, and he's like, I cannot do this anymore, then I know I have like 10 more years. <laughs> Until then, I'm safe. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, I mean, let's take a look at this game. It's four lakes. We've got Italians for Viper, Byzantines for Yo. Both players going about their standard start here. And yeah, Doc for Yo at the back. Viper with the Doc on top. And this map is super interesting because you can fight for the lakes or you can fight on the land or a mix of both. And especially with Byzantine, we tend to see a lot of lake action. And I think Yo's already sending a bill forward. Yeah, yeah that's deep because like Yo, Vivi, will 99% take Byzantines here and sneak the sneak the dog. You think it's, it's so obvious. very good. Like it's so yeah, obvious. But still, if you get a dog and you're always fighting good one for one, and then enemy needs to invest more than you, and that's already a win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you kind of get economy from your from your military advantage, which is uh, a good way to do it. And like Byzantines don't have economy bonus, but that's not such a huge deal on the lake, right? On the lake map, like yeah. you're pulling ahead with a fish bomb, and then you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect way to put it. 
That villager needs to be spotted. I think Viper is aware. He's sending a villager to scout. And he's putting fish ship as well. He yeah, knows that's, that's going to happen. Some people and some your people scout even, is out of position. Yeah, some people even do like two docks on their lake if they want as well. But I think Viper just gonna make a house here and that's it, yeah. House. And spotted. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, a great, great gameplay from uh from Viper. And your to TC. <laughs> oh, oh, that's terrible. What the hell? It's it's actually a disaster now. Yeah. Yo, it's gonna try to wall in its will, baby. But wait. You'll never know if it's walling the wheel or preparing the safe economy. <laughs> Hold on, does he get the quick wall? Oh, oh. <laughs> he just takes the dog. <laughs> and like, if he is not paying attention, maybe it goes up. <laughs> he just makes the dog. <laughs> He's just disrespecting Viper in his face, mm. man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't understand. Yo is playing so well, and now, like, kind of just messing up everything, but Viper's also playing pretty well now. Well, it was kind of obvious, like you said, and mess up for Yo here was a Scout being out of position yeah. and obviously eating DC. Yeah. If Scout was there, Scout and Village against Scout and Village, Doc could have gone, gone, yeah, yeah. gone out. You can kind of Probably not against well. Viper, but yeah. The thing is, like, look at the score 4 0 for Viper, then 4 4. Yo brings it back, <laughs> then 2 wins for Viper, then 4 wins for Yo, and then 2 for Viper. Like,. <laughs> They're not trading games, they're just taking four at a time. Well, if you follow the logic, it's time for Yo to win. Yeah, it's time to win for Yo to win four in a row. Tata won't last that long. <laughs> okay, Viper is doing the smart thing. He's walling up the left side, and so he's preventing Vils from sneaking uh, any further. And that's the best way to defend your lake. The reason why we don't see this that often is because it's really hard to obviously wall the side. But the nine first villager obviously gives him the time and maybe yeah. didn't even need it. Like if you send another villager to dog that lake at this point, it's a huge mistake and gamble that most will not work. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, meanwhile, we see uh, just two lakes kind of up for grabs. I think Viper might try to go for it after walling up a little bit. Stable from both players. We're going to see some scout action. I, I personally favor Italians on this map um, in general. I feel like they're just a better sip overall. Hmm. Don't rule out Byzantines, man. Their cheap counter unit is so good. That is a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. I only don't like Viper investing so heavily into walls this early. Like, all that wood could have been a dock, right? Yeah, yeah. I would rather have a dog than all those walls. Like, you have also the scouts on the field. Nothing will surprise you so heavily. If we're versus a civ like Japanese, I love the walls. But we're up against Byzantine who have so little threat. Like, you already see the stables, so there's no threat. They're, they don't have bloodlines. Like, they're, they're not the. the most aggressive early game steps, so just going for the dock, letting that get more resources over time is much better. I agree with that. Given that night the starting scout, so you will always be one scout ahead. True. Just like no brain into it, another dog. Yeah, yeah. And Yo is doing that first, actually. Which is uh, definitely a mistake from Viper. And Yo finally find the place for the dock. <laughs> can he even can build he make that? the dock? <laughs> I think he can. can. He can? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, if that if that wall died, I would have been so mad, like on his behalf. Okay, maybe he can make the dog. And why presenting the dog? So it would be two legs against two legs. And at this point, the economy for Italians is better, cheaper fishing ships, cheaper gill nets, cheaper going yep. up. But that bonus is only beginning, right? While Byzantine's bonus ship units is forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So the longer this goes, the better for Byzantines in theory here. I don't know, man. I used to think Byzantines were really good on this map, but if you just kind of ignore... If you prevent them from docking your lake and you kind of just ignore them, you don't attack them too much, they can't really take advantage of the... of the counter units. Mm, well, in Feudal Age, not, but... In, oh, man, that's a huge that's cleanup. That's a disaster for you. Yeah, uh, I mean, he'll finish the wall, place? he'll be fine. But the map control is completely gone now. Yeah, I and mean, we know how important that is, especially for a guy like Yo. His gold pot is also very, very bad, so map control makes it even bigger impact. Same for Viper, both got bad gold spots, which kind of ask for aggression, especially in Castle Age. And Viper is almost ready to click up. Yeah, and the thing is, like, Viper's gold, he doesn't need to worry about defending it because it's completely safe since he's got all the map now. He's got more units. And if he gets a faster Castle Age time, Yo is actually going horse collar to farm. So his economy is not great at Ooh. all here, yeah. Wow, that's... Even Viper farming, I kind of like... Just get the, the, the fish traps. Like, fish trap is better than farming any day. Yeah, I agree. I think spending the wood... I wouldn't even be mad if Viper walls, like, the bottom. Like, there's, like, a couple um, couple wood lines near the second dock on the right. If he just walls that to his base and just full walls the whole map and just relies on uh, Gilnet economy, super safe, that would be fantastic strategy. 
Yeah, cheaper fish and chips, gillnets goes also very cheap. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Especially That's these how days. He, Jordan loves to play. Yeah. So yeah. Main character. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Especially these days, I think you can make the fishing ship on the fish trap or something like that. So you get really efficient uh fish. You really don't play rage forest, do you? <laughs> no, not at all. What's the matter these days? Well, that that's the matter. Who gets the lake, spawn the fish boom around the dock, yeah. and yeah, you can make on top of it. Yeah. When did that when was that change? That was recent. The uh, last patch, yeah, the fish fishing ship kinda is I don't know, smaller tile, <laughs> whatever it's called. Hitbox, I guess. Uh, so many scouts from Viper. If he wanted to learn from me a little bit, he would go light cap into double monastery siege push, and it's completely GG. I don't think he would do yeah, that. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, light cap, in full monks should be the next meta in the cavalry war. Yeah. Even against Byzantines, like, camels are cheap, but I will take them. Yeah, I just take them. Monks are so OP. It's so funny, it's like, I always talk about this on stream, like, monks being OP, monks being a nerf, and then uh, some people in my chat, oh, stop complaining about monks, just learn how to use them. And it's like, did, are they not watching my tournament games? Like, I'm like the biggest monk abuser there is. It's, everyone's abusing the monks right now. It's like the, for example, KOTD was mostly archer saves, and then the monks don't have so much value. But yeah. when it's um, stable against stable, yeah, and Viper instantly monastery. Yeah, exactly, right away. And uh, it's okay, like, it's cool. Monks definitely have their place in the game. We like to see that. But when it's mostly about the monks, that's when the problems start to arise. No, Yo isn't the biggest monk abuser. He's just the luckiest monk abuser. <laughs> I mean, the um, problem with monks is they make the game very defensive. Yeah. If you go cavalry and you see the monk, that's it. You will never be able to play aggressive or you risk getting converted. One monk can push back three knights at any day. And like two monks, six knights, etc. If he's only one monastery for now, and siege workshop. Yeah, double monastery is better with redemption. Much better, in fact. Yeah, especially when you expect camels, and it's a triple stable, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure here. The best time to check economy stats. Damn. Well, only 400 more for Viper. That's nothing. But it is a faster castle each time as well. Viper's well, Viper with this, this slow push is kind of risking being cleaned up by full camels, right? Yeah, yeah. The one, two monks will not stop the camel spam of this table. And monks are trash. And now we're gonna see <clears throat> defensive monastery and defensive uh, town center from Yo. So he's just gonna be kind of booming up and trying to hold. But then waiting for one big cleanup and hoping to regain the map control from there. And Viper only has light cap and two monks. That's not enough to hold this. And the Mangadal is going to be pretty useless against the camels as well. Yeah, this is not typical Viper play. This is such a, like, you know the camels are coming and you know your army is not good enough against camels. There is no way Viper, I don't know. Obviously he doesn't know, but... You know what it is? He's just playing out of his comfort zone. He, he's not used to doing this kind of rushes and he's not exactly sure how much to commit to it and he's really scared to commit heavy into it because it's just simply not his comfort zone yo is even adding a light cap up with some few scouts just to snipe the monks not needed but definitely will help yeah yeah definitely the right idea just in case and from the behind perfect mm. good body block had to go at the same time but it's okay i mean the camels are just like literally walking like no cam can't really say the word Like, as good as Jade Viper could hope for. Yeah, that was still the... clean up. <laughs> that was perfect for Viper, and still, yeah, Yo was gonna win the fight easily, and more camels coming out as well. Not too bad for Viper, though. Light kill was a mistake. If that was like, instead of the scout and the upgrade, could have been like four or five more cheap camels for Byzantines, and then the cleanup would be just like patrolling, don't care. Yeah, yeah, nothing can go wrong. Uh, Yo is actually kind of out of position here, though. Everything we say is wrong, man. Viper is kind of <laughs> winning the fight. Yeah. That shouldn't be a long term. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we, we're talking like it's going to be like solid play from both, but Yo really made a mistake there, I think, initially. He patrolled yeah, very poorly. Well, fine. But it's going to be okay. He's fine. To survive. Remember, the camels are really cheap here, so he can afford to kind of throw them away. 
And they produce very fast as well, and Chippo Stable also helps really, really a lot. Yeah. And behind this though, let's take a look at the fish traps. Nothing yet for Viper. I really wish he would wall that and just fish trap 100%. I think fish traps are really good. He's 3 TC booming right now. Yeah, he's adding farms. And he's adding. Look how farms are looking for Viper. He and the idol. And, like, Viper is shaky today. <laughs> like, that farm in the middle of nowhere. God, that's a T90 farm right there. That's a terrible farm. All the farms are terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, he has so much <laughs> space that he can't even use now. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> and it's, and like... it's not like he was under the pressure or something. Yeah. He had the time, like, babysit them. Oh man, that's so bad. It's like, you know, you already know when Viper's making those, he hates like that farm, but he's just obviously like, kind of panicked or something. It hurts him more than us. Yeah. And camels are finally dominating. Yeah, and it's the issue. Yo now kind of taking the map control. Yo has the faster imp, or the cheaper imp, sorry, with Byzantines up his sleeve. He can do that whenever he wants to, really. And it's uh, it's looking better and better for Yo, even though he's down 15 bills. It's not like Viper is actually losing. Viper is still winning, probably. But Yo kind of survived the point where he maybe should have taken more damage. Yeah, where Byzantines are the weakest. Mm -hmm. And now we get to like later stages of the game, like we said earlier. Bait and bonus last forever, and the fish boom, the cheap wrap time, it's gone for Italian. It's fading away, yeah. It's fading away. And going Spearman, I guess Pikeman is an option. Uh, mm -hmm. it's not, it doesn't excite me though. No helps for Italians. It also keeps you defensive, lets the Byzantine switch the skirms. Not exactly a great choice. And his economy is kind of screaming for Crossbow as well. Yeah, yeah. He could play with less farms too. He got like fish boom is enough to sustain the production. Just go Crossbow. Yeah. That's the thing. Viper was going knights and push. He needed to go all in with the push. Like no reason to hold back there. The holding back by playing safer in quotation. It's like we said. He actually took a, a way riskier approach. And now Yo is just completely chilling at home. Let's see though. He wanted that small attack to get Mamper control with TTC boom behind, but that attack is just completely countered with the Byzantine. Mm -hmm. Double monastery. Maybe even Pike and first before knights would be a decent option. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Maybe just not knights in general. You don't really need knights. One stable's enough. But yeah, either way. Uh, yo, one Pike will die like Camels count to Spearman. Camels count to Spearman. It's the <laughs> cheap camels. Now the monk gets sniped by the light cap. Yo's doing a good job of always sniping those. The spearmen are all dying. Piper is kind of panicking. He doesn't know what to do here. Doesn't know what to do at all. Uh, the Viper doesn't feel like Viper shines at decision making. Not today. <laughs> but it's like, why do we only say that for Viper though? Why is it that when Viper is playing poorly, it's like, okay, this is not the Viper we know. How come it's like when Mr. Yo's playing poorly, it's not the Mr. Yo we know? Why is it only Viper that gets that pass? Uh, I see a little bit of a rage there. No, no, no. It's not, I'm not like mad about it. I'm just saying. Cause I noticed <laughs> that from the chat as well. It's like a lot of people think, oh, the Viper's not on point today, you know? Like, okay. Well, he's not. <laughs> he is not. Yes, but we need to start saying that for everyone then. And some people do. And some people, like when I win tonight and they were like, like other player play bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I never won with my skill. <laughs> Oh wow, MVL just not playing well today. Doubt had a really lucky time against him today. But the next round against Winchester there is no way. <laughs> then 3-0 like, well, Winchester, not a good day. Like, <laughs> in finals, there is no way. <laughs> Doubt cannot be Leary in the finals of Redfall. There's no chance. <laughs> wow, Leary. Okay, he got Miles, the best team in the game. <laughs> Leary just not looking too hot today. <laughs> Look at Viper's farms again. Oh, what is this? Look at Viper's farms. What if he thinks he picked Khmer? Even with Khmer, these farms are bad. <laughs> Save the space. Like. Yeah. Guys, Viper's not having a good day. Like, the farms, it's just not typical. <laughs> it's not how he normally does them. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, what? That is on much. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Take that one for the team. Like. And the other one is like taking his relic now. I know. The other one is just watching Monk die, takes the relic. Holy shit. Oh my god. 
Yeah, Viper going up to him. Yeah, this is the Viper we know. Yeah, faster and very good. That, this is good. This is good. Taking the relics as well. Now he's playing. Yeah. Now he's back. <laughs> now he's back to the now Viper. Now he's we back know. to normal self. <laughs> <laughs> but committed to the pikeman, like doing the armor. Oh, you know what? Ooh, Genovese. No, Condos. <laughs> oh, true. Condos can be interesting, actually. Condos for earlier yeah, aims yeah, and he's yeah. up in the back. Yeah, Viper is finally making good decisions. Oh, this, this, this like is the Viper we know. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, he's gonna go Pikeman. Yeah, Viper's not on uh, not on point today. <laughs> maybe just few of them. Let's see, let's see. A few Pikes to get the map control, maybe forward castle, and then Condos? That sounds really good, actually. Yeah. Then drop a key. Yeah, yeah, that heal is so yeah. good, and the gold are all forward, right? Yeah, yeah. doesn't have a save gold spot. No, but I swear, like, I don't want to be too mad about it, but, like, when I lose to Viper, it's like, Viper crushed Hera. And then when I beat Viper, it's like, yeah, Viper just wasn't on point today. <laughs> like, Yeah, you, you don't sound mad at all. You don't sound mad at I, all. I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad. <laughs> it's, it only happens to Viper. Like, I understand. He's got, like, the, bi the biggest status. He is the GOAT. Like, I understand why, but... Well, that's why. Yeah. Obviously, you saw the better from him, and when he plays not his best, that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. Viper's the main character, I know, Viper's the main character and everyone else <laughs> is the side character. <laughs> just have to live with it. Okay, forward castle from Viper. This is actually a really smart uh, idea here. I like that he's going very far forward. Finally, we're seeing like a, a risk done properly from Viper with the, you know, highly committed... I think that's castle. a bad risk because it's Byzantine's castle. Ooh, that is true, but it is two castles to one. He doesn't have the castle at home, right? And the longer it goes, yeah. the better for Byzantine. So forcing the issue is not bad. Yeah, and that's controlling the gold, right? Every gold is taken. Yeah, yeah. You can only afford as many traps. That's true. And yo, maybe making a mistake, staying on stables, not really switching to anything. Now thinking about skirms, but the Condo Tiero is the solution here. Will Viper go for that? He's an Imperial Age, not making a single Condo yet, though. And Condo got the unique upgrade now as well in the castle, giving them more armor. It's such a good unit. Mm Yeah, full comes for your Kondo would break this completely. Yeah, yeah. And other sips would really struggle here without Kondo Tiero. And it's not like Kondo Tiero will like 100% win. Because, you know, Byzantine can make a few cataphracts and stuff. But from this exact position, Yo doesn't have anything with Kondos right now. Yeah, at this time of the game, the Kondo is dominating because it's like a mini champion. A bit better, a bit weaker in some regards. But it's instant. It doesn't require any upgrade. You're just right there in the imp when you're struggling for resources to do the tab, do the upgrades and everything. Yeah. You get Condor right away. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, Viper's gonna go for that. That's a very good choice. Well done. Not the best upgrades on them, but can easily get a few more. Byzantine Castle, of course, 6,700 HP here. Not gonna go down easily. Yo's gonna try to keep this up as long as he possibly can, but Viper is two castles to one. Can walk traps forward if he really wants to. Ooh, denying the top uh, Ooh, TC the with light here. That's. And you can, just, you can just see how desperate Yo is for resources. He has no minerals right now. Taking the gold on the right side. <laughs> Let's have that stone there available though. Condor's going in. There's a hole. No. And how does Yo react? You could go hand cannons, but hand cannons is not the best because Condor and Tiro are a bit resilient against those. So Arbless is like the only choice for Yo as like a proper counter to the Condor Tiro. And even that is not the best because there is like bomber cannons on the map. It's gold is limited. Like, I ideal composition is obviously Skirm's Cataphracts for Byzantines, but I don't think Yo's have time yeah. for that. Castle goes down, the Condos are in, and it looks like Yo's days are numbered here. Bomber Cannon on the traps. Does Viper keep the castle up? Oh. And there's the Viper we know. He keeps oh, yeah, up. Viper on point <laughs> as always. Yo got absolutely destroyed here. <laughs> Viper's just rolling in here, and there's never been a chance, guys. 9-8 for the Viper. That's the Viper. Finally, yeah. finally, he's back. He, yeah. He's done trolling with the games. Yeah. No, Viper, I, I think he had, like, you know, just maybe some wrist issues earlier. The farm really <laughs> poorly, but maybe he was just a little too hot in his room as well, so he made some bad farms. But then afterwards... Yeah, you're, you're not mad at all. <laughs> you, you know all the reasons. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just that it's a little past his bedtime. It is 10 p.m., so it's fine. <laughs> he made some bad farms, but, of course, we all know the Viper. Very, very solid. Doing well here. I promise. I promise I'm not a hater, by the way. It's just that I <laughs> I, I noticed these things and it's been like a buildup of years, you no. know? No, no, no. Ooh, I like this map. And this map is fantastic. It is going to be more us. Uh, Viper in uh, yellow as Maggers. Yo in 
uh, blue as Bulgarians. And let me just show the map for those who don't really know. Uh, there's a lot of shorefish in the center here and some wood uh, in the middle. So you can go around the wood, take all the shorefish. And on the outside, uh, there's a lot of gold and stone to fight for. A lot of shorefish as well that you could play for, but most players just play for the middle. I did drop for a second, so I didn't hear anything you said. Okay, well, the chat's asking to show some more ass, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's something. It's crazy with the maps, like a and more ass, like... I know, man. <laughs> <Take off the laughs> thing. <laughs> we know, we know what you're doing. <laughs> it's cool and all, but maybe that's the reason why we don't get Red Bull events anymore. Like. <laughs> Can we please censor the name? <laughs> no, I guess the chat. I guess the chat always typing. Like, every time Haboob comes in the freaking uh, the Red Bull tournament, everyone in the chat's typing it. Like they're typing it like they're the first person to make the joke, you know? Uh, like Krasin is giggling in the background, like. <laughs> Because you're just like, yes, this is exactly <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> All right. So looks like Viper's going to go a little later to the middle, but still going in a decent time. I like what Yo did. He went middle first and then lumber cap. I think that's pretty smart. Mm, yeah, we did discuss. I'm not sure what's better. <laughs> walking time, you know. <laughs> yeah, with the walking time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding, but yeah. Not sure what's better. I think it's more or less the same. I, I mean, we have Japanese, you will go for the meal, but adjectives more or less the same. Yeah, yeah. Nor do you think he's a prime welcome. And what sim do you prefer here? I think I think I slightly prefer Magyars, but Bulgarians with infantry sounds pretty interesting too. The distance is working way better for Magyars. If they were closer, Bulgarians can compete, but many times will take a bit longer to get there. Reinforcements, especially. And my guy scouts like, yeah. You don't need mining camp. You send everything to the middle. You can build fight, lose few villages. You don't care as long as you protect that, and then you heal the whole map yourself. Yeah. Once you start running around the map with Magus scouts, it's just so good. Also, Viper can easily wall like from woodland to woodland here, protect all his fish. It's looking pretty solid. Like that's it. Like Viper put like six villages on wood, and that's what he will need the whole game. Everything <laughs> goes to the middle. Just build two stables and houses. All right, Viper, up to feudal age a little faster here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I mean, it's usually strategy difference is b between who ups faster in feudal. Yo stayed a bit longer because he wants to have a little bit of extra resources from that extra bill, and then probably play men at arms if he gets a barracks down. Think not. Like back should already be up producing, right? And he's not even on gold, so I think right. he will go scouts, and that that isn't like cheaper upgrades. Still, you're playing in advantage of Magyars. Like he already got plus one attack and cheaper scouts forever. So not ideal, but probably realize that uh, many times we'll lose no matter what. I think with Bulgarians, yeah, if you don't want to play men arms, you could play with heavy spears and try to go for an early forging. But then again, oh, then again, Magos get the early, early forging as well. Very yeah, they tricky. They get it right away. <laughs> don't you need yeah. black blacksmith, right? Very tricky. Okay, I have to wait. I have to go get the food. Doubt you're alone. Beer back. <laughs> <laughs> Main character is back. Okay, so yo, in the end, is making mana times. But he's not on gold. Ooh, will he only make two? Oh, that's smart. Yo, it's smart. Because many times upgrade to Bulgarians is for free. He'll only make of them two of them. Fourth reaction. He doesn't need the gold for a very long time. Only reason he can use gold is bloodlines. He's obviously not going to go, going to go for the archers. Since Bulgarians don't even have the crossbow. And this is a really, really smart play by Yo. And he's forcing the range. Yeah. I, I don't like the range at all. Even if it was full meta term action. The range is not needed. Like you're playing Magyars without any strength. Pick Ethiopians, pick Britons, then you kind of have to use scouts here. And especially because your plan is Javid. So he will invest into so much resources to make archers, and you is not even going many times that he naturally counters. Yeah. The next thing is where does um, your follow up? Obviously, full walls. We <laughs> know Mr. Yo. But will it be skirms to continue the pressure like skirmish or spearman? Or will it be stable? Naturally should be stable. And he doesn't have a, such a hard time to wall left side of the map. Now here is a way so you guys cannot see that. He already works on that. You can check the minimap. Uh, Yo is still not adding the second building. He's just adding the full walls. He did the blacksmith without any upgrade so far. Like his first investment is full with walling after doing the fake aggression with too many times. I still really like the approach. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's debating a, a lot of fire reaction there. 
Val, he is mostly just booming. He might even go castle just this point. Like he's floating 400 foot. He sent Virgil some gold, and that should not be for any gold unit. He doesn't have the range. I think here he's going fast castle. Full walls fast castle while Viper is chasing too many times and one spearman. I'm loving it. Damn yo. <laughs> Your way of thinking and coming up with strategies is really good. Now, sometimes he overdo it, like that Bohemian's fast team. But overall, very solid play. But there is one huge deal. You got the hole. Oh, please, not like this. Here, I come back and show the hole. If scouts enter here, it could be end. All that perfect plan. Uh, and he realized at the last moment, he goes deep. <laughs> no. Oh my god, that greed there. In the wall. That greed was terrible. Uh, I came at the right time. That was like, if they went in, it's Magyar scout. He can constantly come that. And he invests everything to wall. I guess he was not following the game. You are going fast castle. Like he did the fake mana time rush. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of interesting though. I don't mind that. Yeah, very smart play. Very yeah. smart play. I was thinking fake mana times with the full scout, but he actually just full wall. Well, typical. And then <laughs> for the fast castle. Yeah, and that, that's we kind of struggle to find a, a good answer to the Magyar scouts, and maybe this is it. And Viper has two stables from what I can see, one range, so he's very highly committed to feudal age. Interesting. And will Viper go for the towers? Like, he should know there is no building, no units. And you still work with a decent amount of surfish, so he's not in a huge threat for economy here. Yeah, I think you could go towers, but the risk being that if you go for the towers, it delays you so much. So maybe just the archers and the scouts is enough. You don't want to be too too far behind in castle time. Yeah, I just will do a good job delaying at least those two surefish, and the next mill is not a good spot. But you just survives, but still not the second building. Will he go many times, like long for that for free? No, there is a stable. Now I see the stable come down. Like, Conics could be different. This is an option. Like, he just need like 150 stone. Um, but he obviously was market, never mind. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Also, Conic is not that much better than a Knight, so I think it's worth I think Knight is okay. And yeah, Viper's gonna come tower with towers. Rush for it worked so far every game, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's right change. Every game is Tower Rush, so it's been good. Now we see two stables from Yoat. I wonder if he can afford two stables. I don't think so, but maybe like some kind of all-in push can be interesting with two stables. You know what Yo can do? What's Just that? delete the bottom wall, get out, and make the mill outside. Like yeah, it's yeah. Full focus is in the front, and yeah. he can start raiding on that side, so they are protected by reinforcement knights and start raiding viper. I agree. So in, in theory, this viper tower is actually doing nothing because Yo can move, and he's gonna have map control very soon anyway. So that tower, 100% is wrong. I agree with that. Unless Viper had time to attack on the other side as well, but that's uh, obviously very, very hard to do. He will heal back in, and that's gold and wood lane. Now knights are finally popping out. Low upgrades, armor is finishing, but plus two armor is like a dream upgrade right now. Plus two armor is so good with full hero. And, oh wait, Yo's in trouble. Yo has no idea what to do with wall of those bills. And Yo's quick walling is so bad. Oh my god. Yo's walling I 10 can relate. 10. <laughs> quick, quick walling is like zero out of 10. Viper's taking... uh, he still needs to find a way to do with the scouts. Like knights and good in direct fight, but at killing villagers they are both okay. equal. So let, let me show you. The... Is not the way. Let me show you the worker efficiency of Yo soon. It's going down. Let's see. Let's see where Ooh. it goes down to. <laughs> 26, 25. Uh, it's going down still. Stabilizes maybe. Yeah, 24% stabilize. Really, really bad. And Just Viper was ready for other side. Yeah. Yo is defending the gold. The gold was the problem. If gold was safer, Yo could completely yeah. just go counter attack. Yeah, it was looking good for Yo, but he had to hold like I think probably 30 more seconds. Then he was completely fine. Needed like five knights instead of three. Yeah, the villagers again to pick off. An interesting opening again, but feels like execution was on there. Yeah, yeah. Just the wall. Like, how is it possible to not wall them out? Just wall houses behind. Like everything to wall. Like. Yeah, rather lose like three villagers just swallowing they let him in. Yeah, exactly. If you let him in, it's hundred percent we lose. Maybe he thought the knights would be enough, but yeah, not not really the case. Can't really get plus two. Three knights with plus two is more than enough, but without plus two, it's yeah, you need quite a few knights there. Well, it's official. Viper has tattoo. Viper is finally playing his normal self, and I don't think you can take the game anymore from him. Yeah, of course. When Viper's playing, like this is the Viper we know. I mean, Yo just has no chance, obviously. 
Oh, I like to trigger that. <laughs> Still curse. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Now I've just moving around with skeleton archers. Such I mean, a mess. Like... Yo, is down to 18 villagers. Still winnable, guys. Still winnable. Uh, the game just started for you. Like, it's 9 villagers <laughs> start. He's getting there. <laughs> and, yep. Soon he will lose 6 more. But still winnable. Okay, <laughs> no, okay now it's over, guys. <laughs> Now with those six fills down, yeah, now he's got no chance. GG well played. I mean, honestly, a great game from Viper. Great attempt from Yo. But in the end, Viper takes it. 4-4-2-4-4. Four, 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 four. <laughs> if Yo wins the next two, it's a pattern. Literally a pattern. <laughs> scripted. It's, uh, yeah, it's very much scripted, GG. Come on, guys. Everyone what? in the chat type GG. Like, what's going on? One guy typing GG. It was a good game. Everyone type GG. Sorry. Sorry, Dot. Aren't you guys happy to see Viper? Harry eats more on his stream than playing AV. <laughs> yeah, you're like Jordan, like seriously. Every time you're eating something. Like that. <laughs> you know why? Because I never take a break to eat. Like, Viper, beer right back. How many breaks do you need? Like... Dude, I need to. Okay, can I beer back 10 minutes to eat a food? Tell me that. Can you're I? Constantly eating. <laughs> no, I'm not constantly eating. <laughs> You, like since the game, the set started when it's the food is no. cold right now as well. <laughs> I just got the food. <laughs> a hot flat diet Pepsi next to the six months prime. Okay, so it is Asics against Incas. Yeah, Asics, Asics obviously Incas. very good with relics, but Inca with slingers and I think best method too. Yeah, I agree with that. I think Incas it was like you had to play really smart before to make them work, but nowadays they're actually just better against um against other meso. I mean, slingers were always there, right? But yeah, yeah. Now with the economy bone, I mean, everything being cheaper. And the food. cheaper slingers as well, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> like you can throw even camels are really good. Like anything works. And eagle against eagle, you're also cheaper. Okay, one time I was practicing with heart that night, <laughs> and then first, like, then I paused. I said, okay, like my food is coming. Let me go get it. I right, go get it, no problem. Then next time, okay, wait one second. Like I have another food delivery. One sec, heart's like, bro, you can't keep pausing. Like, come on, this is another food. And then after, I go get food a third time within two hours. So you said you eat only one now. <laughs> but it was like because they made a mistake with the order. No, so we all understand why and don't want to practice. Like you're terrible. Like. And so heart said that I'm only winning because I paused three times and he can't focus. <laughs> It's legit, like, it's so annoying during the game and somebody pulls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did you get the warning during the knock as well for pausing? No, I hate that shit so much. They're literally after me for pausing. And it's like during... Um, why is it only you? <laughs> during knock... <laughs> that's a good question, Hart. Uh, uh, sorry, doubt. Okay. During NEC, I was literally sick with fever. Now, I didn't say anything to anyone. Because I didn't want to, like, worry anyone. But I'm sick with fever, and I paused <laughs> literally you one time. Like, I, 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 I paused. COVID, I'm like, no, like it was just I a was fever. Like, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it, it, if I, I did... have the fever, you have the fever. Then we play like <laughs> perfect. It's fine. I didn't even realize I had fever. Like I, I, I was feeling bad, but I didn't realize it was fever. Anyways, I paused once just to drink water because I'm so thirsty. It's a long game, and then after the set, Nilly says. Oh, you have to be careful with pausing there. I'm like, bro, I'm literally sick. Like, come on. And he said, okay, you should have told me beforehand. I'm like, okay, fine. But, like, do you need a pause to take, like, a zip of water? Of course. I, if, I, if I don't pause, I'm falling behind just to drink water. In dark ages as well? It was a 30-minute game. Like, I was about to die. I was sick with fever. If you're playing against you and his walls, then you can drink the whole bottle. <laughs> 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 Look at yo, he's actually already walling. Yeah, I'm freaking great. Right? <laughs> no, but finish it, yo. Finish it. And the wolf is chasing. Uh, wolf, stop chasing. I didn't what? even know that. That, that can happen? It, it, only versus yo, though. <laughs> only, only with yo. <laughs> even he gave up. So just, yo, he realized everything is walling. Like, there's no point going in. <laughs> the, wolf, the, the wolf thought it was fully walled. <laughs> What's the point? Like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we see the range from, from Aztecs here. Uh, <laughs> Hawks in the game. 
<laughs> okay, so range with Aztecs. Usually we see archers mixed in with eagles or like some skirms mixed in with eagles. But right now, Yo's not making a whole loss. It's actually not on gold yet either. Which is very strange. Viper's going eagles only. No range for him. Which is, again, also quite strange. I think with Incas, you'd want to go for the range. Well, with Mazatzi, like, you cannot go for the save, right? And you cannot only go back. Like, eagles produce, like, so slow. Yeah, one minute for eagle. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah, he will do the range. I mean, yeah. Only question is archers or skirmishes for us. Like, can be both, right? You eventually want to have a mix of those units. Actually, I like that he delayed the range because he kind of waited to see what Yo was doing. He sees the range. <laughs> not see if like, what and... else he can work. No, 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 but like, you, you can go just eagles and FC with markets, full walls, etc. So I think just waiting is fine. Playing defensive, I don't know. Don't think it's a big deal as well, but yeah. It's two arches, the eagles will be pushed back. They do nothing to them in feudal. Such a weird unit in feudal. Sometimes real good, sometimes useless. Well, I actually but think that the balance of it's eagles... It's a free. <laughs> yeah, the balance of eagles is perfect. Like, you can make it from the barracks. It does very little on its own, but if you mix it in with the arches or scrims, it's very good. And Viper is adding some scrims. Also cheaper on food, so better than archers as well. Not a huge deal because they're as well already super cheap on full, but still it helps using your bonus. Also, I think the eagle skirm combo in feudal is very strong. It's like perfect synergy, I think. Mm -hmm. And he's already fletching, so he will push this easily. You just need the eagles to snipe the eagle, and yeah. I mean, Spearman, should we do that? Yeah. Spearman? Spearman is weird. Yeah, I think that has to be a misclick, right? Mm -hmm. no, it's yeah, weird. it's weird. Yeah. And Yo is kind of panicking. He's not going for the blacksmith. Yeah, Viper's taking a really good early game lead here. I was really surprised. I mean, Yo didn't make a lot of eagles, even though being like up to feudal age. He could have had an extra eagle in the field. Spear is also weird. He's using the Vils to fight. Yo is not dead, but definitely falling behind when you really should be even in the early game. Also, it's Aztec's production. They're obviously faster. You can catch up. Even the eagle is not taking that long. Yeah. I think the... Um... The spear, even though it has plus money against the ego, guys, it's not doing a whole lot here. When is the next nice. event? Like the worst thing Tell about this is your gold game. Play. In the Mass War, everything is about, like gold is a must play. Yeah, yeah. Twenty villagers on gold, and the gold is so exposed. And Viper, even if not killing villagers, just pushing them away, being annoying, it, yeah. it's so big. Yo had a gold here and a gold in the back, but like those are just really far, so not great options. Also, Yo could have definitely walled. Like it's just a few tiles, but not walling up in time. Costing him a little okay, bit. Okay, Viper is back. Viper is back. Look at the look at the TCO Viper. Eagles are healing. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Yeah, that's very, very good. Yeah. Yo, Yo's wrist is aching. <laughs> Comment from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like making fun of the wrist though, because I think like Viper actually has a problem with that. So that's fine. Like that's the one thing that I you know I can agree you with. You wanna say he, he doesn't have a problem with something and he's saying or no, like the chat is always saying how Viper's playing late and stuff like that. Like, that's forget about it. Like, come on. That's a non issue. <laughs> you will not let that go, eh? No. I'm out Wait outspoken. another 10 years, man. I'm, I'm patient and I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, good microwave Viper. He didn't lose, yeah. I think, a single unit. No, only K one. KD is 6 1 for Viper. And in a Mesna mirror match, that's really impressive. Well, losing a couple now. Yo is pushing back, but. You know, we can see Viper got some damage, got some really good values, harassing a lot of Yo's economy. The work efficiency, that being said, is still pretty even. So Yo's doing a good job kind of surviving this one. Important the thing is where they get the cast more of up there as well. Yeah. It, it, is worth, it is worth mentioning that I played this matchup against Yo the other day, and he did a really good idea with Skirms and Eagles with Aztecs. Because the Skirms counter the, the Slingers, and then it's kind of difficult for Viper if he's committing to Slingers, to win against that. But if Viper goes full Eagle, then he should be fine, of course. Yeah, I mean, obviously, ultimate combo is like only five, six Slingers and mm -hmm. rest is Eagle. Yeah. And then what do you know? Uh, well, he needs a counter damage. Like, Viper economy is way better. He's even doing the build, bro. Both got some idle TC time, which is a bit surprising since units are so cheap with those tiers and nobody went many times or something like that. I think the RTC time is just because they're mic ring. They're also like six games deep, so they're eight games deep, so they're probably a bit tired. And <laughs> look at the Viper TC, it's full of Eagles. Like. <laughs> they're all it's Century up. for Eagles. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sending one more back to him. <laughs> it's an Eagle Sanctuary. <laughs> but to be honest, because he's doing that, he's kind of losing some fights, so it's like not that efficient. 
But I guess he's keeping the Eagles alive, which is the most important unit. Going and now the Eagles, and now we're always like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's killing five eggs with Koala. <laughs> he yeah. sees all the Eagles full HP coming out. <laughs> that's so funny, man. Man, that's absolutely huge. Now the Eagle number is absolutely massive. He cannot go skirmishes. <laughs> he's doing tower. Oh, what is that tower, yo? It's like Viper's farm. That, can, that cannot be right. That cannot be right. <laughs> I actually don't hate it because he's gonna wall the bottom. So the tower is actually pretty good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, yo. I, I sorry, yo, yo does some plays. He's house wall the bottom as well. He does some plays that like look confusing, but they actually have some some thought behind it. Mm, the uptime should be similar, but the gold income, I think that will play a huge role. Viper is already on double mining camp. He's he's looking good. Only good thing for y'all, he's fully walled. Viper is open, so he's exposed to the eagle raiding in the castle rage, and that's quite deadly. Uh, uh, build a tower and drop a market? I kind of don't like it. It's like one or other, man. Yeah, yeah, market, yeah. if you don't sell stone, it doesn't feel that good. Yeah, I'd rather see that just being a barracks or something. We, we don't even need to balance our economy too much, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely he's already up anyway. Both players up around the same time. I definitely prefer Viper's position though, because he's got way more Eagles on the field, and those are like the power army in the Castleage. The range units are more or less just useless going into Castleage in a Meso War. And also with Aztecs, you know, you could get the relics and you could be winning from there, but without the map control, you can't really get the relics. So, uh, Yo's looking a bit weird re right now. Yeah, he got uh, seven archers, that's waste of gold. He just said in the second barrack. It's 12 Eagles against two. Once the Castleage hits. Oof, he will need a lot of walls and a lot of relics to survive. Exactly, and I think Yo is making a crucial mistake. He's not attacking with the archers. Those archers should be sneaking around the map right now. It's your only chance, right? Yeah, it's your throwaway army. Like, kill a villager, deny the gold, anything. Yeah. Soon they will be useless. Yeah, and yeah. look at Yo. <clears throat> Healing the eagle as well. He realized what's going on. Yeah, he didn't like that. He wants to run his own <laughs> sanctuary now. <laughs> 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 he didn't like what Viper was up to. <laughs> A double break against triple break, yeah. And your full bank is amazing. That's not the way to play Eagles, I must say. Yeah, it's more of a, a night strategy. Oh, I love this play from Viper. He's sneaking in two Eagles while fighting in the center with the main army. That is really good. He's in a snowball and potentially get some raids as well. Three Eagles there. They can do a lot of damage once Castage hits. And now Viper's going to be fighting on the front and also fighting on the back of the Eagles. This is really, really smart. Yeah, Eagles instantly get first up, right? When you hit yeah. the cast rage, they get plus three attack, and then then they're deadly. <laughs> That's when they start becoming a very strong unit. Falling. Yeah. yeah. Now Viper's doing the front, fight on the front. He's also raiding, one build down, forcing Yo to react, and Yo does not have the, the production to react. He's only on two barracks, has a lot of food. It feels like Yo's just out of it right now. And Viper is adding two TCs. It's not so much for the village of production economy, but he's fully open, and those two TCs on the gold spots will just keep him safe. Yeah. Still not a fan of it. Although build it with more than one villager. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather see more military, but still. Viper can wall this in. He's gonna wall it in. Oh! Oh, he gets <laughs> this. He gets it. Viper, this is the, exactly <laughs> what he's known for the quick walls. And his camps are recovered. He is doing his job now. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> That's the Viper I shot up to see here, and look at that Viper running under Yo CC with a lot of egos. I feel like Yo is completely dead here. Nothing he can do. Yeah, and the score is exactly to screw that over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect. It's perfect. Like I can't believe it. That is so bad right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess we will watch this game for another ten minutes, but <laughs> I don't see any. Yo is down to twenty. <laughs> Like three units, double villagers. <laughs> Yo, still in it out of the love for Tato. I think that's it. <laughs> oh my god, that is perfect. Really well played from Viper, though. <clears throat> and Yo's just trying, obviously, last breath, but 21 builds. Viper's 3 TC. Viper can play this forever, and he'll start picking up relics now. And look how snowball it is. Like, it was even game for a long time. Viper maybe small advantage in Feudal, and then in Castle, boom, it all explodes him. GG. He did not compete into rage units, he <clears throat> committed into eagles, and having that 10 eagle lead was just... Yeah. No really way. Well GG, well played, guys. Look at the score, really unconventional score there, like, I've never seen anything like this. They always <laughs> just won with a bunch of games in a row, 
Uh, momentum continued to swing. Uh, but GG well played. And uh, Viper takes this one. That puts him at second place for the tournament. And who is first? It's me, man. I won. So did yo, I guess. Glad to fourth and Vinch is the last one. Yeah. I'm just glad to be invited. Yeah. I mean, it's still like Vinch obviously went 0 4, right? But it's not that bad of a result considering the names he's up against. It's, it's actually completely fine. But this is the score final result. Uh, I get first. Viperson has jumped to second. Uh, Tato drops to fourth. And yo gets third. So that's all that's going to happen once they update it, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's Champions Invitational. Do I need to say something as well, or YouTube is over? No, it's over. Uh, thank you, Dad, for casting. Okay, here, here's the final score. This is it. Take a look at it. So, yeah. Yo is third. Viper second. Tato fourth. Vinch is the last. And Tato and Yo are actually tied, but because Yo won against Tato by one game, Yo actually wins. <laughs> so, it's like... So thank you close, the sponsor yeah. of the event it was so and close. Hera. But honestly, I think this shows how close the competition is, especially between Tato and Yo. And no one knows where to place these fourth, fifth. They're all, like, kind of very similar in strength and i think this showed exactly that and then obviously um you know these five players are just probably you know some of the best we have leary is the only name that was missing from this kind of tournament